Push it on. It's a touch of space madness.
who retained his knighthood for 16 months.
you know when I come on. Bang. Yeah, boy. Yeah.
good evening. Welcome to the CPL Premier League semi-finals. We do have COC going against Gold by Library in the first game of this best of three matchup. We're gonna need to take a look at who's playing in this lobby, and we're definitely gonna need to take a look at how they're gonna go through the picket ban phase, which they are starting up right now. I'm sorry for the wait. We did not need to actually fix the mods and everything, everything. Uh, since uh, there were quite a few changes over there, let's open up the screen so everybody can see the pre-game bans. We do have as usual in the CPL premier league four pre-game bands two for each team and then uh, we're gonna see them uh, picking up the map these bands are dedicated before the map is chosen we do need to take a look at who do they think who do they think is so overpowered that it shouldn't be able to get in the game hello there eddie coffin good evening sir and congratulations for writing first i don't think you picked up the first promotion but we you did write first in the channel good evening sir it's still there by the way it's still there the first promotion wait a second colorado good evening sir and welcome design flow hello hello there sir and welcome welcome linda good evening ma'am and i hope you're gonna have a good time with us uh, tonight on this game uh, ponoki also was almost you be on venue uh, let's see tomorrow for the hidden cup that's the first Really gonna be a nice um uh, how to say a nice visualization of uh, bbm and the, the new bbg beta we do need to see what's gonna happen over there in the ffa iron man that the hidden cup does uh, like to play project cisco also good evening sir and uh, welcome i do notice uh, we do have the message hello there sir and welcome welcome good zach kimbo i think he's still uh, out with his dog i hope you're gonna come back sir and of course good evening uh, when you're coming back uh let's see what did we have here oh 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 i think i um refreshed the page at some point and i might have missed somebody i'm so sorry i did also notice baxter on youtube hello there sir in ethan good evening sir um uh, welcome also youtube every, everybody that did join us uh, new and i hope let's uh, talk about the game because the pre-game bands are starting to be ticked off over here and as you can see coc did take out uh, cleopatra Ptolemy on the left side while we do have uh, gold by library on the right with uh, india gandhi we do need to take a look uh, how this is um gonna be played out here uh, just a few seconds and we're gonna find out who do they think is definitely overpowered on all maps so both very good civilizations we've seen them appear in the in the ban phase quite a lot in the last period we uh, might actually get a whiff just a whiff a small whiff of what kind of map they want to pick it doesn't look like they're gonna go for those coastals right so no naval civilizations here maybe they want to go for the i say that and they take out spain Gold by library is this one of those that information you know like false information you just send into the air and see what happens over there let's see what coc is going to compute with it let's see or is this actually gbl being for real hey we we know uh we would like to actually find navally against you so maybe it's uh okay if you don't have early armadas and uh you know fleets that's kind of bad for us yeah uh, definitely could be it hello there papa send a good evening sir welcome welcome let me actually put up my uh, screens in the correct order because i wasn't see, seeing the information that i was uh, used to seeing the busy hello there sir and welcome band to go well that definitely works on both naval and um inland civilizations yes uh fake it until you make it rather waste <laughs> lol uh wait the best part of the day i have to keep telling my myself it's 5 a.m oh my god wait a second oh actually you're waking up at 5 a.m to watch cars go boom okay okay very nice my first also good evening sir and uh, welcome let's see uh we do have hungary being taken out by coc or at least they're se selecting it i don't think uh, well they are not locking it in but they don't have any more time so it will be locked in we do have hungary here appearing uh, as the leader the second pre-game ban and now they're gonna go for the map pool uh, choices continental islands islands rich islands lakes pangea classic standard uh, we do have primordial seven seas tilted axis quite a few choices for them to go through and it looks like they're taking them down quite quickly they did take out continents and islands lakes and the tilted axis we wasn't continents and islands a stand-in for something i remember some talk about this but to be honest like there are so many things uh, around this uh, pick and ban phase different from one to the one to the other that uh, uh, the little details sometimes uh, elude me uh, i'm only kidding if you're uh, going purely for a culture win you out or to go for acropolis yes yes please no preserves no preserves uh, mm. you do get the culture and the science later on but you don't really get the production <laughs> oh well uh, let's see what do we have primordial oh okay so they're narrowing the options down to two pangeas both pangeas classic and standard rich islands and highlands okay two bit max actually all four of these are 
are uh, inland maps so i'm pretty sure uh, we're gonna see them uh, pick up civilizations well to be honest it also kind of matches what the pre-game bands uh, went for both of them went for land civilization instead of coastal civilization so it kind of makes sense no and we, let's actually see they took out uh, seven seas immediately and come on let's see let's see which one are they gonna prefer why am i thinking this is gonna go on pangea is this gonna be a test of skill over here or is this gonna be a test of sim over here what was this not saying that sim is not skill but mm. pangea classic regis does uh, definitely seem like uh, it does uh, offer you the opportunity to show your adaptability more than uh, highlands now minka pass also good evening sir and welcome long time no see indeed how have you been sir how uh, does pangea classic differ from the standard um basically it's uh, the difference between uh, the difference on the mountains uh spawning rate uh, where do they spawn uh, on the pangea standard ridges you're gonna have the mountain spawning across the continent ridges like exactly on the continent ridges while and a lot of them are significantly more than uh, you usually see on the classic ridges on classic ridges you just have them sprinkled around but also on those um, continent splits why do i say it just it's continent split anyway yeah this is what it is uh, so in camels into acropolis i had the ai on Bismarck and norway next to me but uh, normally it's uh, no districts until acropolis is right uh do, do, do. i wouldn't really say in camels into acropolis if, if you're talking about the greases you usually do go for uh, commercials into acropolises and uh, magnus internals and then you get the culture from uh, the seventh on the Acropolis, or the fourth actually, on the Acropolis. Now you don't get to build that many um, campuses, unfortunately. It's uh, kind of like tricky to go for everything. Uh, Rich Islands and Pangea Standard. Rich Islands is going to be taken down. Pangea Standard it is. So we're going to see those natural borders appear between the players, between their land. I'm pretty sure we're going to need to see also how uh, they will try to use them against uh, their opponents, try to defend themselves or uh, use those shocks to get through armies and not to mention maybe make some mountain tunnels. I mean, that's always a possibility. We haven't seen it really applied successfully in quite some time, but I'm still hoping there will be the day when we're going to see and get to clip one of those amazing mountain invasions over there you just see units and units pouring through the mountains oh my god what is this a waterfall horses anyway it looks like uh, they're actually gonna be afraid of the exact same thing that we're gonna take out Scythia that is the horse master over here well alongside with uh, Genghis Khan now who are the players for each uh, team Gubber Dragon good evening sir now we do have uh, on one side Trinda on COC Alexis Kremp on COC I do see Ben did come back and that's for fish also is playing for a change of circumstance while on the other side we do have djs hannibal elephant guy and snd you called it i think linda told us earlier that snd is also going to be playing well looking at the other bands it looks like vietnam is also going to be taken down by uh, gbl no surprise there we've seen it multiple times how uh, good it is uh, but it, uh, you know it, 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 uh, we still need to see some mom level of gameplay here more mom level of gameplay with vietnam uh, we do have a coc also needing to take out uh, two more civilizations well, uh, also gbl is waiting for this um, coc will have the tone for the game they will have the first uh, pick of the litter and we're going to need to see if um, in their first option they will kind of give up their plan with a civilization they desperately want wait is it gonna be yongal is this gonna be the yongal choice first choice uh, how they make names with horse uh you oh uh, so there is a chat com not really a command but there is a chat thing that you can do i believe it's uh, what is it this uh brackets what is it icon horse or something and then you close the brackets no not this horse resource or something no no anyway uh, around there we, uh, oh uh, wait a second there we go iron no icon okay Mm, somewhere around there there are a lot of uh, commands like this i'm not sure exactly which one is uh, which to be honest i never actually learned them but i know uh I know if you do this uh, and you find the correct words, it's actually going to switch into a horse. Yeah, probably won that against uh, Trinda. Uh, let's see. Also, was uh, Ethiopia nerfed in BBG? Why does uh, no one play Ethiopia anymore? Uh, usually, Ethiopia was uh, played before only with... Um, um, 
uh, only on uh, Highlands. And since uh, they don't play Highlands, I don't find it uh, that surprising that Ethiopia is not getting played. It used to be there were some players that really loved Ethiopia and they played it over and over again, not only on Highlands, but also on other maps. We don't really have them playing right now. So I guess Ethiopia kind of went... Uh, they even are talking about it, man. I think we've seen only one game in like three months with Ethiopia. You're right. Uh, we do have uh, Shaka over here also being taken down by uh, COC. Looks like also Byzantium uh, will be taken down. Gold by Library on the right side will take out uh, Chandra Gupta. And uh, we do need to see um, what's going to happen here. Icon chat message. Let's see. Can I find the... Uh... Can I find some stuff over here? What is it? Uh, wait, wait. Maybe it's uh, like this. Icon resource. Source. No? No. Uh, gold. There we go. There we go. This one works. The other one, I don't know. It's probably horseman or something, but I don't think. Horses? Maybe it's horses. But, but I, I, they shouldn't be horses, right? shouldn't be plural oh it is plural there we go so it is uh icon resource horses and then you close the bracket and that's it you get the horse Bam -bam. okay and then let's see what do we have here on the screen okay it looks like sumeria was the last band and I guess they really wanted that. I guess they really wanted that. Macedon is appearing. And this is one of the last times that we're going to see Macedon uh, with um, its extra military policy card. No, didn't it get uh, nerfed on it, the, ner the next version on BBG beta? Uh, they do on the uh, Highlands. Yes, Jeremy Paxman is really good. I do not know who that is. I'm sorry. Uh, only me. We've started watching some uh, <laughs> Turn Scott University challenge. Oh, I see. I see. Big challenge. Big challenge. Uh, Okay, let me put up the screens in order. There we go. Okay, so uh, Cleopatra Egyptian has been picked up by uh, Gold by Library. They are securing the gold per turn, and we do need to see what kind of other civilization they're going to pick, especially with Macedon at the beginning. It is quite dangerous uh, to uh, pick civilizations that don't really have the firepower to withstand Macedon. You actually do need quite a bit of firepower to withstand Macedon. So, setting the tone so aggressive from the beginning, COC will force their opponents to definitely think about some uh, serious combat strength there. We do have uh, Mapuche being picked up on one side, and of course, uh, yes, even on an Egyptian Cleopatra, you still have a lot of Mariano Cheretarches. We've seen Ben actually play it quite nice, uh, multiple times winning with uh, Egyptian Cleopatra, even in like very, very niche situations. And we do have a um, hard situation, I should say, not niche. We do have a COC needing to uh, pick up their second civilization after, uh, of course, uh, this. We're gonna have another wave of bands. Four more bands are waiting to be taken out from the game, and then we're gonna see the final drafts. And, of course, they will need to keep a balance between this uh, combat strength, their ability to generate the gold, and their ability to sim for the later part of the game. Most of the time, somebody on the team needs to uh, actually get those higher stats, boost their uh, allies uh, when it comes to the science and the culture, and also do manage to upkeep uh, their civilization's needs, especially the units. And you've seen it how many times we've seen words lost because they just couldn't get the gold at the correct moment in time. We do have uh, Nader Shan with the uh, COC being picked up here and we do uh, of course we've seen it so many times over here Persia is uh, one of the best civilizations to uh, pick in uh, Pangea so we uh, do need to see what the next bands are going to be looking at, like and with uh, four more choices uh, GBL is going to have the first one oh did you catch it by the way Luca okay there we go you caught it nice nice no water oh my god Junior really I was just about to sip a little bit of coffee can I have coffee Junior please oh my yeah no it is what it is and we do have uh, Rome being uh, taken out by COC while Montezuma was uh, banned by uh, gold by library they're not gonna allow those uh, plus 12 bombers to just run amok on the map and we do need to see what uh, their last bands are gonna be looking like in just a few seconds they do need to uh, pick up their civilizations here and then let's see their roster I do notice uh, we don't have everybody in the lobby yet I'm not sure why, but we don't have anybody, everybody in the lobby. I guess uh, they're taking this uh, slowly. They're taking this slowly. They are in the channels, but we don't actually have them uh, in the lobby. K 
kick. Anyway, uh, definitely GPL is thinking quite a bit about it. So we do have uh, 23 seconds to go and uh, they do need to pick something. And oh my God. Oh, drink water. Thank you. Oh my God. I was just, look, look I was just about to reach for my cup over here. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, yes. I'm going to need another warm coffee later. And tomorrow, I got to say, we're going to have quite a marathon with uh, two games back to back. Of course, the semifinals of the Hida Cup. And after the finals, oh my, we're going to see quite a bit of gameplay there. With uh, so many good players uh, coming up uh, anonymously in those uh, games, we're going to need to take a look what they're going to do, how they're going to try to use diplomacy and um, create advantages for themselves. And we do need to uh, take a look here. Catherine de Medici, the Black Queen. Catherine de Medici, the Black Queen, has been chosen by Goldbine Library to be taken down. And yes, uh, the extra diplomatic visibility and the Guard Imperial most of the time uh, does matter quite a bit. Yesterday, it kind of was nullified by Vietnam, but still, you know, it uh, did get the economy. Uh, we uh, do have one last ban, and uh, then they're going to go for the last uh, picks. Goldbine Library will have uh, the next stone for the next phase. And let's see what uh, they're going to go for after they did ban goal on from the side of coc no more opidums in the game that's what they're saying no opidums for you no big culture okay okay i mean you know there's always uh, something like ludwig over here i, I might say uh, it did actually pick up uh, a little bit of steam in the player choices right let's see if it's uh, gonna keep picking up Well, they're definitely thinking about it. We got 22 seconds to go and uh, not seeing a selection here. Okay, there we go. There we go. We got the pound maker being selected. Definitely a big Simon over here, a big uh, gold generator. And of course, with the extra three drops, it does manage to uh, do quite well. Uh, we're going to need to see if the Oxitaos are actually going to manage to do something in the game. It's been some time since we've actually seen something like incredible from them. We used to see them like smashing cities, taking over capitals and so on, like 10, 20, 25. It was incredible. But now, mm, not as strong anymore. Like that 15 is not as strong. Wait, no Genghis? Yeah, no Genghis yet. Wait, there are still three civilizations that need to be picked, right? So let's see what they're gonna go for. Uh, drink water, no drink water. Oh my god, old triangle. Good evening, sir, and welcome. Hello, hello. Oh, you, I see you found a point sink. I see, I see. Okay, COC going for uh, Canada. Wait, Canada, Canada. Wait, they're going. They're going to play Canada with Forest Balancing disabled? Or are they actually going to switch this before uh, the start of the game or something? Whoa. Anyway. Let me uh, get back the screen. There we go. So, uh, they do need one last pick on uh, COC. And after this, uh, we're going to need to also see uh, Gold by Library pick their civilization. Inca! Okay, I mean, this is a totally different matchup that we've seen so many times, right? COC coming up to um, show us the way with the, quite a few civilizations. I mean, sure, Nader Shah, we've seen him multiple times. Macedon, we kind of know what he does, but we don't see it as often as we like to. And then we do have Canada, which just comes out of nowhere. And Inca again like where did he come from well we're going to see not saying they're uh, bad civilization or choices i'm just uh, curious to see what's going on over here and trying to set some expectations uh, a little bit higher than normal because i'm pretty sure the players are good 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 uh, let's see goldbine library over here needs to pick up that fourth civilization and i gotta say i'm also quite um Excited to see if um, there will be a man or raider attack against uh, any one of his neighbors. And uh, we're going to need to see if uh, that power spike at the middle of the game is going to help them uh, secure the last, uh, the next part of the game. Japan, Hojo is appearing as a pick here for gold by library. That's going to be the last civilization chosen in this draft. And uh, that will mean we do need to uh, jump into the game here soon and hopefully we're actually going to get to start swapping with uh, the players the correct ones uh, to get into the correct slots so, so uh, they can actually pick their civilizations and we can click start and ready up in the meantime i do want to put up uh, the map here choice let's actually see what's going on map pool choice start up uh, not a start a prediction let's put it up on uh, this 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 closing this mm -mm -mm. this i need to change into 
Du -du 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 -du. There we go. Pangea SR. Quite a few Pangea uh, Standard Legends have been played, don't you think? I mean, it's been, what, a few games only on Pangea Standard? We need Genghis. Yes, yes, we need Genghis. <laughs> Indeed. Wait, 30 seconds in Romanian? Oh my god. I mean, right now? Okay. Well, um, now from the semi final uh, CPL Premier League cu echipele Change of Circumstance și uh, Gold by Library, o să vedem uh, cei 8 jucători cum se înfruntă pe uh, harta, pe mapa, mapa, harta. Anyway, um, uh, Uh, Pangea standard um, Creste standard <laughs> Wow, this sounds so weird Creste standard Anyway, and I guess that's about 30 seconds Oh my god, it's, it's like if I start saying this in Romanian Because I don't usually say this in Romanian I feel so weird, right? I don't really get to discuss this with my friends Mo The majority of the time I discuss this in English And with other English speakers <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's actually see uh, over here I do need to put up the predictions for um, how many remaps are we gonna have. So let's start that up. How many remaps? 0, 1, 2, 10 minutes. There we go. Start the prediction. Uh, don't know who to pick here, but I do think I need to swap with uh, Mr. Elephant Guy or Alexis Cramp. One of the two. I don't know who. Wait. Uh, Michael swap with me or Elephant. Elephant more. Okay. I don't wanna. Okay. I don't want to click on Alexis Kremp and swap with him also because if I do that, uh, you know last time what happened? We got mixed up and he didn't have a name, I didn't have a name, so we needed to relobby all together. So I'm kind of reluctant to switch with the host in any way. Uh, okay, let's start up the prediction on uh, Twitch and also let me start it up on, uh, oh my god, uh, on um, YouTube. Just a few seconds, just a few seconds, start the poll. How oh, many remaps? There we go. Zero, one, and two. And we start in the poll. Do, 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 do. I heard someone say that Romanian uh, sounds like Russian mixed with Portuguese spoken by an Italian. I'm not sure if I agree. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, it is what it is. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But it is. I know it is uh, quite heavy. Like when Rom Romanians usually speak in uh, English, they do have uh, quite a heavy Slavic accent. I think that's what it's called, right? Slavic accent. And um, um, it takes quite a bit of time to actually get uh, to speak normally in English. Probably because we use uh, different, different sounds, different frequencies for the sounds when we uh, pronounce. Uh, I think that most of the time people refer to this as, uh, as accent. Uh, can you send me the link, uh, please? The link? Wait, the link? Yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Give me a sec. Zora, hello there, ma'am. There we go. The link. The link is here. Wait, why are people disconnecting? Why is Alexis... Uh, our team cannot join. Remake lobby. Okay. Well, I guess uh, SND couldn't join, so that's why we're uh, remaking the lobby. Give me a second. They are remaking lobby. <laughs> and uh, who is it? Alexis Kremp was right. I think so. Okay, there we go. Whoa. I need to uh, hot sit in. Uh, oh, sorry, not this. Uh, create game. Private. Confirm. Boop. Uh, let it load a little bit. Joining room. Wow, check this out. I'm joining my own room and I'm getting stuck. What? Hello? Mr. Lobby? <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, is this uh, some kind of an error with uh, Steam or something? Let me actually restart. Restart Steam. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Getting error on joining multiplayer session on your own lobby. What? Lord. Okay. There we go. 
Let's uh, start it up. Uh, only meaningful things that uh, streaming services these days are mega expensive and I uh, suppose all things are uh, expensive nowadays. Uh, depends on what do you think, uh, what you're refer referring to, uh, kind of like Netflix, HBO and so on. Uh, $80 I want to see once. Oh my God, $80 a month is, uh, yes, it is quite uh, big. I don't know. I guess you're referring to a certain, right, specific, right, uh, event. I mean, nobody can create a lobby. I had the same uh, problem, no? Oh, I did create a lobby. I restarted Steam, guys. KW. I uh, guess that works. Uh, just sending them a message that uh, they might need to restart Steam. Anyway, let's see if Alexis Kremp is uh, doing this. No? Oh, uh, let's see if that's for fishes in a game. Is in a previous game? Uh, okay, uh, back to the idea of events. I know there was a drift event, a drift racing event in uh, Bucharest at some point, and it was uh, kind of amazing to see they had uh, the event uh, with a uh, full media coverage. As in the media coverage, I mean uh, the cameras and everything were um, um, set up in such a way that you could have um, everything, the event directed uh, live on um, their own streaming platform. They had their own website where you can watch and uh, take a look from like different sites, take a look at the different VODs and so on. It was quite a lot of effort being put into uh, all of it so i'm actually on the fence if uh, that is um how to say um uh, if the pricing is right at the moment what i do know is usually that equipment and the people running that equipment uh, are usually quite expensive so it might make sense that they charge so much because otherwise they just wouldn't uh, make it affordable for them i mean it is uh, via play, so you get a lot of sport, but you really only pay for it to get one specific sport. Yeah, uh, Formula One offers a package. Package? Package. Wait, was this the last lobby? Or is this new lobby? Is this the last lobby or the new lobby? No, I think it's the the new lobby. It's a new lobby. It's a new lobby. Because we would have had, I'm pretty sure we should have had some. No, that would have been only on the lobby. Anyway, that's uh, confusing. Hopefully, we'll see. When you send a half done message, oops, yeah, yes. Let's actually uh, rejoin really quickly to fix the zero, the one zero MS we had. Uh, that is also true. Yes, that is also true. Eddie Coffin, there we go. Yeah, that's some uh, quick math right there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did I get out of the lobby to not get in back again or something? It's actually quite amazing to me to see how uh, the world is actually evolving past its um, <laughs> need to see the information from the television television and actually uh, try to gather more information for example on hardware from uh, a lot of specialized uh, youtube channels uh, try uh, to test out and, and again uh, try to get the information correctly from there but it's still, uh, 
is always a competitive environment uh the games also right you have uh, a lot of uh, games that are developing something that i would say actually the tv the media has ignored for a long time and now they're being kind of caught out uh, from uh, how to say uh uh, got off guard because well they, they're not players <laughs> they don't know it is there a difference for you a normal sub versus a prime sub it, it is a difference yes the normal sub actually adds points to um, uh, the uh, partner plus and i need a uh, hundred of them i need a hundred points uh, at the end of for three months each so i need a hundred points each month for three months um, to get to partner plus uh, while the prime does not or or the gifts but don't get me wrong, I mean, it helps, uh, it helps a lot anyway. It helps me uh, put bread on the table. That is uh, most important. No, I cannot connect to the lobby anymore. Connecting to players. I think uh, Steam is um, having problems, issues. Wouldn't be the first time that we have uh, Steam issues on a Friday. It is what it is. Mm. Okay, let me try joining first of all creating my own lobby resetting those settings over there and then oh, it looks like it's working fine here and then uh, let's try joining through some other player uh, okay Not stale bread. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Uh, what exactly costs 80 euros a month? Uh, Via Play only shows uh, 15 euros for me. That's a very good uh, question, actually. What does uh, 80 euros a month get you? Mr. Dwayne, good evening, sir. When lobby? I see the lobby. Lobby is up. Lobby is up. When, uh, when players in the lobby? I think that's, uh, that's the question. I don't know what they're doing. When stats, when game? Yeah. I guess uh, we can stream some uh, satisfactory in the meantime. You guys want me to show you a little bit of uh, satisfactory while uh, we wait for this? <laughs> I'm not sure when it's happening, but we're at least we're in the lobby, so we're in the right place. Okay. Well, we have players from both teams, and I would imagine they are talking to the other players from their teams. And uh, the only thing that I can imagine is uh, they didn't get the memo that they need to restart Steam altogether. And because they didn't, they're probably all stuck on connecting and uh, they want to let it happen. Let it happen. Well, second possibilities here. Do we have uh, anyway? I still see them in the channels. They didn't disconnect it. Now they, I don't think they're AFK or something. I just think uh, they have problems getting into the lobby. And uh, just like I had problems uh, connecting to players over there, well, that might be an issue that is stopping them from uh, getting here. And they might have just not uh, troubleshoot the, the problem. Oh well. Uh, your favorite sieve is the Great Peter. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, don't, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's good. It's good. We haven't seen him actually in quite some time, and we've seen some great plays to try to deny, like slow down uh, Peter um, in the games that we've seen actually Russia, like taking away the wonders from him, uh, taking away, uh, trying to take away feed the world and so on and so forth. And it was uh, quite interesting to see if how the players did try to adapt afterwards to all of that was happening and how they were trying to create advantages for themselves with uh, the civilization. Otherwise than the normal ones, uh, normal roads we went, we saw. Uh, Colorado is saying the $80 is the most expensive package here, but still uh, that is where you get the good sport. The difference is uh, price is down to them having the rights to different sports in different countries. 
okay i love peter in base game so broken yes yes oh my god so much faith from the beginning you get like uh, what three settlers worth of faith in the classical era it's amazing uh, da, 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 da. I see. So basically, it's a monopoly, right? They have uh, all of the good sports on one single platform. But I think what um, uh, what Dwayne was referring to was there any kind of extra added value to those videos? Like, do they have something you can watch multiple cameras from the same uh, like? from the same game for example or from the same race you can watch the different cars or like is there added value to that or is just the normal tv directing style and then you just get uh, something what is going on uh i see them leaving the channel i don't know what's going on are they going to talk to each other or something or uh, let me see does anybody know what's going on here? Because uh, I only see, like, oh, I see. They went into post game chat to uh, talk with each other. Oh, let me change my settings. I don't, I cannot get in there. Oh, they're missing a very valuable piece of information. Yeah, seems like uh, they uh, tried restarting steam multiple times and uh, there still is an issue over there they can't uh, get in and they uh, left the lobby okay well i'm gonna restart steam again then seems like it's a problem with uh, steam it is what it is unfortunately okay close this opening the game uh, big lobby big host yeah uh, so many bastards without bbg i think age of steam vicky takes uh, the cake though uh, plus the production on all strategics even unimproved oh you're talking yeah without bbg yes 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 that uh, that is quite uh, strong over there that definitely why they nerfed vicky <laughs> you get the uh, animal husbandry you get the best times to work in your empire huh? regardless of the spawn well i guess in base game you're not really guaranteed to have horses around your cities. It's likely, but it's not guaranteed. Okay, they put up a new lobby. Let's uh, try it out. And in the meantime, since uh, I'm joining through them. Oh, wait, no. Man, wait a second. I need to switch. Uh, I can't open up Satisfactory because I need to switch uh, the saves from uh, one account to the other. Oh no. Kick. It is what it is. Because I always, uh, when I stream, I need to, or play uh, Civilization, I actually need to be on a separate Steam. Uh, oops. Okay. Okay, okay, we're getting back in. We're getting back in. Slowly happening. Uh, me? No. Of course not, I'm not on beta. Mm. I only have uh, extra the static. Uh, so BBG570, uh, bad balance starts uh, 2 to 8, report screen, spectator mode, extended policy cards, and uh, that's it. Multiplayer help. That's it. Okay, it looks like uh, Steam fixed itself. It might have been just a problem for a few minutes there, and uh, hopefully it's gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm actually quite curious. What's a uh, down detector saying? Down detector being. Uh, 
that website that you can actually take a look if people reported websites other websites uh, for problems uh steam let's see yeah people reported a lot of issues on steam like recently very recently let me look look there we go like a lot of issues in just the last 30 minutes a lot of issues popped up over here like 2800 reports 2800 reports so yeah they had probably an issue with uh, with their servers over there it is what it is uh yeah very good very good wise policy indeed you never know okay so i need to swap with uh, either dgs or uh, trinda uh po -po 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 -po. well let's go i'm clicking no i'm not clicking i'm clicking i clicked oh okay i swap with uh, trinda then and uh, zora with uh, dgs okay Oh, I'm gonna swap with the host again. Oh no. Hoping uh, this is not gonna break. Okay, let's see. Can we predict the uh, Trinda civilization here, or who's uh, who's actually gonna be the team two? Is it team two? That's I think uh, GPL, right? Team two. Oh, who do you think is Trinda gonna play? Maceron? Let's put it as Maceron. Let's uh, let's uh, force him to move away from Maceron. <laughs> oh, it's a hundred percent a steam issue, Linda. Uh, look, I send you link. I send you link. There we go. You can check it out over here. One hundred percent steam issue. Wait, I'm swapping. Okay. Hmm. Uh, if they would have started on time, they may have uh, escaped the troubles. Yeah, but uh, then uh, they might have entered in other troubles, right? Uh, Steam uh, would have uh, stopped their game or something, made somebody disconnect, and then uh, they couldn't really lobby. Unfortunately, you can't really predict those things over there. Okay, so players joining, joining, joining. Let's see. We got uh, Wilfred Laurier, Trinda, Cleopatra, Egyptian on uh, Elephant Guy. DJS is going to go for Palm Maker. Looks like Pacachuti is going to be played by Ben. The new better Ben. And we do have uh, SD going for Ludwig the Second. No, can't be Ludwig the Second. Alexis Kremp. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hojo Tokimio. I was remembering Ludwig hasn't been picked. Alexis Kremp on Alexander. And we do have Task for Fish on Nader Shah and Hannibal going for Lotaro. I see. So he's going to be the one man or than their opponents. Well, let's see how he's going to do it. Uh, we definitely miss uh, Legendon's uh, famous man or raider takeovers of uh, empires. Huh? And of course, all of those pillages over there. Oh, he has a cookie. Oh, look at that. There's a cookie over there. Uh, gold by library is going to have some serious gold output. Yes, I bookmarked down detector with pleasure. Yeah pleasure yeah it's a very good website and i think it actually has some regional also like some regional uh, websites also i know there's a romanian one like down detector the draw now which they may have uh, not if they die yeah that's uh, that's uh, always a problem that's always a problem but anyway we got the first map started up and i gotta say it's been i am sorry it's been uh, quite some long and i do hope uh, you understand that it's uh, it is something that it's out of our power especially when we're playing on the internet and depending on multiple applications to work at the same time as they should <laughs> in an ever-growing chaotic environment like the internet i mean yeah <laughs> there are always uh, sometimes um, problems uh, anyway we're looking at the the screen here we are loading it to the first map and uh, we're gonna see this pangea standard bridges oh okay okay five dollar Somebody is on our island. I gotta say, five dollars. Somebody's on on the island. Anybody going for ten? Anybody going for ten? Fifteen? <laughs> How much do we think uh, Gilma, Gilgamesh here lives? Oof. Oh, I don't know. I guess cars. He lives. He's uh, he's measured in car lifts. Okay, let's see. Uh... <laughs> Oh man, really, really, bro, <laughs> imagine picking the warrior Civ, the one with the biggest muscles and the biggest pecs, and you spawn on an island with 
a lake settle nobody next to you with crater lake you have a literally a crater with water there that's it that it doesn't do anything and you need to go neighbor against nobody in the game because who's gonna go coast nobody unbelievable unbelievable oh my god poor soul man oh my god this 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 is kind of bad for him like pella over here is definitely gonna have issues and i'm pretty sure this kind of smells like remap here from coc take it in boys take it in that is the smell of remap and let's actually take a look on uh, canada do they have at least a good spawn on canada uh, oh wait oh, wait, wait, wait wait no i said it uh, wait is this Alex? yeah this is Alex. hey hey there's some uh, there's some uh, advantages here they can trade on the water he can trade with canada anyway uh, trinda Otto is gonna get his uh, builder and i do see he's gonna get his uh, jtals improved here we do have him with a decent amount of tundra and also thinking the Pemaraha in the tundra not bad uh, also in the north we do have ben uh, for those extra trade routes and it looks like uh, snd is gonna be on the same coast uh, on this ocean on the west side so we're going to need to take a look at what snd is gonna pull up uh, late on in the game i'm pretty sure he's not gonna have a problem with inca to the southeast definitely can close this off and make use of this peninsula to the west side for his cities not saying it's ideal definitely the thousand than usual but you can use it yeah let's actually take a look over here on uh, each of the players lotaro first let's see angulo mapu 311 base that means he's on an ivory wait wine tile wine tile we do have him uh, with a scout oh yeah due to a bit more production we do have him with a scout coming up in three turns and by the looks of it he does have a decent amount of uh, settles here pretty good settles deers so two three deers on the western side with a two two base a lot of two twos around and also access to more of these uh, uh ivory tiles so this ooh, i mean i guess breathtaking appeal is going to be scarce in this territory a lot of rainforest is all around so it uh, does diminish the appeal quite a bit but he's going to start chopping and we're going to need to see if he's going to get that appeal that he needs for the shema mules we do have hannibal also to the southeast of uh, elephant guy northeast of or I, sh I should say east of alpha not really that close but not really that far away that means uh, there might be a conflict between them we do need to see how uh, the fish is going to try to approach uh, taking on uh, hannibal's mapuche plus five and in the back here we do have a free seeming Mickey's Iwachik with uh, Galapos, uh, Galapagos Islands. He can also uh, put cities on the east and try to um, get on the coast over there. And of course, that's going to be a war against Pella. Frankie Four Fingers, hello there, sir. Uh, Sai can get bombed by Japan. Yes. I mean, nobody picked up my bet. What do you mean, pay, pay me? Well, what, what do you mean, Cisco? Nobody picked up my bet. Isn't it uh, Pangea? Why is it separate continents? Uh, sometimes it just spawns like this. We don't know exactly why, but it just spawns like this. It has like a prerequisite. That, uh, yeah, exactly. All oh, right. Yeah. But so much you, uh, Chokela. Uh, there is a prerequisite um, for the amount of tiles that an island needs to have. And yes, that actually diminishes severely, uh, like significantly, actually, uh, the maps um, that were allowed to be played by uh, bbs because it does need a certain amount of uh, deep, uh, a certain amount of arguments to be in a certain amount of um, uh, in a certain order i should say not amount in a certain order uh, anyway uh, let's actually take a look over here on uh, snd japan kyoto we do have him with um, quite a bit of food from the sugar tiles and also production from the spices uh, good reef fish and yes he can definitely go to the south here for the freshwater city in between uh, two amenities a geothermal fisher right uh, up here to the south very nice very nice that also means uh, there's a continent split uh, between okay between him and inca uh, looking at uh, kree let's actually kree uh, see kree pastures do we have one two three four pastures in the capital okay that's not bad that's gonna help him grow quite a bit not to mention get that economy going second city next to wine tiles pretty good mickey wops uh, around them i wouldn't mind putting a mickey wop right here oh my god this would be amazing between those two uh, luxury resources and uh, yes we do have uh, some more over here and uh, we do uh, need to take a look also on elephant guy elephant guy gonna have racketed on flood plains and uh, he's not gonna have a lot of flood plains i gotta say but this is an amount of chops the city in the south 
or I should say the river in the south is gonna give him floodplains. Has a geothermal settle here to, on a two to one base with the food from the honey, and uh, also space for a plus five campus if he wants to uh, start up quickly with that uh, extra food from the bananas from the beginning. And his capital is a three one base. Does definitely make uh, sense here. Wait, they didn't go. Wait, they went maximum. No, it's balanced. Okay, it's balanced. It's fine. Interesting. So many of them actually settled on stuff that uh, gives that uh, three, that extra food. Okay, so uh, next up we do need to take a look at Nader Shan. That's going to be the city of Alpha with his 2-2 base and the possible other cities to the west side. Wine tile, for example, settle is going to be amazing with the 2-3-2 two, two bananas and the uh, honey tile there to improve for an extra amenity. Not to mention spots for uh, commercials and at the same time uh, those campuses. We do have him with a decent amount of land on the east as well with rivers uh, and mountains allowing him to get some defense against Mapuche. We're going to need to see how these are going to be uh, directed here. Definitely pretty strong settle also uh, i'm not sure if it's that strong actually i wanted to say it's a strong settle on the diamonds but then i saw that he actually needs to buy tiles uh, to make it work so i don't know if it's that strong this one doesn't need to buy anything just settles the wine tile and the city just grows you know organically grows over there you don't need to do anything you you just press b and uh, forget about it now we do have also Alexis Kremp here on uh, the tiny island that he needs to get out of and uh, he is figuring it out quite quickly that he is on a tiny island. Let's actually take a look at his vision here, discovering the crater lake on the east, going for the northern coast. This is 10-7, so I'm pretty sure he's going to figure it out. Oh no, there is, oh my god, check this out guys, there is a possibility he might think he is not on an island because there could be a way connecting him to the west side he did not scout the west side there uh dicky hello there sir when you see final match that's uh next week i believe is it in pangea why is there a separate continent i did uh, i did answer that uh pan 2 by the way good evening sir and welcome also good evening dicky we can see both team chats uh, streams this game oh noise Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Elephant Guy is streaming, right? Trinda is streaming. We got Alexis Krem streaming. Would be nice if we had uh, more, right? Oh, definitely Ben. When uh, when Ben stream? When Ben stream? Okay, uh, next up, Inca. Let's see. Inca, Cusco, he's 2 to base. He has... Uh... Okay, city probably to the southwest. Not really amazing terrace farms from the beginning. I don't see plains hills over here that are not covered by rainforest. This is a lot of rainforest uh, on all of these plains hills. And I'm not sure if this is going to actually like this. But anyway, this is going to be a lot of food coming up of, next to the river. And I guess a little bit of production anyway, right? You get it from the river and the mountains give you the food. Well, he does have a forest fire next to Cusco, but this might be actually... Wait, he didn't lose the population? If he loses the population next turn, wait, does he lose the population across the river? Because this might be a remap, like a free remap for them if he loses population. Now, Alexi just said it is okay to be on an island, so he will protect Canada from boats if someone is on the coast. I see. Uh -huh. It's okay, guys. It's okay. He's saying that. Ponuki, he's actually saying that. He is actually saying that. Well, that city deleted the production on the settler i think it did right it went to one pop and then uh, came back to two pop lost a turn or something or did something or did he take it out from the i don't think he took it out what happened here yeah there we go there we go they have a technical man so lucky Yeah, I lost the population. Uh, it seems good for him as he will take a fence who is on the coast already and can be free seeming uh, on all of his uh, cities inland. Uh, yeah, yeah. It sounds like they're okay with the uh, Masson, but they have a technical with uh, the first settler. They do over here. We were just watching this. Exactly watching this. Never didn't have it. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, let's see the next map. This, I gotta say, the technical maps uh, do not count towards the, that vote I made uh, in the poll on the Twitch and um, YouTube. They uh, do not count because it's hard to actually predict if we're gonna have uh, with so many multiple uh, remaps. But uh, the ones, the remaps that they do do with the remap tokens, those actually count. So they have one remap token for each. Neither of them picked it. Uh, neither of them uh, chose to actually pick it. So we're gonna need to see if uh, they will like the next map or not. And hopefully we're not gonna have a forest fire started like the five. first stirrings of life beneath water. Nah, uh, yeah. We all want Battlecruiser. Good evening, sir. What is the remap status? Uh, we just uh, had a technical remap and uh, we didn't have any remap tokens used till now. What is this yin yang type of map? Or wait, is, is this a fish slapping another fish? Because it kind of looks like he has his hands raised. I don't know, man. This, is, this, this looks dirty. Or did, or did he just throw him away? Oh, no. Oh my god, and this is big bully. This okay, eastern continent, big bully continent, the western continent is the is the egg continent. Who do we have on the egg continent? We got Mapuche and Japan, both same team. And Macedon. Oh wow. Well, I guess Macedon knows who to fight, right? It's gonna be a Hannibal here. And then Japan is going to be free seeming on the coast. That's not bad. Hannibal is uh, going to have his 1-3 in the capital. 3-1 underneath. That's going to be nice extra food there. What did he settle on? Honey tile. So an extra amenity also. A lot more um, appeal since the last time. With the mountains to the southwest. And uh, less um, rainforest. We do need to see how he's going to try to benefit from this. Even though I would imagine he's going to want to get another settle here. And another one here. Now we do uh, need to see what is he actually going to choose. Has a plus 4 campus to the southwest and a little bit of desert for maybe maybe a pyramids but i doubt it i'm pretty sure there's something like cleopat oh whoa 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 there's another somebody here there's a there's a sneaky canada on the egg continent so wait if this is the if these are four civilizations here two versus two that means there is a two versus two on the um, bully continent also right let's see uh racket dead Cusco fighting against wait dgs and persia so it's gonna be wait persia versus dgs right we got uh, Cusco ben going against uh, elephant guy and then we have mapuche going against two civs that's one macedon and one canada mm -mm -mm. thou shall be knighted primer scribus 68 thank you so much for the prime sir Thank you, sir. Good evening. It looks fair. Yeah, it does. It, it actually does. And SND is just going to be happy seeming over here for all of the game. Well, I guess uh, Hannibal needs to put his big pants on because it's going to take quite a bit of effort here to hold Macedon and try to poke Canada at the same time. We do have to take a look at SND's uh, Japan spawn. He is on the coast with a 3 1 wine tile. I think he did move actually from across the river to uh, get that settle on the wine tile and get that melody with a 3 1 base immediately. Fresh water from the river for the extra housing and another cattle settle towards the north which kind of looks good actually with the multiple two tools around them and some coastal resources to benefit from i'm pretty sure he's also going to settle on the west and i'm thinking maybe honey tile but we do need to see uh, if uh, we're going to have anybody else on the coast no we don't so it should be fine to just settle now we do have uh, him also with uh, some mountain ranges to the east side even though usually we would do see uh, japan sticking with the coast it's not unheard of that we're going to see him also settling some inland cities for good measure you do need a certain amount of cities to have a uh, certain result now we do have a um, pound maker also to take a look at us oh my let's see his uh passions one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven no that's a too far away six wait it's actually six he has six passions and camps two four six oh my Okay, this is a nice capital. And with a possible Temple of Artemis here in Mikis Ivoanchik. I mean, this is going to be big. I do have to point out Alpha is probably going to be um, past these mountains quite early. Especially with a possible settle uh, to the south of these. So this is not really going to be a big barrier. But still, it's going to be a little bit less crowded over here on the east. We do need to see how uh, DGS is also going to try to benefit from uh, that dice style where his um, warrior is. I'm pretty sure he's interested in getting a free pantheon. Uh, he doesn't have one in his capital and it is costing him a lot an arm and a leg to actually get one uh, from his capital 
Now we do have uh, elephant guy also to take a look at. Let's see Cleopatra, flat planes, flat planes, flat planes. Only 5,000 in the capital with another like six here, seven here to the northwest. It doesn't look like he's going to have some more. But still, uh, we've seen uh, multiple times how even in this kind of situation, Lady of the Reeds and Martians has been picked up and uh, played throughout the game as a pantheon for uh, Egyptian Cleopatra or Ptolemy for that matter. And we do have uh, two scouts uh, <coughs> opening and it looks like he's uh, going to see Bol Bologna from the beginning of the game. Game. he's also going to have the opportunity to settle coastal cities on the west and trade with japan directly this will create a lot of economy for uh, gold buying library and of course uh, they will actually be able to buy a lot of libraries uh what is that macedon's phone yes Amir, good evening sir uh, also in like 20 flat planes to the right 20 flat planes to the right oh this one yeah 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 oh yeah you're right he does have actually a lot of flat planes over here to the northeast we do need to see how he's gonna try to get his setup it will take some time to actually get a setup to the northeast and of course that is gonna be towards uh, ben so maybe he's actually gonna be interested to settle them a little bit earlier i do have to say this one uh, next to nalanda does look pretty poke over here but it will take him so long to get there one two three four five six and a seven to settle uh, so i guess one turn or two turns later than uh, he would normally settle what is this so for example this is one two and a third to settle if he wants to get next to the spy styles but that would uh, also leave this city this is one two three four five and to settle so yeah yeah it's definitely later anyway now moving uh, forward uh, neither shy in the west of uh, Cree and in the south of uh, cleopatra we do have him getting his uh, settled out in five turns he's passing the mountains and uh, will cross the rain the forest here and uh, get closer to the Cree nation he doesn't see it yet but he will he does have a pretty strong settle on the gypsum tile to the northeast that's going to be a two two one with an extra amenity and the multiple two two ships and other tiles around it not to mention spaces for campuses and or commercials here using the rivers for adjacency or the mountains respectively for um, campuses and we uh, do need to take a look at the Lexi scram this time around he's actually going to be on the same landmass as uh, everybody else and i do notice mapuche here is already passing canada scout and going towards the canadian cities which are barely getting the settlers out uh -oh. well let's actually see if um, Map canada here is going to manage to uh, get a defense for Ottawa and for that settler since these scouts are not gonna wait for anybody we do need to take a look also uh, bros working coming up in 11 turns from alexis krem discovering uh, his west trying to also get his uh, warriors to see what he can help out uh, canada with uh, while his uh, settler is coming up in one turn he does have pio pio he settled in the south the one 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 is probably going to be his choice here getting to work another sheep tile with uh, the extra culture coming up from both of those that's going to be quite nice at the beginning of the game he does have access to horses and i don't see another silk tile with a wine tile for him yeah he can settle the wine to the north he can get a connection city between these two continents and also improve the whale tiles this is gonna be a bit weird for him to go for a sailing coast and at the same time getting war units but i guess it is what it is we're going to need to see if he's actually gonna make that step i'm pretty sure he doesn't have enough land in the south it's only two cities here and one is half tundra so his uh, next option would be to go to the north or go far into the west side right get far into the west side on this river over here with at least uh, two settles mm, that is uh it is what it is anyway now it looks like uh, mapuche will get in and we do have a possibility for him to actually uh pillage the deer tile we do need to see if that's gonna be a slinger buy but and because i'm pretty sure they are aware there was a scout that got through so let's see hannibal yeah there we go he's getting in he's getting in boys Oh, uh, Pikachu! <laughs> I think uh, Trinda is a little bit annoyed. I think Trinda is a little bit annoyed. Just, just a little bit annoyed. Anyway, uh, we do have uh, to talk about Ben also. Let's see. Three science and two culture on Ben, northeast of the map. We do have him putting down his first um, terrace farm, which is going to be a six foot and two production. He doesn't really have plains hills next to the mountains for the extra production points, but of course, he does have the rivers next to the mountains, which gives him that extra production. We'll see if he actually goes the extra mile to uh, give, them so, give himself some advantages from aqueducts being next to those terrace farms. Uh, please know the map. It's two versus two. Oh, Drag, good evening, sir, and welcome. Yeah. 
I know, right? I don't think he likes this. Well, he did manage to get a slinger out. It does, I don't think it will matter that much. That uh, deer tile is still going to get pillaged. It is what it is. And then he can uh, start running off uh, after the settler. Oh, wait. He doesn't even need to run off after the settler because he has another scout coming from the other side. Oh, wait. Are they actually going to take the chance of remap remapping this just for uh, what's going on over here? That would be uh, kind of sad. It is what it is. Anyway, we do have a rocketed with a setter coming up in one. Moving forward. Did we miss anything? No, we actually watched the Trinda. Okay, we watched everybody there. I think they don't care because they'll remap. You think? I mean, it might be. Uh, but they bought a single. So it kind of seems like they do care. Yeah, they remap. They remap, man. They remap for him. They remapped uh, over here. Canada was getting definitely bullied. He's going to get pillaged and he's not going to get the return on the investment he got from the builder. Uh, he went builder first, bought a scout for the 60 gold, went uh, poof. And then uh, with the improvements he has, well, it looks like a Mapuche scout is feasting on them. Well, this is the first uh, remap token being used. David is also good evening, sir, and welcome. Hannibal winning the matchup already. What a legend. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, let's see his uh, powerful Malon skills. Does he have the first moves? Okay, this is kind of weird. What, what is... Oh my god. Is this a face? This this kind of looks like a face, no? This this is like the... The nose and the eyes. And this is like a long chin. And you have like... But what is those, all of this behind over here? What's going on behind this? Is this like a hybrid human or something? Oh no, and it has a hat also? Oh my god, well, this is a problem. I don't know, man. This uh, this map generator is uh, starting to create images. Guys, this is how they invented Mid Journey, Civilization 6 uh, map generator. We got um, Task for Fish on the west side here. We're not going to talk about him, but we do need to take a look at uh, Trina here in the south. Okay, Ottawa this time around has a pretty good uh, religious uh, idols. Uh, one, two, three, four of these uh, copper tiles. So five uh, if you take a look at the northeast. And I do see him still benefiting from a lot of deers. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Five deer tiles uh, in the capital. One, two, three, four, five deer tiles in the capital. And of course, uh, he's going to be torn. He's going to be torn. What is he going to go for? What is he going to go for? Is he going to go God of, goddess of the hunt here? Or is he going religious idols? What do you think? What do you think? Big uh, big poll. Let's see. Let's see. Let's let's go for a quick 30 second poll here. What will Trinda pick? Religious idols or... Wait, how is that? Goddess of the hunt. Goddess of the hunt. Do, 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 do. One minute is the least amount. You can literally see what he's uh, taking. I mean, sure, he's taking. But you, you need, you get both anyway, right? Skazel, good evening, sir. And yes, he's going animal husbandry. If you didn't know, he's going animal husbandry. It's a different uh, way, though. He'll go forge. Frankie Four Fingers is saying he's gonna go forge. Oh, he still has Mapuche next to him. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Mapuche Mano Raiders. Oh, Hannibal is gonna be very, very, very happy about this. Oh, <clears throat> Debris. I think Hannibal just got five points for spawning good. <laughs> you can't expect religious idols from the uh, greatest of all times. <laughs> all the Masters team are so close and have so little place. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we took a look at Trinda, right? He has a pretty good spawn here with the uh, mountains. The only problem here with the spawn is the adjacency to Hannibal. He's definitely not going to like uh, those mana raiders coming through the mountains to the northeast and uh, smashing through his cities. Yeah, but he does have good defensive positions, I gotta say. So it's not going to be as hard as it was on the previous map. Uh, it's, uh, we do need to take a look at Ben this time around. Northwest, it looks like he's also going to be between mountains. Exactly like Inca likes it. And uh, yes, this time around he actually has quite a few planes 
lane so that is going to give him those uh, necessary production points and of course uh, he's going to get so much food from his um, terrace farms we do have him going builder first and uh, that means it is going to be quite expensive for them to get the scout spies we got two of them uh, picking up these uh, builder first choices in the in the game that's very expensive usually now uh, moving forward we do need to take a look at macedon being uh, to the northwest of uh Rinda. Uh, looks like uh, the majority of the stream here, nine votes, went into Goddess of the Hunt, not religious idols. Uh, can you show continents? Yes. Uh, what is, is the great uh, so safe? Yeah. So we got one, two, three continents here. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. They, they do have enough amenities. Is there anybody on the other side? No, this is actually east versus west with uh, everybody clumped up on the west side. Yeah, so we got Ben here. We got uh, Task for Fish. Alex is Kremp and uh, Trinda and they don't have a remap token right what happens here it is all up to uh, gold by library and they have so much land behind them so I would imagine they will want to actually keep this anyway now looking at Alexis Kremp we do have him with a 2-2 base he does have uh, three tens for a scout and by the looks of it uh, three two bananas to the northwest for a second settle also a dice dice settle to the west side he might actually be interested in this is uh, quite uh, close to Mapuche and I do notice he's gonna have a strong series on the east side not to mention geothermals and uh, some mountains for the plus five campuses while uh, usually of course we're gonna see uh, encampments from Macedon going into his um, Basiliki Pades, we do need to see how this is going to evolve uh, later on. Cree uh, on the east, uh, yes, Cree is on the east here, yes. Matterhorn Mapuche, yes, this is going to be amazing. Uh, we do need to take a look here on uh, Task for Fish also to the west of uh, the city of Pella. We do have Alpha, and uh, it looks like he's also going to have quite a bit of Mercury and Amber on the same continent. <coughs> we do uh, also see him with a possibility to go coastal, and yes, he does have Bioluminance, uh, Bioluminance uh, Bay on the coast on the west side, while uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to be happy uh, sending uh, some messages to Ben here so he can get Mohenodaro or the city on the coast. So they they can trade with each other later on you know on the other side we don't have japan but they don't know that yet we're going to need to see when they're going to scout out japan and how much vision are they going to have on this peninsula this is blocking japan from actually being active in the main oceans so that will not allow japan to actually interfere with any kind of uh, trade routes being uh, sent between the two nations here well, we do need to take a look also on Elephant Guy. He's going to be the one next to Inca to the northeast. And this time around, I still don't see a lot of floodplains. Actually, he had a lot more last time around. We do have him in the capital with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 tiles, and that's about it. It doesn't look like uh, he's going to have any more. Uh, very far away to the southeast, but that's actually mean distance from SND. Definitely not gonna go there. Elephant guy does have uh, turtles in the water on the right side, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna want to get those uh, in his empire also. Like, and uh, not to mention, he will have uh, pretty strong settles with um, food and production on the southwest towards these mountains. Uh, decent amount of chops. I wouldn't say there are a lot of chops, but a decent amount of chops. Not bad, not bad. He can uh, cover this land, uh, explore, expand, and exterminate in a good, good fashion. As even uh, Inca will have problems to pass through the mountains, but at least, I gotta say, Ben will have the opportunity to uh, get Capac Nance. This will allow him to create a direct pathway uh, to the east and not need to actually go towards the north um, and then come back to the east side so he can uh, get against uh, go against uh, Egypt here. He might just uh, get the land, even though I know this is very, very dangerous, and uh, I wouldn't really recommend that he could do it now we do have uh japan no way dgs we need to take a look at ggs one two three pastures in the capital uh this is kind of meh i don't know how to say it otherwise this this, this is kind of meh meh does he have another settle somewhere with more no i guess this would be a, still a three like one two three and that's it he doesn't have a fourth one or a sixth uh amenity but it is a uh, sixth passion one or camps it is what it is mato tipila settle on the west side giving him access to extra faith and i'm pretty sure he's gonna be happy to go there he could just settle the two two base and get uh, the two three ways from the beginning of the game making that city quite powerful and uh, keeping a spot for the northern coastal settle i'm pretty sure they're gonna try to set up some coastal trade routes between him and japan and even uh egypt here they could triple um uh, the all three 
can get international trade routes on the water in the north which is going to be extremely valuable he's getting his uh settler two turns and by the looks of it uh, well uh, it's a very good second city over here also in on the cattle tile getting the um, you know, spice tile and the cocoa at the same time well, we are about to see Lotaro. Lotaro is in a position to affect this game quite nicely. He does have, uh, first of all, scouts getting the um, extra um, abilities from a Matterhorn, that ability to move through the hill terrain without uh, any break from the hills, without any effect from the hills. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to get also the forest promotion, which is going to be amazing. If he does manage to get both bonuses, he's going to manage to move uh, through... Wait, does this these do work on uh, on scouts right they didn't change this do, do they work on scouts because i didn't see the matter horde bonus they do work on scouts no yes they do okay you see it you see it over here it does the game is telling me the waypoints yeah uh, they are going to make it so much gpt with the egypt japan and crew on the upper sea yes legend and continents well we do have uh, one two three continents for uh, coc and on the other side looks like two big continents uh Kree is going to be on one extremely large one with no access to a third one while we do have egypt no still no access to the western ones and it looks like um yeah purge over here is just gonna have his own continent and i don't think they're gonna have like it's two and two right it's not three two and three it's two and two I guess Cusco will have access to some amenities, some extra amenities like the cotton tiles, but he doesn't have a lot of them. Cotton and sugar to the north, olives to the south. Okay, he has, but again, he doesn't have a lot of them, so he can't really give them to his allies. It is what it is. Uh, it's Pangea. Yes, Pangea standard ridges. Uh, do you buy libraries with uh, gold? Is it worth it? Yes plus yes if you have the gold i mean usually you want to use the gold you don't want to let it just build up so he, whatever gets you advantages it's usually good now it's uh, i would say extremely subjective on in game dependent to say what is good at what moment that's totally different i'm not sure if exactly at what moment you're referring to buy a library if for example you have an army bearing down in your series and you want to buy a library that is a big no-no you should buy units or get something uh, better, you know, upgrade your units. If uh, you have, you're in peace and you just need that little bit of science extra and you want some extra, uh, you know, points for great people and so on and so forth, like keep the tempo going, buy library. Uh, 7-2 tile on Inca. Yes, yes, this is uh, this is quite strong over here. 7 food and 2 uh, production. He did need to chop the sheep, right? He's already 4th population because of that. And I do notice Mapuche did just run into an Inca builder. Looks like uh, Inca is going to need to get that builder out of there. He doesn't have the movement right now, but I'm, he did set up his uh, shift enter back on the aluminium and he does have a slinger coming around uh, to see what's going on. There we go. I think we're turn 11. Did they just choose this map passively or are we going to see a pause? Or, okay, we got to pause. We got to pause. Okay, and there we go. We got the remap vote. Okay. Okay, what do you think, guys? Are they going to keep this or not? What does everybody think? Are they going to keep this or not? And look at that. He actually got mining also, by the way. Yeah. Uh, go buy library or to buy them more often. Yeah. How many more remaps are available? One. It's only one remap available for gold by library. And I do need to put up the team labels. I'm sorry I didn't do it. I saw the message earlier. Totally forgot. I'm sorry. I got uh, distracted by uh, cookies and uh, pigeons and uh, something. Sounds. Um... C O C. There we go. Boop. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Now it's fine, right? We got all of the info. Tell me if anything is missing. Oh, I see. Something is missing. Uh, this. There we go. Oh, this is it. They are keeping the map, so we can actually finish up the prediction and see who are the higher rollers this time around. Let's uh, finish it up. Let's click on uh, manage the prediction, choose an outcome. One remap token has been used. One remap we had that was from a um, uh, change of circumstance. If they remaster this, it could be worse. Yes, it, it could definitely be worse, but I don't know. Well, first of all, they do not know about Mapuche's... Uh, yeah, Matterhorn bonus. They do not know those, these scouts are moving freely everywhere. 
Oh, they might find out. Oh my. Oh, oh my. Okay. Alexis Strength has a bit of a problem here. And I gotta say, he might not get saved by that warrior. We do need to see what will happen. How will they move here? Where will Hannibal go? If he goes uh, west side here on the fertile, he might get denied. If he goes on the 2 2 and I uh, try to uh, move on the 2 1 and then shift enter on the 2 2, uh, that settler might be in a little bit of trouble. Anyway, he could try to go on the 2 foot tile and, of course, bring the warrior back to shift enter between them so he gets the, to protect it. Also, good evening, Kyber. Hello there, sir. Can you show continent situation? Yes. Oh my god, everybody that comes in wants to know about the continents. Okay, we got uh, Persia here on one continent, and it looked actually we got three continents on COC. That's the information you want, right? And two continents on uh, Gold by Library. If you, that's probably the easy. Oh, there we go. We got Hannibal actually moving for this. Alexis Krem bringing back his settler, and of course, now he has a choice of going for this or. Um, Trying to keep going for the non-fresh water settle to the northeast. I guess he's gonna go for the for this, right? So it is what it is. Well, uh, let's see. Hannibal will have four science and two culture to start off with. Uh, he does have a few bananas uh, going around, but only uh, one point of production on them. I'm pretty sure he's not that happy about it. We do have him with uh, May settled to the south of Nengulumapu and opening up with uh, campuses, a plus four in the northeast of that city center. On a horse style, he didn't actually discover uh, animal husbandry and did manage to get the horses basically for free there without an improvement. That will also mean he's going to need to get uh, well, the boost from somebody else on pastures. We do have him about to settle his second city canada is bringing up a warrior which doesn't have movement right now and we do need to see how quickly hannibal is going to move to settle that city on the maze if uh, he's going to get the zone of control or not of course the war has been declared and we do have that uh, option right now uh, looking at uh, also his strategics he already has horses in the second ring will have iron in the second ring as well i'm pretty sure he's going to buy that tile or grow into it at some point and since he did manage to settle his second city right here well we do have him with a good defensive position against Macedon and with a good uh, ang angle of attack against um, Canada here through the south between uh, Vilnius and Rapanui. Now looking at uh, SND, we do have uh, Hojo Tokimun on the east side. He is going to have Sendai with a lot of food, five food tile there from the sugar. And uh, another setter coming up in one turn. I do notice he doesn't have incredibly good cities here, to be honest. But I guess he does have uh, some that might make you know make it uh goddess uh, goddess god of the sea could be acquired doesn't actually have uh, access to the whales they they are four tiles out from sendai which is kind of unfortunate and i guess the only tile that he could have actually had access is this two food one which he couldn't settle now uh, has a decent amount of course to the southeast although there are some mountains that he needs to pass through and i'm pretty sure he can uh, settle to the southwest as well even give some uh, trade draws to mapuche if mapuche ev will ever settle a city on the eastern coast coast which of course will help them get a much much stronger economy from the same amount of traders <clears throat> uh, did trinda just name his uh, capital yes he did he did he's uh, he he's uh, just in trudeau today snd is going to do a second pearl harbor but this time against canada you think Let's see, let's see, SND, we, we, we gotta see what's gonna happen here, but yeah, he definitely can do quite a bit of damage on Canada, definitely can do. Uh, we do have uh, him also benefiting from horses in the second ring, while Iron is gonna be second ring from uh, Kyoto. We do have uh, to take a look also on Poundmaker, let's see, Northeast. Moving his scout westward, this indeed is also keeping up the vision. He did go first for, for uh, Pichtao Kahana Piwin, the settle on uh, the spices with the cocoa. While he does have horses uh, next to that city center, he's also going to have access to a much cheaper iron tile from there. A second ring, not a third ring. While uh, we do see him getting his trade draws from Mikisiv Wachik, that will help him grow those cities. And I gotta say, I'm still sad that he only has two of these pastures in the capital. That is going to slow him down quite a bit. Not as the usual creep we know but of course extra trade out is still extra trade out miggy wops still miggy wops but having the extra food and um, the gold on each of those trade draws does matter so much during the game only 10 points on uh, gbl wait really wait you started off the prediction and everybody's putting the points on change of circumstance whoa whoa i see there's a point sink over there i i i see uh, guys okay okay 
I cannot predict on my own prediction. Can you imagine it doesn't let me predict on my own prediction? What is this? Anyway. I was thinking uh, to put 10 points myself. There is such. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. 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 We got the fans of Gold Boy Library walking in, dropping those points into the production over here. Thank you so much, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see what the streams do think on Twitch and on um, YouTube. What do you think is going to happen today? Let me actually close up uh, the poll on uh, the recent one, on the how many remaps, and uh, put it up over here on the screen. Start the poll for who will win between uh, COC and uh, GBL let's go oh City Patreon got us chosen by uh, Cree we do have him getting that trader out and of course 40% uh, towards the first uh, uh, district is going to be amazing he's uh, discovering currency in 14 turns actually closer because he's going to get the boost from uh, the trader and uh, we'll see how many of these district discounts is he going to get now looking at um, uh, elephant guy we do have him with a second set of sweat and in the tundra in the tundra in the tundra the nighty tundra well i don't know i, I i'm very confused about this what, what what happened here is this a temple of artemis city or something didn't he have a camp in his camp uh, uh, i mean i get the city don't get me wrong i understand why you would put a city there i don't understand why you put a city there now that's my that's my question I would like to know this is the way is this the way anyway it is the way we got the trader coming up from rocket in two turns and <clears throat> yes he's gonna start improving his amenities quite uh, soon he has irrigation uh, discovered in a few turns and i think he did get the boost from the farm on the wheat tile there so he's just gonna wait for the boost uh, for, uh, for he's just gonna wait to finish irrigation and then uh, go for the cotton tiles uh, we do have him also getting his uh, third city to the west side he cannot i don't think he can set up the sugar tile that's three tiles away but he can definitely go for the two two base uh, either on the on the river bend on the or the north of it looks like a mapuche He's gonna go for the Matterhorn. Well, yeah, he's gonna go for the Matterhorn settle. It is what it is. Uh, Inapira Mapu is uh, getting stopped to build a campus here. That's a bit unfortunate for Hannibal, but it is what it is. He's still gonna get his uh, caps on. And uh, we do have him buying a trader here from Inapira Mapu to, uh, get to help his tempo. Okay, nice. Uh, Task for fish. Let's see, Nader Shah getting his uh, City of Alpha with Magnus in two turns. Uh, he probably popped the title from uh, somewhere. We do still have him on Early Empire in 12 turns. So, yeah, he definitely must have popped the um, title here. Uh, looks like he's also going to get the cities on the west. Has joined the round table. Empty Go, thank you so much for the follow, sir, and welcome. Uh, Egypt on Tandra, just as we all learned in the history class. Yes, I mean, that makes sense, no? The cities for Luxus because they only have two continents okay i totally get that my question still stands why now like wh why the second city and not the third or the fourth or the fifth wh wh why prioritize so early on wait a second he did get so he will have two of them right he's gonna have first and he's gonna have uh, cotton and he's gonna have uh, sugar okay he has three of them with with that one uh, it will be three of them let's see right now he's uh, zero happiness level let's see how quickly he can actually get to uh, plus three uh, looking at alpha he's gonna get the uh, horses in the north i see first ring out also iron first ring out he does have internal trade are starting to help him out and beginning to build his uh, monuments i'm pretty sure he's gonna want his commercial soon and uh, i do see him going for currency in six turns we do have him uh, also quite far away from his opponents we yes uh, we do have uh, Macedon on the east side of him but he's uh, behind safe lines over here behind his allies and i'm pretty sure task for fish is going to be required to get a big army for the later part of the game he's also going to be engaging the western coast if he puts a city next to the bioluminous bay then i'm pretty sure this is uh, not going to be very welcome by uh, Cree here we're going to need to see how they're going to set up the score uh, later on in the game uh, looking at alexis cramp we do have him uh, right next to Maceron and already putting down his uh, three encampments while Maceron did go four uh, campuses now that he finished the first one he's gonna get the second one in a plus uh, three location well the first was a plus four gonna get some culture from matterhorn and uh should start getting his encampment soon we do have him discovering bronze working in three turns well uh, i do see 
I do see um, Macedon will have access to an iron tunnel to the southeast of Pella, where he's also getting a builder, and uh, he started connecting his uh, forward city to the capital, so he can actually bring units there much faster. He's also putting these encampments in uh, such a position that he can actually enforce his east side much faster than anywhere else in his empire. And we do have him with uh, this city, Shalkidiki, which is kind of sad, unfortunately, only a 3-1 base with a 2-2 next to him. His uh, other 2-2 would be 3 rings out uh, to the southeast, that is very very far away and these he can't even get i'm not sure i mean he doesn't even have fields here oh my god i guess somebody would have gone for like somebody with lady of the desert marshes maybe would have gone for this city i'm not sure if this would have been uh, would be a good idea for him i'm very surprised he didn't settle this city here i'm very surprised did he not discover this oh he doesn't know wait but even if he doesn't know this is still better Oh well, it is what it is. I guess it's not better in the sense that uh, you don't get the proximity, but uh, honestly, I think it's better to build four horses than one horse in a city that is further away than ideal. That's at least my mind, you know? Like even two horses are better than one horse. Anyway let's uh let's come back to this uh we do have uh ben 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 three cities we do have him getting his campuses out also opening up there and i'm pretty sure he's uh going for the points here it looks like he did manage to push back the scout of his opponent and i think he killed it wait no he probably went all the way to the south yeah he, he went back and went all the way to the south here no no this is no no this is another one he probably killed it because there's like no more scouts here and yeah yeah oh well it is what it is we do have Cusco getting his magnus i do see uh builders starting to improve most of his resources not horses though they did not improve the horses yet and uh, these uh, are not going to be expensive from wilka woman but it will have it expensive from uh, Cusco. three rings out also from chiquito as well and the same can be said about the iron tiles three rings out from Cusco in the eastern direction where he's definitely not going to settle a city now we do have him with a decent amount of cities uh, to the uh, north and to the west not to mention quite a few of them in the south he has a one tile choke between him and mapuche which he can easily plug and we're going to need to see how quickly he's going to get there he does have the vision on the southeast i'm pretty sure and that would mean also he has the vision over this uh, olive uh, settle or the 2-2 next to it and i'm pretty sure that should be a settle for him well, looking uh, next on uh, Trinda, we do have Canada here already with three cities, getting his uh, Temple of Artemis in 110, and uh, he did pick up a Pantheon that will be Monument to the Gods. Well, neither of the choices we put there. Uh, Bona Divinatza, Heining Dave, hello there, sir, and welcome. Uh, can you show uh, production? Yes, sir. That's actually exactly where we were. Ruperfet, good evening, sir, and welcome. Rusty B, maybe the goal is to steal Temple of Artemis from Canada yeah but that doesn't happen no that yeah that we're, we're just seeing it right now that's not gonna happen next time temple of artemis is a hundred percent gonna uh, gonna finish for justin trudeau over here you know we do have uh, more multiple copper tiles of course improved he did manage to get the mine on the iron and improve most of his uh, god uh, goddess of the hunt tiles of course and well <laughs> camp tiles not goddess of the hunt because he doesn't have it uh, we do have him also with some uh, salt mines and of course uh, ivory for the extra things while mapuche is gonna start feasting on the farms of canada it looks like uh, hannibal is uh, without any kind of you know fear he went into the cities of canada and just started uh, pillaging putting them on fire letting them on fire it is what it is holy site opener also from uh, trinda follow up after he got his temple of artemis uh, quite a few amenities are already starting to uh, be added to the city of justin to do which i also think uh, quebec is going to get some right at least a deer tile and he's going to get a dice tile afterwards and another deer tile that should be more than fine oh my god there are so many deer tiles over here How much uh, he would have gone away? Oh, you don't get production, right? It's uh, only gold. You don't get production on these deer tiles. Anyway, you only get uh, one food and uh, what? Four gold or something? 
they were so much so much better when uh, it was uh, production also added anyway uh, strategic resources horses not gonna be close to him we do have him with iron right underneath that the warrior but he doesn't know about it yet he's just gonna get pillaged because it's getting pillaged pillaged and while canada keeps on improving his styles we do also see him putting down stonehenge here from the city of quebec city he's not gonna go for an extremely big monumentality like investing a lot in the holy in these holy sites but it looks like he's gonna still want a religion here we'll see how this uh, develops in the next part of the game and uh, see how he makes everything work yeah let's uh, take a look at what's going on here this is going to be very important between the two civs macedon actually getting um a highway to attack Mapuche while Mapuche will have the ability to get his manual readers with um, Matterhorn bonuses or any unit for that matter with Matterhorn bonuses are going to be amazing. So we're going to need to see how they are going to clash in the next part of the game. While uh, I do want to let the screen stay here a little while, we do need to take a look at the city states. Uh, also, Macedon Pillage Egyptian Trader. Oh, Macedon Massive, actually. He did? That's nasty. How did he get in there? Wait, did he die? Or he... No. Oh, this one. Oh, he got in and he took it down. Yeah, he did. It is what it is. Canada is also trying to get to Kyoto, but that's not going to happen. Like, look at SND just taking a look at the scout and waving. He's basically on the other side of the coast over there. Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah, we got cookies. Yes, very nice. Yes, we are very happy people, but you stay there, okay? You stay there. You see the water over here? This part is ours. That part, we don't care. You go there. <laughs> Canada often banned when uh, camps had production. Yes, that is true. That is true. I didn't say it was uh, the best uh, choice they did, but it was amazing to have them. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Match, uh, Mapuche is gonna die from Alexander. You saw it here first. Lumatics uh, calling it out, making a prediction. It might happen. Also, Dre, uh, Dra, uh, Task for uh, Senpai will carry this game as always. Yeah, there's a certain possibility that. Uh, yep, 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 yep. We're gonna need to see how uh, the fish here is gonna use his uh, biggest brain to uh, get out of this or win this. And we do have uh, to take a look at the city states, right? Let's see. Keep the screen here because I got distracted. I would have Vinius, Mohenio Dano, Rapa Nui, and Kumasi. Oh my god, this is culture victory waiting room from both teams, man. Anyway, now so many culture points can be uh, generated here. Also, a lot of good bonuses, uh, not only early on in the game, but also later on in the game. Uh, Kumasi is... No, not here. Where is Kumasi? Mohenio Dano, Kum Ayutthaya. Kumasi is hidden. It is hidden over here to the northeast. Okay. I guess uh, a little bit less culture for trade routes. It is what it is. Uh, Barra Brunei with uh, Cahokia and Muscat for uh, the gold benefits. We got Nazca in Jerusalem for uh, the religious benefits. And I'm pretty sure anybody that's going to go religion, wink, wink, um, in Canada, might want to put a few points in there. You know, we do have also Hatusa as the only one uh, for science bonuses. While I do notice we do have uh, Kabul for military. Uh, we don't have any industrial city state uh, appearing in the game a bit unfortunate but it is what it is well we do have uh, macedon building up his infrastructure for uh, the spamming of hetaris with uh, basilico pates and multiple encampments finishing up i do notice also inca is coming from the north with a city here not going for that olive tile oh he is going for the olive tile and uh, i do notice of course mapuche is trying to get another one of these scouts in there maybe maybe he can do something elephant guy did actually pass through through the lands of Inca and kept on going he keeps on going okay well I guess there are there are some uh, terrible choices that it to make it is what it is uh Trinda did get his mind pillaged so of course that uh, warrior did basically pay for himself there we got some pantheons we got some pantheons pantheons enjoyers no uh, raquette is gonna get lady of the ridger marshes makes sense for the extra production on all of these um plot plane tiles he does have a um, trade another one coming up from swanet while uh, let's actually check if he did manage to get to plus three amenities he did he did he just activated basically the boost of save here activated that plus eight on his uh, series or at least two of them as uh, like and thieves because i did notice swanet does not have it and i think thieves is gonna lose it as well when it's gonna hit uh, three pop well we do have uh, etemenanki in three turns finishing that's gonna give more production to these tiles and of course the extra science on these improved tiles that's pretty nice pretty nice 
Japan went for Garissa festivals and he started getting his um, plantations out. I do see the sugar tiles are getting improved and he is defending and escorting his uh, builders with warriors. So he doesn't have any problems here. Canada is still being kept on the other side of Kyoto on the west side. And I'm pretty sure he's going to want to push at some point there so he can get a city. Uh, to the southwest of uh, Kyoto. Anyway, we do have uh, harbors coming around. That's the first district. And uh, we do have already a trader working for him. Uh, quite a few builders for the plantations he has. While I'm pretty sure he's going to start getting that gold as quickly as possible. And we do need to see how he's going to want to set up his expansion phases. How many cities and where. Uh, stats, please. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We got, uh, we got the stats for you. Yep. Okay, now Cree went uh, CD Patreon. Persia didn't go any. We don't have Macedon going any. Monument to the Gods here. Monument to the Gods uh, does give the production towards wonders. And to be honest, for a second there, I was uh, thinking if uh, that's more worth than uh, Goddess of the Hunt in this position with so many camps. Because I'm pretty sure there are a lot of players that would have just blindly clicked on Goddess of the Hunt when they saw so many camps. And that is a lot of gold. Not, not to mention other players that would have definitely preferred the religious idols. Because if you go for the monumentality, I'm pretty sure the extra faith that you get from religious idols, like what, that's uh, 12 more faith or... Yeah, 12 more faith. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, actually 5, so okay. Uh, 15 more faith. He has more over here to the west side. That's a lot more faith and the uh, gold that you're going to get. I guess we're going to need to see. We're going to need to see if this is actually going to be the advantage he needs. He definitely can shave off uh, one turn, right, from these from these wonders. And that is a, sep a separation point between him and his opponents. Mapuche went got the forge. Hannibal is uh, gonna get a wave of builders and I do see him improving his iron tile soon. He did manage to get 16 science with 9 culture next to Alexis Krems uh, 7 and 7. Well, I do have to say these Basilico Pates uh, take a long time to build but they are worth it uh, in the next part of the game. We do have Alexis Kremp also 4 turns away from horseback riding. That is about the time that these uh, at least 2 of these Basilico Pates are gonna be finished. While he doesn't really have time to get the builder out, we're gonna need to see if, uh, if he's gonna get the opportunity or maybe gonna get the goal from his teammates religious settlements for uh, ben he's gonna get the opportunity to get more production towards his settlers and acquire more tiles with each settle and we will see the first um example happening here to the southeast of Cusco. Uh, I do have to point out that it's his fourth city and he is the only one that has a fourth city at the moment. Uh, putting down more campuses and more of these uh, terrace farms. So you do see the 5-3 tile over there being worked amazing at the beginning. While another plus uh, five campus is coming out from Cusco, I can imagine he's going to have uh, quite a bit of uh, science and culture in the next part of the game. 1028 looking at the era score we do have uh, almost all of the players getting there except alexis krem but i'm pretty sure he's gonna get there when he's gonna get uh, horseback riding so that should be fine he's just one one single point away but wait oh my god that's actually one turn too late oh te is this gonna be normal age macedon he has bas oh he has basilico yes yes there we go he has uh, he has the plus four from there thank you thank you now keyboard ben is playing yes he is man yes he is how long has it been since ben played actually how long like one month one month and a half two months because i'm pretty sure even before uh, we had a bit of a pause in the cpl premier league uh, he uh, he was a little bit on and off does anybody know how long uh, was Ben on the sidelines? Nader Shah getting his uh, expansion phase going. I see the fourth city going to the southeast. That's going to be non fresh, by the way. He cannot uh, put it there on the 3 1s, and I'm pretty sure he's going to go forward or the 4 the 3 2 1 or something of around there. We do have him uh, also with uh, possible settles to the northeast. Doesn't need to be bothered by anybody. I'm pretty sure he's uh, going to be happy just getting commercials and settlers here. Okay, we do have uh, him getting some galleys out and yeah, he's uh, he's gonna get the points for the gold range. Alexis Kremp 
And they also managed to get the points for the golden age. We got Mapuche pulling down uh, one in Cameron from Inapire Mapu while he's getting his guy from Plaza from uh, the capital city. That is going to boost his science output. Then we do have him uh, starting to improve his uh, plantations here. So he gets some uh, extra gold per turn. He's right now on 12 with 17 science and 14 culture. Now looking at uh, also Japan here, we got him uh, with a forest fire on the banana. That's going to be an amazing tile next. And uh, it does look like he's going to finish up his monuments. Actually, that's a lot of production in Takamatsu with quite a bit of culture from Goddess of uh, Festivals. We do have him uh, at the moment with 9 science and 12 culture. And I'm pretty sure he's uh, having a strong economy with 21 gold a turn. It's still Cree that has 30 gold a turn. He already finished his uh, commercials and did manage to get a guy from Plaza in between them. Uh, we do need to see how he's gonna set up his um... oh I know how he's gonna set up his uh, industrial zones oh no no I don't know Heck. anyway yeah we do need to see how he's gonna set up his um... industrial zones here it can definitely be an aqueduct here and two of them to the west side not gonna be ideal though it is what it is anyway uh, gold I guess it's the priority we do have uh, Builders coming around, we do have uh, markets coming around for the extra trade routes, he will need more settlers, I'm actually a bit surprised, uh, we do see him uh, slacking a little bit uh, for the guy from Plaza, I would imagine he wants uh, political philosophy uh, for the ability to get those, uh, wait, didn't he get it yet? No, he didn't, no, 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 he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he's still in chiefdom. Uh, I do see it one turning there, so I'm not sure if he actually finished it this turn or uh, something else. And we do have uh, something popping off, and I didn't see what. Something something actually popped on my screen, and I didn't see what. Something else got taken somewhere? No? I don't see a unit that's uh, in an awkward position. Mm. Maybe here again? No. No, no. Anyway, it is what it is. We're 10 30, one turn away from uh, getting there. And uh, we do need to see what's happening on uh, Cusco. Okay, we got him with Ancestral Hall. And uh, the question is, will he actually put Ancestral Hall here? A build, another builder is coming from Mikisiv watching. He already has Magnus. He can uh, chop it uh, relatively quickly. And he does have a decent amount of territory to go for on the east side. Even a city state to kill. If he does go on the eastern coast and starts dedicating his uh, cities there, I'm pretty sure he's going to end up at some point finding off the Persian uh, armadas. We do need to see if that's for fish. He's going to have a little bit of heads up about that. We do have Ancestral Hall coming up in uh, four turns from Mikisiv Wachik and we do need to see how fast this builder will start improving to improve everything there this should be a mickey wap though really should be the mickey wap for the food housing and production and so on anyway now he will also need to get horses here i don't think he, oh he did manage to get the horses iron tile is uh, missing there's going to be a lot of requirement for resources on Mapuche. This is where the heat of the map will be for quite some time. And we do need to see how both of these nations are going to fare against each other. We're going to soon also see um, Alexis Krem start to put down Hetaris in the production queues. And they're going to start spamming them against his opponent. We, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Two turning Hetaris, three turning Hetaris. Uh, that seems like a little bit longer than usual with the maneuver car and the plus one production. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, generals, he's the only one making generals right now. For the turn, he's going to get it passively. That's fine. We do have an encampment training projects coming up from Mapuche, and I do notice he has a builder with two chops ready to go. Actually, two builders with chops ready to go. <clears throat> Uh, I do have to point out Mapuche is going to get a plus 10 against uh, his opponent here, Alexis Kremp, uh, because of uh, Alexis Kremp being in a golden age, so, well, at least uh, he's going to have that for him. You do see it already activated on all of the units of Mapuche. Uh, Mastodon Scout can steal a Kree Settler. Mastodon Scout steal Kree Settler. No, he can't. I guess uh, Alexis Scream got spotted over there with his level 2 scout and um, DGS got his Occhitao. Yeah, this is what it is. Uh, 
Okay, let's go from the left to the right and see the Golden Age options. We got uh, Mapuche here. Uh, Penbrush and Voice Golden Age. It looks like he's getting his Wallows thrown in six turns. It makes sense while well, he's going to get his encampment training project so he can acquire a general. He definitely needs one in the next uh, six to seven turns. We do have also Magnus establishing in Picum Mapu. That is a non freshwater city that he settled on Matterhorn and he still has quite a few housing problems to grow. We're going to need to see how he's going to fix that soon. 18 science and 25 culture. With with a 21 gold a turn, only 32 production at the moment. SND with a Penbrush and Voice Golden Age, 21, 11 science with 24 culture. I do see him getting his fourth city out, uh, boat, so he can scout out his coast. And I would have uh, really loved to actually see a fourth, a fifth city also. We do have his uh, banana recovering from the forest fire, and we do need to see what's going to happen over here. Where is he going to want to send this settler? Uh, towards the southwest, towards Canada, or somewhere else? Well, I do see this linger is starting to move towards the southwest, so I would assume he's going to want it here somewhere. Not a really good city but i guess he does want it um, to be been distance from his capital and we do have also dgs okay there we go he's going north he, he, oh west actually wait what oh my god he's going after the route okay yeah definitely much better city much better city on the northwest than uh, he would have had to the southwest much better city now we do have also DGS to take a look at to the east of Japan, putting down his campuses. I do see he did manage to um, get a very good production toward those, probably a discount. Uh, two turns for a Sestra Hall, another campus coming out uh, for him. And uh, yes, we're going to see later on how he's going to set up his um, this industrial zones and aqueducts and uh, dams and so on, the bonuses for his production. But at the moment, he's uh, prioritizing getting as many cities out as possible. I'm very curious if he's actually going to wait that one extra turn to get get the free builder in the city in the south you see this setter that is just standing around next to the horses he's basically horsing around uh he's we need to see if he's gonna settle this or not because he only has one thing oh oh he gonna settle oh my god wait he doesn't see it no yeah he doesn't see it oh my god man DGS sees it? No, he doesn't know. Check this out. He neither of them know of each other, right? <laughs> oh my god, the one forest, man. The one forest. And you know what's going to be funny, right? If Alexis Krem first moved this out of the blue. <laughs> yeah, he won't have the production to follow Macedon's with uh, drums. Mapuche can die uh, pretty fast here. Yes, yes, Mapuche can die pretty fast here. Let's, uh, let's see what his shops are going to tell us. I gotta say, uh, we didn't have uh, the Gavran Plaza with Wallace Throne yet built on Macedon. It will take some time. I don't think he has political philosophy, does he? Let's see. Alexis Kremp. Oh, he does. He does. He is in oligarchy. So he just chose not to build it. He already has Hetaris and he already can flex them against Mapuche. So might as well. Okay. Did, did he? Yeah, he settled. He settled. It was not worth the risk for a builder, no? Yeah. So he had Ancestral Hall, he was forced to settle by the positioning of Alexis Krampus' scout. He had to do what he had to do, man. It is what it is. Uh, we got also Elephant Guy here with three cities. Uh, he did manage to get the Temenanki and uh, receive the bonuses from those improved resources here. I do see he's going for the next wave of settlers and did manage to uh, repair his trade route, send it to uh, Tokyo again to Japan. While he does have pretty good cities to the southwest, he's also going to get a little bit um, uncomfortable here with Inca next to him to the west side. He doesn't have any units to defend himself that much, only a few archers here and there, which uh, usually do for quite quickly two horses. We're going to need to see how he's going to fix the situation and get back on this you know we do have uh, to take a look at uh, also task for fish on the other side with a pen brush and voice uh, golden age he's on five cities already and i do see him uh, getting to finish his market soon he's uh, right now making two great merchant points at 10 while Cree is on 3.4 and egypt is on 2.3 the first one is uh Coleus, which i mean it is not that big if uh, montezuma would have been in, in the game it would be big i'm pretty sure it would be it's still valuable for somebody like Cree that only has a few resources uh, worth of um, continent amenities if he does manage to get it somewhere over here but that's going to be a long and treacherous path that is a problem anyway now looking next we do have Alexis Kremp, Drums of War 
We do have him with 9 science and 19 culture. He already has his first Setari going against the Mapuche here. And he's going to start hitting that unit quite soon. Those units quite soon. We do have him with some builders. And uh, Hannibal Barca is showing up uh, to fight. While I do notice also Hannibal did my... Wait. Is this going to be Hannibal versus Hannibal Barca? The Battle of the Titan Babylon. The, the, the Hannibalian uh, challenge. Rinda's theater set up with those wonders will be beautiful. Let's see. Uh, theater, theater. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the plus sevens at, bro? Where the plus sevens at? we're gonna get there we're gonna get there i'm pretty sure uh, let's see alexis cramp moving attacking no it's still not moving here he cannot do the damage against the archer it is what it is it's he's gonna need for more units to get more units and by looks of it if he starts moving to the east he's also gonna get discovered <clears throat> we do have horses uh, coming around from mapuche so i'm pretty sure this is uh, gonna end up horses versus horses we're gonna need to see if uh, mapuche will actually have that strength uh, he needs to push back uh, Macedon. Or at least hold. Uh, better but better with a pen passion voice golden age. 24 science with 29 culture. He's going for his commercials. And uh, did manage to uh, get some. Or like one of them out. I do see he of course with the campus. is gaining so much science at the moment. Ma Moksha establishing Chupito. For the extra culture. And more settlers are coming around. He did choose religious settlements. So he's getting them a little bit faster. You know, we don't really have him making an army. But he did want to get at least one horse out. For the extra um, garrison defense strength. And of course uh, we do have him uh, with the ability to try to take a look at what's going on in Egyptian territory. There is a horse also coming out from Egypt with another one from uh, Swenet. So it looks like we got, uh, we might actually have some uh, horses around here. Somebody horsing around. Uh, looking at uh, Trinda, 16 science with 23 culture, 27 faith at 10 and 59 uh, production. We do need to take a look at his religion. You, 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 you. Uh, secret place with uh, divine inspiration makes sense. China basically, you know, uh, trademark um, religion here. We do have him with um, monuments to the gods. So he's going to get a lot of uh, wonders. We do have him also with pyramids in the city of Victoria. Also, uh, I do see Magnus establishing in that city. We'll give him him, uh, quite a few extra bonus production points when he's gonna start chopping the war has started we got units canada moving archers in the face of macedon in the face of um Mapuche, by the looks of it, Rapa Nui is going to be the first victim of Alexis Krem's uh, Hetaris. He's going to take a little bit of a right turn here and uh, take another city for himself. While, of course, uh, he's going to have the ability to defend a little bit better uh, Canada after he's going to take that city. And we do have uh, multiple horses from Hannibal coming out. And this is going to be give us the... Oh, guys, look, look at that, guys. It's uh, horses, uh, Mapuche horses with the extra plus 10. Uh, looks like uh, they're taking out these the Hetaris without uh, breaking a sweat, I would say. Mm, yeah, this is a bit of an issue over here for um, for Alexis Krem. If his Hetaris are taking so much damage. But I guess we'll see. We'll see. It is a numbers game and of course production will matter quite a bit. Hannibal is only on 36 while we do have Alexis Kremp on 43. If Alexis Kremp gets another city, that's going to be more production in general. So yeah, that is a, a bit dangerous. We do need to see also if Hannibal is going to manage to get some cities out on the east side so he can uh, keep on simming while he's warring. Doesn't really look like he has much choice though. Uh, multiple theater squares are going to come out from Canada. There will be a lot of early pressure when it comes to uh, those uh, great writer points, artist points and musician points. We do need to see if uh, Japan or Cree, probably Cree, will need to uh, try to get this out. I don't know if Cree is getting a few horses. Of course, Nazca could be a city center for him. Uh, or uh, taking out one of these, Hatusa, Hokia or Kabul. And we do have Hannibal with Mapuche on Kabul. And oh, that's going to be big. That's a lot of experience that's uh, gonna be acquired by these horses which do initiate the fights you do get a lot of good stuff happening well it looks like canada's uh, archers are getting bullied that archer is uh, left uh, speechless after he got punched in the nose blood is uh, boiling everywhere and we do need to see the follow-up attack here from mapuche fish is always the biggest yes 
he won't have the production to uh, follow Mastodons with drums. Uh, second level, maybe the side pro. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it was the um, movement through woods. If you're referring to that nasty scout that was here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Oh, it is side. Sorry, it is side. So wait, he had the vision. He actually had the vision over the settler. I see. So he he actually I'm sorry he actually had the vision over the settler. You are correct. So he got uh, Matterhorn bonus, then he got the um, woods, and then he and the woods bonus, and then he got the other one. That's what I was missing. Very nice, very good. Well, Mastodon with enough um, of these Setaris uh, can actually punch through Mapuche if he does uh, activate that extra plus 10 against uh, units that are fortified. He does have 46 right now against the 51 of the horse. And we do need to see uh, next 10 when that horse uh, might actually get the 45 on him. Pingala establishing in Apire Mapu. And we do have uh, Mapuche getting right now 35 cents with 28 culture. Significantly more than Alexis Kremp. But it's still he's going to need quite a few turns to get to um, his Malon Raiders that will be a unit that will definitely make full of out of uh, the hetaris of uh, Maceron but we do need to take a uh, look at their goal per turn then if because I'm pretty sure he's not gonna get to mercenaries at the same time it's probably gonna be earlier than mercenaries Uh, Trinidad did go for the monumentality, right? So 31 faith at 10. That's not too shabby, I gotta say. We got Hanging Gardens coming out also from Vancouver. And he's just placing wonders. He's building all the wonders he can. This is basically like an FFA for him. Okay. Rapa Noe has easily been taken over by Macedonian Hetaris. And yes, we do have them uh, now facing off Mapuche's army directly. While I do notice uh, Mapuche will still need quite a few turns to get the, the, his full army to bear against his opponents. We do need to see how this is going to develop here. Oh, the Hetari. There we go. The Hetari can punch through the horse with the charge. Hmm. Uh, Mapuche has, yes, low production. He did finish his Wall of Throne, though. So it does help when it comes to building up these war units. I don't really see anybody exploding right now with city count, but we're going to come back to take a look at each of them. We got a general here on Inca. We might see a night attack from him. He can definitely push through Mapuche, especially if Mapuche is not going to plug this choke here, the 2-2 two, two base. Um, or I should say the 2-1 because this is, yeah, the, these two tiles. Now we do have uh, multiple of these uh, markets coming around, being built from uh, a lot of empires with the Cree on 4.6 merchants, uh, Purchase on 4. We got uh, Egypt on 3. I do see Inca on 2.3 so there are still quite a few things that need to be done all of the generals have also been picked looks like uh, we did have uh, Macedon picking up two Inca picking up one and the Burica Mapuche will be on Mapuche we got also an admiral being picked up by Japan but not that it matters that much no Hypatia first no one an engineer no merchant right now for the extra um, trade routes and i'm pretty sure a lot of them are actually waiting for that uh persia still didn't get his pantheon we do have him with audience chamber coming up in two turns and i do notice he's getting a campus here in the city of bravo plus three delta non freshwater city echo freshwater city and both of them getting his um, commercials out and i do see he's uh, benefiting from the tiles of a rainforest fire you know four three banana and a three three has been have been acquired in the city of echo that's a big army from Macedon, by the way. That is a big army from Macedon. Biggest army from Macedon. Eh, well, we do have some uh, one turning units here, and it looks like Alexis Krempi is seeing uh, the light. He cannot actually push, but he can get pushed back if uh, Mapuche does get enough of his units out. And of course, uh, every time he's... Uh, oh, actually, look at that. He's, uh, he's pushing him. He's actually showing him what his units can do. And well, there are going to be a few trades here. I'm pretty sure these, this horse is not going to make it out alive unless he runs for his life right now. Might not even then, though. Yeah. Yeah, well, he did run away. There we go. Put him to the correct position. He uh, sparked the interest of uh, Alexis Kremp. We do have uh, more horses coming up from the northern cities and uh, Mapuche is going to manage to match uh, these uh, Taris coming at him. 
Uh, I do notice also Pingala establishing in Antavaila, that's an Incan city. We do have him uh, with uh, more cities to the west side. And I do notice uh, there is a gathering here next to Mohenio Daro. Not sure what they're doing, what they're planning. That city is quite tough to beat, but I guess uh, if they do have a horse there and they might uh, win over it, if, especially if they do manage to put it under siege. We do need to see if, uh, there we go, that's exactly what's happening here. They're trying to bully Mohenio Daro into submission. Oh, this definitely needs to get the tile next to Mohenio Daro. The city is still not under siege, no? No, it's not. Kick. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, but then I also come here from uh, this city of uh, Canada. We do have him with uh, the two theater squares uh, in between the main ones. The Governor Plaza and the... Um... Temple of Artemis gonna be quite big. It would have uh, been nice to actually have that entertainment complex plugged in somewhere, but it looks like it is uh, quite far away in the north. Uh, he's also pulling down Magnus, and uh, he does have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chops. If he wants to go for uh, Magnus, we do probably we will probably see a builder buy over there or multiple builder buys, so he can actually get those chops as quickly as he can. Colosseum is gonna be extremely important. We don't actually have anybody going for entertainment complex at the moment, but. Uh, uh, we might actually see Japan going for it. I do see theater squares. And of course, Japan does have half cost theater squares. So he can definitely spam them out with the ease. Actually, there we go. Two theater squares coming out from him. Japan, 4.6 great writer points at the moment. And we got also Egypt uh, starting to expand towards the south, uh, getting uh, his fifth city. Looks like he's uh, behind in city count, or at least uh, that's my feel of it. Uh, we do have Inca on five, Persia on five, Canada on five, Japan on five. He's still on four. So yeah, it does seem like he uh, is uh, slowed down. He slowed down a little bit, pushing actually Inca with. Uh, without having a general is a risky proposition over here but he did manage to pillage at least one of the Incan farms the terrace farms to the north of uh, Wilka Waman while he's forcing Inca to uh, get more units here that's pretty good okay let's see Mapuche Mapuche getting the wall of pain against his opponent he might actually get to push here through multiple units of Hetaris Let let's see is this gonna be the plan where is he on uh, the table on the take three we got Mapuche here, Mason in one turn, civil service in three, civil service when on uh, Alexis Krem, record the history, okay. So he's gonna be like, he's gonna be quite a few turns, like three, two or three turns behind this, and Mapuche will get his extra plus five against these units. That's not bad, that's not bad, and I'm pretty sure he's eyeballing getting um, his um, uh, crossbows also, right? Totally forgot what the technology is called. What's the, what's the technology called? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Machinery, machinery. I, was, I kept on thinking engineering, but I was like, no, that's not it. No, no, I'm pretty sure I would have heard that. No, no, that's not it. Um, Apoja has so low production. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, so looks like uh, Egypt is trying to bully his way through the Canadian warrior to get another city down. That's gonna be uh, freshwater or non-freshwater? I'm very curious how far into the south is he gonna go. I would imagine he's gonna go as far as the bananas, but I guess we'll see. You know, we do have him also with only a single Mariano Cherit Archer to put the pressure on Inca. We might actually see some last moves here. Ooh, woo! Alex is Krem getting in behind enemy lines here. Hannibal is getting pushed. We do have uh, more swordsmen coming around. More of these archers also coming up, popping out uh, every turn. Hannibal is getting the builders ready to chop. And it looks like uh, even Vilnius is uh, throwing arrows at his units. There is a very, very random horse over here that Hannibal needs to take care of. And we do need to see if he's gonna manage to push back these Setaris. but look at Alexis Krem just build a line and forcing Mapuches to stay on the other side well there is a chance that Mapuche can uh, uh, soon overwhelm let's see uh, how quickly he can get to that st uh, oh he's not gonna get quickly there like Alexis Krem is already 10 turns out from stirrups while Hannibal is getting machinery next turn he's gonna get the ability to upgrade all of these crossbows um, of course without mercenaries he doesn't have enough uh, culture requirement for mercenaries and the difference in size is actually quite big but I gotta remember M Macedon with the Basiliki page gets um, science out of the total production of a unit this is amazing for him he just needs to spam out units and poof magical science just comes in from the air 
and helps your empire discover things faster. I don't know. You just wake up with dreams, basically. You know, you get dreams uh, every night and they're like, oh, my God. Yes, this morning I want to create a USB. Nobody knows what a USB is, but it's fine. We're going to do it. Yes, we're going to fly into space. How, sir? How? I, we don't care. Get a spaceport. Get a big TNT stuff over there. It's going to blow and we're going to be propelled into the air. Yes, yes. That is the way. Okay, let's see uh, multiple campuses. SD opening up with parks also. Looks like uh, he did put the first one while he's uh, puddle jumping uh, Liang everywhere. He definitely wants to secure his um, amenities here. And I'm actually a bit surprised he didn't go for entertainment complex to get his... Um, but didn't he have a city? Oh, he did have a city with a very good places. And chops. I mean chops. Like, lo look at this city, right? This city, this city. Yeah. Like this, this city, Yokohama has one, two, three, four, uh, five chops. If you actually want to drill into the fertile and not taking into account the rainforest, if you take into account the rainforest, that's more. Okay. Hanging gardens has been completed. I, it was in Vancouver. We do have Victoria finishing up the pyramids and Oracle. And I do see uh, Pingala is establishing that city center while Mapuche still is fighting in the dirt against uh, Alexis Krem here. It doesn't look like any of them are making headway. This is the moment of truth. How much gold can they invest into Mapuche's crossbows before he gets his man or raiders so he can keep chewing through the opponent's units so he can level the terrain until those man or raiders come out? Can they bring so much gold so early into their uh, coffers? We do have Elephant Guy on 38, DGS on 64, SND on 46, and Hannibal is only on 4. And while uh, he did not pick up uh, Drums of War, he's in a pen bash and voice uh, Golden Age. We do have him uh, getting more and more horses while he did go for construction right now. Oh my god. Yeah, he's exactly what he needs. Construction and the castles, right? Yes. Uh, that's a lot of ponies. Yes, white and early. Good evening, Seren. How are you doing? How are you doing? Well, looking at the uh, Kree setup, we do have Liang establishing Nakhtaka Coop. We might actually see him. Yeah, there we go with uh, some city parks also to get that extra amenity working and improving some more of these. The spine tiles and the marble tiles. They definitely need to start trading them uh, to each other and uh, try to help each other keep their people happy. He does have access to some turtles in the water. He will have access. Doesn't have access right now, but he will have access to some turtles. Okay, any last movers here? Is Hannibal actually gonna grow uh, his units against Macedon? Or is he just... I think he's just gonna wait, guys. It, it looks like he's just gonna wait for his Mano Raiders. He did manage to improve two of these crossbows. So they are at least putting some gold on him. And I gotta say, these crossbows are quite efficient against the Hetaris. If you do manage to uh, flex the, um, get next to them. And of course, uh, be able to protect the crossbows. Okay, uh, we got the religion of uh, Canada also getting to uh, spread in Macedon territory. We do have finally a pantheon here from uh, Persia. He's going to get his uh, God of War and Plunder. More merchant points will be acquired each time for each uh, commercial here from Persia. He's already on 12, making the most uh, merchant points in the game right now. Getting more markets, getting more traders, and of course increasing his uh, science output with his culture output. 80 production at this point in time. And I gotta say, he is uh, second from his team no third from his team we do have three down 87 while uh, ben is 103 on the other side we do have dgs on 93 elephant guy on 63 snd 66 and hannibal on 38 that's look like uh, the production is uh, definitely keeping uh, is uh, giving an advantage to a change of circumstance you know we do have um, also hannibal moving his units a little bit but did not uh, really manage to get the damage done on um on the Macedon here. I think he did push them one tile. No? He did. He did. I'm pretty sure Macedon was defending here. And he got pushed back one tile. And I'm pretty sure with the arrival of uh, crossbows. If he does manage to get uh, quite a few more of them. Like for example two of them. Will, he will manage to kill a unit every turn. Without uh, fear of re repercussion. But anyway, that's also just going to be a matter of time until Alexis Kremp is going to get his own uh, knights out. And that is going to equal the technology uh, we do have uh, by the looks of it. 
Um, Mapuche pushing in, Macedon clumping up his units, let's see if uh, they do manage to get the correct moves between each other, who's gonna come up on top of this trade, we do have the units basically trading, being traded away here, an eye for an eye, a Hetari for a horse, okay, Hetari managed to get out, remaking the line Alexis Kremp is leaving one of his Atari's vulnerable though this one and it can be attacked by the crossbow first and then uh, with a finish from three horses that can guarantee the kill on the um, on the Hetari okay more horses more horses crossbows moving in yeah 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 he's slowly getting that damage in getting the getting the experience points on these uh, crossbows is gonna be very important also Okay, we're uh, nine turns away from switching the era. We do have uh, Kree managing to take down Kahokia and settle a city in between Mr. Hisipi. He's on two, four, six, eight cities right now. Uh, the biggest one in, on the block, actually, bigger than Inca. While Inca is on two, four, six, I do notice he's uh, getting a significant army here next to Wilka Waman. While he did manage to secure his general, it, uh, he did not choose to actually go against his opponent, or at least not yet. Uh, we do need to see how they're going to fix, uh, or I should say, get more gold on their side so they can afford what they need to afford later on i don't have to say macedon might not be as gold heavy as we think but uh, upgrading these setaris into knights will be a problem he's um usually macedon is not gold heavy because he has the ability to just keep on spamming units and sending them you, you just build them hard build them you don't upgrade them uh, but later on in the game you kind of need the gold also you kind of need to upgrade these right at some point you can't really rely only on your production yeah, Nader Shah, more settlers. I do not notice he's gonna get his 6 1 uh, southwest in the desert. More uh, traders also, while he still has uh, his northern settlers to settle at least two of them there on the coast. Mohenio Daro looks like it remained alive. Mohenio Daro versus Inca. Mohenio Daro wins. Looks like it's too strong. City state too strong. Okay, we got the uh, next moves coming up next turn. Let's see, let's see, let's, let's see. We might actually see Hannibal taking down a few more Hetaris here. He did, I think he did take down uh, one to the south. He's pushing in. Oh, wow. He's, uh, wait, I think this is about that time that um, Alexis Krem doesn't have civil service. And uh, Hannibal has. So he has uh, the extra plus five against him. Giving him the opportunity to uh, chew through these units with a much, much better efficiency. So I can imagine this is why he's getting this, uh, this damage done. Now, I do know that Sanibal did finish construction, so we're going to get the opportunity to see how quickly he can actually get... Uh, yeah, there we go. He can two-shot a Hetari with the crossbows. Man, if only they gave him the goal to upgrade all of them. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. More gold, more gold. The level 2 crossbow just got uh, promoted here next to Iran Piremapu yeah that is uh, a lot of damage that's a lot of damage an unmet city state has been taken out again okay you know mapu no not here not here who did take out what no mohena daro is still alive or maybe i didn't click on the button earlier <clears throat> and it was about kahokia i guess it is what it is we do have uh, scientists uh, also starting to be recruited. Looks like Mapuche did manage to get Hypatia. That's going to be quite good on him, giving him uh, more points for the science <clears throat> from a free library and um, getting the extra, how to say, extra science on each of his libraries. Well, he will only have one for the moment, but he has three campuses with um, the possibility to go for, of course, a total of three libraries also. You know, we do have uh, Canada getting a Colosseum. He finished it in the city of Quebec. He did manage to chop at least uh, two of these tiles. No, all three of the tiles that were here, actually. There were uh, one um, like forest tiles here. He did put down uh, one of his uh, commercial hubs. A bit surprising that he put it here, but I guess it doesn't matter that much for uh, the theater square placement. Low Lord has joined the round table. Uh, Low Lord, thank you so much for the follow, sir, and welcome. Wait, I think you did put... What, what's happening? Are we getting to the millions of millions, by the way? Are we getting to the millions, millions, millions? Oh, my guy, Guys, guys, what is going on? You 
only put 188 points where are the high orders when you want them looking at the same ben and Trindam will just clean up there is a possibility yes but i gotta say you don't really want to discount the Cree here with uh, quite a few cities on the northeast we want to need to see and since uh, Trinda will go for um, you know, quite a few wonders here we're going to, need to see his setup if he can actually clean up later uh Lubans, yes yes sorry we'll see we'll see 130,000 of that was mine. Wow. Wow. Betting on your team, huh? Oh, I see how it is. We got uh, Mapuche needing to get that castle. So he's actually going for printing in eight turns, still delaying his um, his Malons. It is what it is. Okay. Japan sending cities towards the south. He's going to want this uh, southern coast of Cree. It doesn't really have where to expand uh, to the southwest, of course, unless he actually takes uh, Vilnius down, which he tried and failed. By the way, those uh, two galleys that fought over here were for Vilnius, and Vilnius won the day. You know, we do have uh, Egypt also getting a few, uh, like one more man in Chertarcher to fend off attacks in Wilkawaman. And we do have uh, libraries coming out from Thebes while he's getting an army of builders. This is the feudalism timing. So no surprise here that uh, everybody's trying to get those builders so they can benefit from the 30% off production uh, card. And uh, at the same time, uh, trying to get his... Um, uh, feudalism card the plus two charges after that uh, i do also notice we do have an aqueduct oh actually this is something i haven't seen in some time an aqueduct used to actually give production to these terrace farms uh, it does uh, put two more production on each i believe you know we do have uh, builders coming up from inca and yes i do notice another merchant has been picked up that was just uh, the gold merchant the hundred gold and one envoy uh, while i don't really see anything important here i do notice canada picked up one writer then uh, japan picked up another writer canada picked up a writer oh i do see also Crete did manage to get the internal trade route one and that's about it right two versus one or two 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 one two one on the writer on yeah two one on the writer for uh, canada uh, japan is 4.6 points and canada is on eight right now definitely advantage for canada but that's just just that's oracle that is oracle here helping him out quite a bit i do see uh, trinda is gonna get his mahabari temple in two turns and yes amphitheater coming up from vancouver in six for the placement of those um, uh, right, books we do have mapuche pushing in um, the defenses of um, macedon slowly taking out his unit's health and i do notice of course his crossbows are going to need to choose a target here soon they do have a uh, hetari that's uh, just sitting on a hill that they could go against we do need to see uh, when is he going to choose to do something different here hannibal definitely delaying a lot his um his technology is going for printing for the extra diplomatic visibility while Macedon is going to get uh, knights in two that will create a problem for uh, for mapuche that will certainly create a problem for Mapuche. Uh, Machu Picchu makes sense on Cusco. He's going to get all of that adjacency from the mountains towards uh, theater squares, commercials, industrial zones. That's going to be amazing. And he is uh, getting an aqueduct towards that exact specific mountain also. And we do have him uh, sending up more of here from Chuquito. And of course, his government plaza actually is a bit surprisingly not giving bonuses to any of his districts. Not saying he could have, as in, you know, like he maybe, maybe he could have settled the wheat tile and put it on the wheat tile but i'm pretty sure he has a plan in mind for that positioning or he just didn't care at all i guess you know both are uh, true at the same time until they're not schrodinger's cat it is what it is and we do have uh, more of these uh, set, uh, more of these campuses coming out from japan slowly getting uh, up into the points i do have to say uh, snd is 37 science with 74 culture while we do have trinda 49 and 101 definitely um it's uh, japan is starting to catch up in the production queue while i do see bgs is on 139 production he just got the most production in the game cup here the prize uh okay science on mapuche oh he did manage to push that uh one hetari or no he got pushed actually yeah i'm pretty sure he got uh well they pushed each other here let's see the first uh, moves let's see the first moves oh my god he's not first moving he he could have dealt with this hetari so easily but i guess he's gonna kill two of them right now there's no way they can defend no way alexis Krim can defend this so, okay, that's one. Get another one here. I'm pretty sure he wants... Oh, my God. He wants to have a line of those other ones behind, right? Okay. 
There we go. Three Hetaris died for a single swordsman or a single horse of Mapuche. Those are not good trades. Not good trades. Okay. Four Hetaris in just one turn. Uh, didn't we have him getting stirrups? We did. I mean, he does have the upgrade button, but uh, where gold? There's no gold. When does he get mercenaries? Not even close. He went uh, divine right. Ooh, yeah, that's a bit of an issue here. Well, Merton is in three turns for Hannibal and he keeps on chewing through uh, the, his opponent's defenses. We do have these uh, Hypastis with the possibility to get the plus 10 um, <clears throat> Tortoise improvement on their side, but they do need the uh, promotion, the first promotion. And yes, uh, having Knights on the uh, table is uh, definitely going to be an advantage for... <clears throat> Macedon, but they just spent all of the gold they had, right? They they basically spent the gold they had on a single night. And there's also some gold to be had here from uh, the pillages on uh, Rapanui. I do notice so we do have uh, one, two, three mines if uh, Mapuche does manage to drill into that defense. And while uh, I do believe uh, this actually knight might die very quickly. Like this, this crossbow attack plus the three swordsmen should actually take out that knight. Anyway, uh, we do have a Hippastis that is also just begging to be taken away, taken out. Just Panzer begging. Rat has joined the round table. Uh, Panzeret, thank you so much, sir. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I'm actually curious if there's going to be any kind of movement from Inca against his opponents. Looks like uh, he did build up uh, something here in Antavaila. Just got uh, one of those generals uh, to help him out. And uh, with don't see okay we don't see actually an army being uh, prepared he has only a few horses and a crossbow uh, dedicated to the southeast i do notice four more turns until the next uh, era is going to be activated and the hannibal is going dark age here while we do have snd also going dark uh, oh, sorry going for a golden age 53 out of 56 he's going to get probably his three next points and i do see the knight wait did that macedonian knight go back into the city of rapanui and attack from there i think so right well, uh, more of these Hetaris are just going to die helpless. Not helped by anybody. Just die. Yeah, look. There. Mm -mm -mm. This one. This. 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 Oh, no. He wouldn't kill it. Unless he actually attacks it with both uh, crossbows, he wouldn't kill it. Anyway, uh, DGS 5356. We do have him uh, still far away from a Golden Age. And we're going to see in the next few turns if he's going to get it. He does have a plus uh, two industrial zone here from Pikto Kahana Piwin. He never got uh, the aqueduct or the placement for those. And uh, while I do notice, uh, well, he's so far away from a Golden Age. He's never going to get it. No, this isn't easy. Like three more turns to affect this. Four turns until the next era. I don't know, maybe I'm not a believer here, but that's a lot of points that uh, DGS uh, actually needs to get uh, so quickly. And I'm pretty sure he already got a Mickey map. Of course, got uh, has the boat, has um, Okchitaos. He's, he already finished kind of his, his uh, unique units. Oh, well, I guess we'll see. He's getting the gold, getting the gold chop for Hannibal. I would assume they need to give as much gold to Hannibal as possible for the Manon upgrades, which I do see he's starting to uh, want the horses for. Hannibal here has uh, been doing quite nice and quite good against uh, Macedon. And I gotta say the goal per turn is uh, actually eating at the chances of uh, change of circumstance. They need to somehow fix the goal situation. Uh, anyway, now looks like Elephant Guy also very close uh, to a Dark Age. He's 42-44 while he is getting a few heavy chariots out. He's also getting an in-camera training project for a general. He's uh, feeding uh, maybe a push from Ben, which of course we were wondering as well. So we do need to see if uh, that push will actually materialize or not. Uh, seeing uh, four horses with uh, ranged units and the general on your opponent is definitely making you uh, skittish, I would say. No? Skittish? Is that the correct word, skittish? Uh, John Don uh, Crypto, hello there, sir, and welcome. What happens when Era switches to the next one? Um, so, the era switch means um, the civilizations will get different bonuses usually. They do uh, finish the era with. 
each wait let me take it from the beginning each era has uh, different opportunities for the civilization according to how much era score you gather in the previous one so uh, there's a uh, golden age normal age uh, dark age and uh, heroic age heroic age being a combination of uh, three of the other ones if you do manage to achieve them uh, you do manage to get a lot of bonuses from each of them and the, uh, usually the civilizations are getting specialized with these um, uh, golden ages when the era switches it switches which is also these bonuses you get to pick from other ones um, depending on what you did in the last era so that's why we're taking a look here okay see the results see how they actually develop do they have a chance for another golden age are they going into a normal are they going dark all of that actually quite matters for here their tempo not saying golden is all the time good of course in this case for example for alexis Kremp, it would have been quite good to not get a golden age so he doesn't get uh, mapuche and uh, extra plus five on uh, his units but uh, yeah, he's uh, golden age. He's uh, 54 out of 51. Cannot go around this. Might be plus 10 if he goes dark. Yeah, yeah. If he goes dark, it will be plus 10 actually. So maybe that's why he's delaying, right? He's getting castles in three times. Mercen is in one. He's pushing this uh, into the dark side. And uh, probably hoping for uh, the best. Anyway. Uh, we do have a task for fish managing to get his golden age points two four six seven seas up at the moment I do see him uh, also getting a few galleys out a new, few new uh, while well, one new settler and the more of these uh, campuses while he still has uh, quite a few chops to use and we do have uh, also Ben not making it to the golden age he's 50 out of 51 very far away from getting the golden age two turns out from uh, Machu Picchu and I don't think he can chop it I really don't think he can chop it. Wait, there's uh, any movement here early on? Yes, we do have uh, Hannibal moving out, getting his swordsman. Uh, baiting Macedon into attacking his horses. Well, I do notice uh, e even Inca is trying to put uh, some pressure on uh, Hannibal. So he pays more attention to the west. That's not going to make uh, Hannibal uh, delay too much his uh, other attacks here, his other plans. By the looks of it, he is getting those Malon Raiders prepared in a in Apira Mapu, getting them on the, each on one tile so he can improve them quickly. Wait, is this going to be plus 10 Malon Raiders against Macedon? Ooh, it is with sprinting because uh, Macedon is not going to have his sprinting, no? Unless he starts killing off some units or builds a lot of them, he's not going to have printing that. Or at least uh, we're going to have another like three, four tens difference when uh, there's going to be a plus three on Hannibal and uh, no plus three on Alexis Kremp. Anyway, era score. Uh, ben, 52 out of 62. Can he get it? Can he get it? Next turn is the moment of truth. Wait, uh, is this a plus four? This is a plus three. If he gets, wait, will he get Machu Picchu bonus? Will he get Machu Picchu bonus in Walka Waman? Like for the industrial zone to be a plus four? Because that's all he needs. He needs the mountain adjacency. Does this work before? Like it will happen in just a few milliseconds. The question is, will the bonus of uh, Ma uh, Machu Picchu activate before the uh, industrial zone is going to finish? It does? Hulu, hello the sir. It's by city order. So basically like uh, your first city is going to finish and then your second city is going to finish something and your third city is going to finish something. Okay, I see. Is this uh, gathering storm with disaster stand off? Uh, we do have uh, all of the um, DLCs, like literally all of the DLCs being played in the in these games. All of the leaders are available for them to pick from. Uh, but uh, disasters uh, have been changed quite a bit, actually. Some of these disasters have been taken down, and uh, I think we're playing with disaster level two, so it's like the medium, um, uh, the medium thing. Now they took out tornadoes. And they took out, uh, what was it? Uh, the one with the less water. Oh, there you dingo. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, sir. Woohoo! We got new members over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the desert one, uh, the desert one, not the desert one as in, um, oh my god drought drought they took out drought the one that has uh, you know make your cities uh, with less food he made it he did it yeah he made it he did it 
Ben over here uh, did it in the last few turns. He got so many points. And I gotta say, we got uh, the world aging between uh, Macedon and uh, Mapuche. And it looks like Mapuche is actually coming up on top of this. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And I hope I can keep up the rhythm. Thank you also so much for the BD signing, Dave. Much appreciated, sir. Okay, uh, elephant guy getting his machinery in mercenaries next turn. While he did manage to um, amass uh, quite a few of these uh, pre built knights over here, we're going to need to see if uh, he's actually going to upgrade to attack his opponent in the ill stamp. We do have uh, both teams actually right now making a decent amount of gold. While uh, it looks like Mapuche is uh, still chewing through the units of uh, Macedon, I'm pretty sure he's going to need to uh, wait and upgrade his units before he does anything more. Well, we do have uh, Hannibal with uh, 49 production, while at least he's going to be 74. And and definitely much better stats on Hannibal and we're gonna need to see next turn what's gonna happen here with the golden ages some will lose their free uh, some will lose their uh, pen brush and voices their monumentalities or maybe some free inquiries drums of war and will have the ability some of them will have the ability to choose from other bonuses I'd also notice Trin that did go a uh, sky high here with his points mostly because of the wonder building and we do have uh, Trin down 77 science with 128 culture but he's not actually making it to the science level of SND 79 and uh, 102 and that's SND that's actually keeping himself uh, quite contained over here uh, I'm pretty sure uh, Kree is going to be the biggest one of them all they just uh, 52 science with 74 culture 185 production at the moment getting all of those trade routes to sing will start to send some externals for the extra gold and has so many series 2, 4, 6, <clears throat> 8 at the moment with uh, quite a few more to settle uh, in comparison, Japan is uh, seven, for example, and we got only five here for um, for Canada. Okay, Golden Age, Golden Age or Dark Age? Actually, Hannibal went Dark Age. That's an extra plus five uh, that he can use. He's probably gonna put on uh, that card, the special card, Twilight Valor, into his uh, oligarchy and deal the damage against his opponent with that. And of course, he's gonna have an extra plus five from the, his opponent being in a Golden Age. Alexis Krem could not move around it. <clears throat> Mapuche is nine uh, minus nine gold a turn. Yes, yes indeed. Uh, did Kree get a golden age? Uh, ye... No, no. Kree did not get a golden age. He actually lost. Uh... Wow, wow. I was just talking that he's gonna be big, and now I come back and look at this. This is a disaster, boys. This is a disaster. Oh my God. It's all up to Mapuche over here to bring this back. Let's see Malo Raiders. Woo! Destroying these knights. They don't have a chance. 70 Malo Raider against the knights. 63. Oh, I think we need some crank and waggers over here for these Setaris, man. Yeah, they're definitely going to be cranky. Inferno, good evening, sir. This looks uh, COC favored. The uh, Macedon outscales. Egypt dies to Inca. Kree missing golden is quite big. Yes, Kree missing golden is uh, going to have quite an impact. That is going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. I do see him uh, trying to get new settlers out, which is probably the, the good response uh, when you do lose one of your um, golden ages like this, to try to get more settlers, get more districts, and uh, of course, uh, try to get more stats out of it. With only 52 signs, uh, he's not going to be as competitive as uh, we thought initially. We, did have, uh, we do have SND here popping over 100 signs with 85 culture. He keeps on building these theater squares and tries to put up a decent defense against a possible culture victory from uh, Canada. Usually Canada is extremely hard to defend, especially later on in the game with those national parks and so on. We're going to have a pause for two minutes for the World Congress to start up and uh, we're going to get those options. We're going to let the players uh, think about them and uh, we're going to come back to see what they did. SND is a pen brush and voice. Uh, free inquiry, free inquiry. He went free inquiry. Uh, also, Marius BW. Hello there, sir, and welcome. Uh, let me do this and this and this. That is so weird to say, by the way. Uh, me, me, me. <laughs> okay. Mine, 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 mine. It is what it is, man. Okay, two minutes and we're coming back.
Okay. Somebody just sent me a message with a random picture. Am I bigger than uh, Sandro Games? And he showed me a picture with a, like a big computer. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, definitely hardware helps uh, in this game, right? Even if uh, there is a little bit of uh, an advantage from having the last moves, it's still, it's still first moves that uh, do matter quite a bit. Now we do have uh, Mapuche managing to get his uh, line of um, units perfectly against his opponent. And you do see how he's using his range units right behind his uh, strong units on the front. His Malon Raiders still need to get in there and uh, start eating through the Macedonian defense. They needed a, one turn at least to actually get here. And uh, we do see that Canada is starting to get a little bit uh, itchy as well, getting his um, walls up to defend himself. Looking at the World Congress, we do have an Eider Shah with 5 loyalty but minus 20 population growth. Hojo Tokimo not growing via culture. They are eating at the gold of uh, Japan there. And uh, Wilfred Laurie are going to get to lose to Diplo victory points so they are trying to secure um, uh, not having to deal with a diplomatic victory here from uh, Canada well did he just put down Saint, Mo Saint Michel so he doesn't have to deal with the marsh wait how can he put down Saint Michel here that's not Saint Michel is it wait is that Saint Michel isn't Saint Michel oh wait can you build on marsh also or you only need the um reverse i thought you only need reverse for semi-shell semi-shell or marsh okay you can build it on marsh also i'm sorry i wasn't uh, remembering the um, the marsh prerequisites it is what it is uh it's our bro said michelle we 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 a fan will be 200 200 by now yeah i mean yeah yeah man yeah yeah summon the super fan under is a legend good evening sir wait under is a legend Woo -woo, under yeah 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 there we go uh <laughs> okay let's see uh with that we do have some uh builders coming up from mapuche and of course following up with uh, steel crossbow so he can go against um these units and uh, keep chewing through them with uh, multiple crossbow tanks he can definitely do the damage initial damage while uh, the manual raiders are going to be more than adequate of defending against uh, his opponent now we do have uh, Hannibal, Dark Age, SND, Free Inquiry, Golden Age on the Hojo. He's 143 science with 87 culture. And uh, I do notice at the moment we got some water cacks getting to work over here from Ben. By the way, these are deadly units. If you don't know, water cacks are actually the replacement... Um, scouts or skirmishers the replacement skirmishers uh, unique to inca which uh, do manage to do a lot of damage if you use them properly and it used to be so funny to actually get the fourth promotion on them wait were they wait were they and the oxytals the only reason they actually changed the whole experience tree remember when um, we, we actually had uh, double the experience on all of these um, uh, units whenever you are fighting somebody and then they changed it and it was like uh, I would say so big as a change I mean okay push back uh, the general it's fine another unit takes his place and probably that uh, other unit will also die next turn they're just eating through these slowly but surely uh, looking at SND's uh, placement he did manage to get Vilnius which does put him um, on the doorstep of uh, Canada and yes he will manage to, uh, he will uh, get the opportunity later on in the game to hit the city of Trudeau with uh, Justin Trudeau with uh, battleships we're going to need to see if he's ever going to do that he definitely has uh, the science advantage at the moment getting cartography in one mercenaries in one I'm pretty sure he's eyeballing uh, his um uh electronics factory so he gets not only the production added from those factories but also the culture added those are amazing to use especially for japan right uh we do have uh, dgs normal age very unfortunate that he's only on 51 52 his uh, mission in life right now will probably be getting gold and getting uh, to come out of this uh, dark age that he's in or dark age you know what i mean um normal age that he's in i do have to mention hitting a normal age is probably the worst thing that you can do in this game uh we do have elephant guy 54 science and 29 culture he also is going into a dark age and by the looks of it uh, he does have the military to do something about inca but uh, he doesn't really have the strength to do anything about inca we do have him with intelligence agency in three turns and wait is it is this just mapuche what happened to elephant guy w what happened here Okay, we got him on six cities, but where where is that? He's on 125 production, 57 science, 29 culture. Something happened over there, and I, that is so weird. I mean, definitely Inca just outscaled him. 
We got 84 science, 67 culture, 186 production there from uh, Ben from Inca, and he just keeps on getting more. Okay, looks like these uh, Mapuche units are a bit too strong for uh, what Barcelona can handle. And yes, we do have quite a few crossbows deployed towards Inkla also. But these forest tiles are actually stopping Mapuche from pushing too far into uh, Inca's defenses. Uh, while uh, I do notice uh, Canada is starting to put units on every tile, he's uh, definitely feeding those Malo Raiders in entering his borders and starting to pillage. Uh, we do have... To take a look also on the other side, task for fish, pen brush and voice cold range, 108 signs, cartography coming up next turn. He has a fleet to work with and uh, he will have the opportunity to take out one city of Cree at least, while DGS uh, is not going to like this at all. Uh, I do believe they didn't actually scout on the other side, so this is going to be, oh, okay, they scouted a little bit here. Scouted a little bit. They can liberate Vilnius, they can uh, delete probably a Japanese city and pr at least one Cree city, which I think that's gonna turn into two cities. Yeah, this is and this is actually good return on investment on his fleet. If uh, he just needs like seven caravels with like two or three frigates, and he's gonna be set. He's also getting Victor kick in the city of Charlie. Anyway, we do have Haboob appearing also in Foxtrot uh, doing a little bit of uh, dusting over here on his builder. Now, while I do notice he did use a few petty deserts, he didn't actually go crazy with them. We've seen uh, quite a few civilizations, or I should say players, that uh, is players, players, not civilizations, that uh, really like these petty deserts and they do spam them out uh, everywhere. I gotta say, they do uh, lack a point of production usually versus a uh, mine. And uh, yes, yeah, sometimes the extra culture and the gold just doesn't make up for the loss of uh, production actually quite a few quite a few times it doesn't make up we got a big expansion phase here from uh, canada going to the northwest with uh, one two three four settlers four settlers guys there this is a settler party we have uh, towards the northwest here he's just trying to get everywhere does he even have space for four more cities no i mean not here anyway uh, we do have Alexis Kremp, uh, Golden Age, Drums of War. He still is building as uh, many units as he can and also going to get that intelligence agency in uh, three turns. We do have him uh, getting a few crossbows here on the front line. While I do notice he's uh, going to get at least uh, two of his mines pillaged. Not really the ideal case uh, scenario that he can find himself in. Especially since his knights are dying uh, from three shots from these crossbows. We have a level three about to be uh, activated here on um, Hannibal. And I'm pretty sure he can just keep on. Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. He's just look at that. Oh, oh, Hannibal's crossbow is stronger than a knight plus a Hetari attack. And look at the counter attack two units attacked from Macedon, killed no unit. Ma Mapuche managed to kill two of those units attacking into him, and he's gonna get to kill a third one, uh, getting a possible position also on Rapa Nui. I think uh, he's actually thinking about this right now. How is he gonna play this? Is he gonna get that or not? Is he gonna want to push there or not? Okay, beginning to pillage the iron. He's also breaching the defenses slowly in the city of Aigai. It's just he doesn't have enough of those um, Malo Raiders dedicated there. He would need some more. Anyway, now uh, moving forward, the Ben, Pen Brush and Voice Golden Age, 246 series on Inca, finish Machu Picchu, getting his industrial zones down is going to matter so much for his production capabilities. He's already on 214, and uh, I do notice he's getting a wave of uh, knights. Oh, no, it's not a wave. It's just one night from Machu. That's probably going to be chopped here with uh, the builder. Uh, looks like he's also getting a few more settlers trying to expand here. I would imagine his uh, north might be enticing. Not to mention at least one city in the south. No, no, he doesn't have any more cities in the south. So, okay, we got one, two, three cities here. And where is this fourth one going? Does he have? Oh, he has another spot here. What is this? Is this going to be non-fresh water? Okay. Well, I guess it is what it is. He's just getting as many tiles as possible. Man, this is exactly like FFA, right? You want to get as much score as you can. It is what it is. You just settle cities uh, for the sake of settling cities. Uh, let's see. Ah, don't get me wrong. He needs to be big. Don't get me wrong. He needs to be big. But I was expecting him to actually get uh, more cities in the tundra, not more cities in uh, the grassland here. Not that it's bad. You know, national parks don't uh, disagree with the grassland. They're fine. Uh, can SMD solo game? No. 
I mean, uh, let's see, I guess. Let's see if uh, SND is going to be the biggest. 185 science and 96 culture. He definitely has that uh, as an advantage. But the second... the Oh, wait a second. They, they can't get there, right? The the boats of... Uh, I just realized they can't get to Vilnius. And that is going to be a rude awakening, actually, for... Um, for Persia. I don't think they know about this. I like I just realized this myself. Give me a second. Do they know? Oh, they might know because of Bandar Burney. But they have so much lack of vision here. I don't know. They they could uh, they could see this. Like they they can't get here. They can't get here. There's no way they can get here, right? It's closed off. Yeah, it's closed off. And he can only kill two of Kree cities which well, maybe third one with battleships, which, uh, to be honest, Kree's already kind of, you know, not getting much anyway. It is what it is. Let's see if they're going to invest into this. This is a major investment for them. And it's, uh, I gotta say, they're not making that much gold. They're actually struggling with uh, the gold per 10. Okay, uh, Mapuche did manage to get next to Rapa Nui. It looks like uh, Rapa Nui is struggling to even get a crossbow out. Uh, we do have um, more of these uh, units of Mapuche taken down here. And uh, we still don't have that many more Malon Raiders being uh, created. He's getting a few trebuches to deal with the walls, upcoming walls, which are getting built in Aigai. And uh, we do need to see if uh, Rapa Nui is also going to be taken slash liberated. Uh, there were a few units that were sent towards uh, Trinda to see if uh, there is a way for him to actually get into the borders. But of course, Trinda was... Uh, oh, no. Did he just give up on Rapa Nui? No. Like, I totally get putting the knight inside of the city center so you can actually get more um, defense on the city center. Yeah, but these are extremely strong units and allowing the units to attack from multiple tiles. Uh, it's just going to be a recipe for disaster. They're going to take that city down in like two turns or something. Can they all hit this turn? No, only two of them can hit this turn. So, eh, might be enough damage actually next turn. Might be enough damage next turn to take it out. Mapuche did also manage to recruit uh, Abu. I do see the Happy Scientist is also coming out. And this is going to be very important for Canada. He already has Colosseum and Temple of Artemis. Uh, getting that is going to help him out quite a bit. Not to mention if he does manage to get enough of these Scientist points, he might actually get... Um, Newton at the same time as uh, Ib Khaldun. I do notice uh, Rapa Nui is uh, slowly getting smashed. He did uh, double tap it and I'm pretty sure there should be enough damage from uh, three taps of these Malon Raiders next turn. So he takes the city. Uh, did everyone in CSCOC make golden? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Uh, think Trinda can win culture? Yes. Yes, quite unfortunate for uh, DGS here to miss that Golden Age and not to mention Elephant Guy. They're uh, struggling to get back up uh, from where they are. Okay, Rapa Nui did get uh, Knight... Wait, did he sacrifice a Knight Core to try to defend an undefendable city? He did! I guess he did try to delay as much as possible Mapuche from taking and liberating Rapa Nui, but still it does look like it was, and it was uh, in vain. That city is just going to survive one more turn and that's it. While I, we do notice that, of course, uh, he will get to uh, change his priority and go towards uh, the city of Aigai. Uh, we do need to see more units coming out from uh, Mapuche soon, uh, getting more Malon Raiders. Uh, but at the same time, getting these, uh, he does need the trebuchets for the walls. That is going to be a problem later on when he wants to attack into Macedonian uh, defenses here. Uh, SND uh, still keeps his advantage with uh, the science, also only 173 production points, I gotta say, at the moment, but we still have DGS with the most production in the game, 231, oh, no, never mind, it's one more point of production on Pakachuti than um, Poundmaker, okay, well, we do still have quite a few builders coming around, and DGS still needs stuff, let's see, okay, Ib Khaldun got picked up by Canada, no Newton next, no Newton. No Newton. Creed did manage to get Marco Polo. I do see uh, Ip Fadlan has been picked up by Persia. And at the beginning, Creed did manage to get Zankian also. So he has two trade route capacity merchants while uh, their opponents have one. 
okay more cities of uh, japan towards the south he's uh, finishing up his campuses and uh, getting quite a few good ones also the production points uh did he wait did he oh he didn't finish industrialization yet he's still on square rigging and uh, i do see him uh, finishing up more 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 production buildings he's getting to that point to have uh, one workshop in every industrial zone that he builds so he has the access to his uh, factories afterwards yeah uh, uh, dra asking us uh, does the civil community have rank system like other games uh, to see what uh, who's the best right now yes uh, we did man um, we did manage to, uh, to use uh, we did manage to use uh, Discord as a platform and um, with uh, the help of bots and uh, some uh, very, very, very intelligent coding over there, we did uh, manage to get a working ranking system for the community. Yes, which uh, is a seasonal ranking system. So you basically do have uh, an endpoint for uh, the leaderboard when it's going to be cut off and we're going to have a final basically. Right now, <clears throat> First spot is being held by the Scourge Amet, while uh, second player is uh, Civ Rider Zeng, Ideni coming up third from the um, Chinese community, I believe. Okay, Rampa Nui got taken down, liberated, 100 uh, Diplo favor points coming around. It looks like uh, Mapuche is just going to attack it and probably take it out again. And uh, while we do have uh, another unit of Macedon just sacrificing his life against Mapuche, uh, well, it is what it is. We do have uh, these uh, trebuchets also ready to go from Hannibal, moving towards the southwest. Uh, so I guess uh, it trimmed us the old Colosseum from Kree and he missed Golden because of that. N uh, no battle cruiser, I gotta say, I don't think Kree ever got um to even select colosseum before he got his entertainment comp before tri so trinda finished colosseum faster than kree put down his first entertainment complex i think at this point uh, kree just got his entertainment complex for something totally different rather than this and i think he also is switching uh, roles with japan um, right now uh, since i do see a lot of uh, theater squares uh, starting to be built here i would assume uh, dgs is going to start to pick up the role of uh, culture defender while uh, japan will need to do something here and he is in a much better place to actually do something against canada than it is uh Cree in in a place to do something against canada we're going to need to see what um, snd is going to choose to do here there were some calls of uh, you know some um, units getting in directly into canada through the water snd is has managed to discover the coast of uh, canada here he knows what's happening he knows what's up there we go. He knows. He knows where, the, where everything is. Well, almost everything is. Um, yeah, that's the second night core that died, I believe, right? Second night core that died from a Macedon. Yeah. Rip. Kick W. It is what it is. Or is it the first one? It wasn't the first one in the city. Did he actually get to move it out of the city? Hmm. Uh, David is also saying that unlucky he didn't get bumped over the mountain. That's also true. That would have been amazing if uh, Mapuche would have had a unit right uh, behind enemy's uh, doorstep. He would have just gotten to feast on all of these farms. This is really dangerous territory to let a man or raider through, huh? Uh, Minkabas also loved the dogpite front. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Michael knows how to spe spell Pangea. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I guess uh, I, I, that's um, a product of my uh, stream community, I gotta say. Thank you so much, guys. You have been um, keeping me on my toes when it comes to this. Uh, Thring Kree lost a settle on Kabul? Oh, he did. <laughs> he did lose a settle. Wait, wasn't that his city? Oh, Macedon did manage to take it back. Oh, I see, I see. So that's why he lost it here. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess uh, there are a few swordsmen and the horse that uh, might actually try to get it back. We're going to need to see if uh, Kabul is uh, going to oblige and give that settler back or not. Uh, let's see. We got caravels coming out. Uh, Task for Fish did invest uh, quite a bit into these. Two, four, six, uh, seven of these have been upgraded. And we do need 
we do need to see how he's going to follow this up. By the looks of it, he's going for the production at the moment. We do have tests for Fisher 126 science and 88 culture. Did not choose to go for a free inquiry golden. It just um, a lot of the players are going these days. They choose to go for the uh, for the culture instead, and he is on 200 production also. And we do uh, have him uh, with multiple commercials coming around, uh, and I do see him uh, selling some theater squares here and there. Uh, Gavron Plaza with uh, foreign ministry, and of course uh, getting more universities for the science bonus well we do have uh, snd leading the way with uh, the most science in the game we will need to see if he's gonna get to use that science somehow to uh, do the damage against his opponents and while uh, Ma Ma hannibal is uh, repositioning his units uh, slowly so he can uh, do the damage against mapuche you do see how much damage these manual readers do uh, to the crossbows you can imagine if uh, they get uh, an open area to start feasting on the crossbows oh my god that man they're gonna eat them faster than uh, can't see the donuts i gotta say this is gonna be a problem crossbows over here are definitely gonna die and we do have uh, builders coming around from piram you know piramapu more manor readers getting built wait is that nine tens to build a manor reader guys i might not have the best eyes but i think that is a nine is that a nine that must be a nine no i think my eyes are deceiving me man that's a nine um new bands hello there sir mapu total count of oh, wait, wait where was it what is it uh b -b 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 there uh 22. um <laughs> i thought he was the strongest in the start yeah i know right yeah no weird it is what it is well djs maybe he's gonna come back we see 258 production still actually is the strongest when it comes to the production uh, power of that empire 92 and 90 i i gotta say he has a chance to catch up now i don't know if he's gonna get the win here but he has a chance to somehow be relevant later part in the game he's also giving a lot of gold to his teammates so you can see the economy here is booming uh, for uh, gold by library there is a significant problem on the other side though and um, i'm pretty sure this is actually a bit of a problem for uh, this investment this might not be as good as a return as he thinks since he's not actually gonna have that big uh, series to fight like what is he gonna kill a four pop city and a one pop city like two pop city in pashkavashik mm, yeah doesn't seem that uh, impactful Well, it looks like Macedon is pushing back. We got uh, Mapuche here that uh, doesn't have the land to push in. I gotta say, this is creating quite a natural defense for uh, Macedon. You can see all of this uh, hilly rainforest that is not allowing the vision to pass between uh, the tiles on the left and on the right side. And well, because of that, these units, these crossbows cannot actually stand behind the Manor Raiders to shoot at their opponents at the same time or try to drill their way through. It, it's only the units that are actually standing in the forest getting that uh, vision. So, if he wants to attack into eye guy at least he's gonna to need to get mana raiders on these tiles geothermal 2323 and of course kill off the um, encampment and while uh, these crossbows will need to be behind them they he cannot do it the other way around the second he's gonna pop his head out of the forest here with a banana he's actually gonna get killed by the crossbows of his opponent not not that great man not that great yeah uh, uh, city state is taking that center towards the Cree city yeah he's just giving it back man he is actually giving it back. Yeah, the Rapanui tile. Wait, which Rapanui tile? Which one? Which what? What did Rapanui do? Did he do something? Did I miss something? What? The mountain tile? Oh, this one you mean? this one oh on e wait oh oh hello i see i see there's a there's a builder coming in and we might see a campang nan here yeah it might be it might be uh inca land next to cleo let's see 
Oh, yeah, but look at that. Mapuche is here scouting this out. And uh, we did talk about this possibility earlier on by uh, Inca, right? He did have the opportunity to get the Capagnans and uh, hit his opponent through the forest. Um, I was expecting at some point Egypt to actually put a city here to try to buy all of these uh, mountain tiles, try to keep Inca away from them. Looks like he never did actually go as far to the west as I uh, was thinking. He is uh, getting his knights out right now. And the uh, elephant guy did manage to get to 109 science with 55 culture. Looks like he's... Uh, Okay, keeping up with the uh, bender, uh, not in the production queues, only in the production bonuses. Uh, 242 on Ben with only 172 here on Elephant Guy. He's uh, missing his industrial zones and this actually slows him slows him down quite a bit. We do need to see if his uh, investment in the military is going to give him something. But looking at Inca's defense, I really doubt those units of uh, Egypt are going to do anything against Inca. And basically, I gotta say, Ben right now is basically like one of those like big, uh, how to say, uh, uh, Kung Fu masters, which don't let you hit you, you know, like in those movies that somebody just blocks everything like you know does uh, everything over there naturally and you don't you don't get to hit him at all because he's just evading this is basically ben right here he's countering his opponent properly at the correct moment in time giving himself the opportunity to, to also do the damage against his opponent like counter attack into him with what he has and uh yeah elephant guy is just scrambling over there trying to get an advantage and he can't get his footing right now terracotta army big push incoming yes 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 that is gonna be big over here i was seeing it uh, getting built in three turns and uh, we will see field cannons with cuirassiers no Fear cannons, cuirassiers, mercenaries, terracotta army. Oh my god. Wait. One, two, three fear cannons. That's going to be enough. Yeah, that's going to be enough. Two, four, five, six. Six of these uh, knights with another one coming out. So seven knights. Yeah. Oh, already one uh, put his head out uh, through here. Killed the Macedonian scout. I gotta say, these um, these Capagnans actually connect all of the mountains. You can actually bring units from the north and just poop out uh, over here on the mountains, no problem, on the east. Okay, what's going on here? Is Mapuche winning? Okay, he saw what's in the forest. He sacrificed one of his archers to see what's through the forest. And uh, by the looks of it, he saw, of course, those crossbows getting in there. He passed is also trying to bring uh, the bridge... Uh, stop the breach we got uh, more knights coming out from Macedon, but i kind of say this is kind of slow here he's building these units kind of slow okay he's uh, doing it again he did manage this time around to kill that uh, crossbow and uh, by the looks of it yes uh, he did oh wait a second he's not doing uh, that much damage on the knight I was uh, i don't know why i was expecting more damage on the knight but i guess it is what it is this man already that is uh, just gonna get back at uh, his heels back and it's fine he has another one here that he could uh, use to attack wait is that okay there we go that wasn't uh, against uh, a crossbow i'm actually surprised he didn't attack directly the crossbow he could have uh, killed that crossbow but oh well it is what it is Mm -mm -mm. And sometimes in the heat of the moment, of course, you don't have the um, um, added value of uh, those extra set seconds that we have as spectators to think about the choices that you're doing. You need to do them extremely quickly and react, which, um, yeah, you do need reflexes for that built in reflexes, just like uh, driving a car. Okay, we got a caravel coming up from PYC Vastis. And wait, am I seeing this? Actually, Kabul is taking the settler for a swim. Guys, I think he got, he's in love with the settler. Yeah, he took it for a sail, for a ride. He's taking it to Miami. I think the Inca goes straight to uh, Mapuche. Is he? Doesn't look like, or at least not now. But yeah, that could be a possibility. That could be a possibility. By the looks of his uh, positioning of his army, it kind of seems like he's going to take on Egypt. And Egypt is going to be very far away from getting his own ballistics. We do have him barely getting castles next turn. That's a Corsair technology upgrade for his horses. Yeah, Urek also, good evening, sir. I wonder if Japan can get out of the Panama Canal plus another canal. Uh, oh, as in here, like kill Nazca. Kill Nazca, get a city here, build the Panama Canal, and then uh, get another canal on the east. I guess, yeah, you could. 
It uh, certainly is possible. Or I, I think if that Panama Canal actually works like this. I think it does, right? Uh, Task is traveling north. Oh, no. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know how the land looks, right? So he has sent a few units towards the south, which will definitely be seen over here. Uh, maybe, actually, will be seen whenever they're going to get attacked. I'm not sure if they're going to die before or not, or we'll see. And we do have uh, Kree also managing to get more districts down. Finally, is uh, slowly catching up with the points. His production helping he helping him out so much here. <clears throat> but I gotta say, uh, Task for Fish doesn't seem like he's scaling like Japan is. 270 science with 119 culture in the Bay of his own. He's not gonna be, um, I would say, he's not gonna be disturbed. And I do notice uh, that Macedon is starting to uh, lose his uh, defensive structures here, especially the first encampment. Uh, by the loose of it, yes, he's sending more horses uh, in the fray, and we do have them uh, dying every turn here, slowly but surely being taken down by these uh, Mapuche crossbows. And we do need a lot more units on Mapuche. I kind of say this does feel like he's running out of mano raiders here. Definitely has the crossbows. Mano raiders not so much uh more units no not uh, not that many more still three units from inca got through and uh, it forces egypt to dedicate army to defend the city of memphis while he is starting to build a defensive line between swanet and memphis looking at the upcoming uh, part from persia we do have him uh, starting to get that science up more of those commercials for the extra trade routes while um, we do have him with a decently high series but not extremely high series 11 and 13 are the max while we do have some eight and sevens now we do have over here 12 11 9 6 okay it, canada is definitely getting bigger uh, he did manage to get his uh, extra series towards the north there uh, toronto halifax um mm -hmm. and uh, charlottetown i guess no brad bradford bradford toronto halifax and charlottetown because they were four now okay well we do have him uh, getting some monuments as well as campuses uh, getting a spy from Quebec city while uh, his up oh ally was fighting in the north of course if uh, Macedon falls if this defense falls here these four tiles if they fall he's gonna be next and canada is probably gonna get to his um unique unit tilt then the mountie will be strong enough to push back into mapuche with no issues especially if he starts putting down national um parks national parks everywhere and Trinda is two turns away from natural history and yeah it is what it is uh, we still don't see Japan actually getting something. He's getting his production. He's getting his uh, amphitheaters. He's getting a lot of culture. He's getting uh, the, his um, you know, science up. But we don't see units or a plan that he might have going against Canada. Or at least not yet. We're going to need to see what's going to happen in the next part. In the text 3, we do have SD discovering banking right now. So we might be thinking he's actually clicking on labs and forgetting about it. But we'll see in a few turns. In a few turns, it will be revealed to us. Okay, a few more units of uh, Inca are starting to uh, do uh, the damage against Mapuche. Looks like um, Inca did manage to finish the Terracotta army and popped uh, those promotions everywhere. Uh, we do have uh, several more turns until the medieval era is going to switch into the Renaissance one. And it looks like Inca will have the opportunity right now to get uh, his uh, upgrades on his uh, crossbows into field cannons and his upgrades into his um, knights so they can become cuirassiers. Well, this uh, this uh, crossbow over here might be dead. We're gonna need to see. Yeah, that died horrible death, horrible death. It is what it is. Anyway, that uh, quarter is gonna die next turn. Any whatever happens here, a man that is coming out. I guess unless he runs away, there is a possibility a universe where he runs away. I do have to point out Mapuche is uh, putting these units uh, that are very low HP in the city center so they pop the biggest heal they can. Uh, wait, can Inca teleport artillery to defend the Canada coast? Teleport artillery Canada coast. Teleport artillery Canada coast. Yes, no, no. He can get it here. <clears throat> he can get it here. But that, not further. Uh, the mountains actually need to be connected to each other. Mm. Well, on the uh, Cree side, we got uh, Persia starting to um, 
get some spies on him looks like a Klee did manage to get back his settler and uh, he's gonna send it away towards the east uh, that is a bit unfortunate because i'm pretty sure these uh, persian caravans are looking for a target and it doesn't seem like a Klee is aware of it and we do have uh, walls oh he is aware of it he is aware of it we do have ancient walls coming up from these coastal cities and he's aware that he's gonna need to defend himself with a navy and even build one uh dgs is uh two turns away from getting square digging with four turns nationalism i'm pretty sure he doesn't really want um square digging but he definitely wants to get his industrialization going for the extra production he did start to put down a few of these um, industrial zones even if they're not the biggest ones well he still is getting quite a few bonuses from them uh, we do have to see what's going on here or how is this matchup going does look like Mapuche is starting to run out of steam Maceron did outproduce uh, his loss of uh, units here and uh, by the looks of it Mapuche is uh, only remaining with crossbows not that they're not deadly but uh, yeah no more manual readers does mean he cannot take these tiles uh, efficiently anymore it is what it is and it looks like the Corsair died, more Corsairs coming around and might, they might actually just reposition towards Mapuche, kill Mapuche. If Mapuche dies over here and uh, somebody else needs to... Ah, uh, does it actually matter? I guess military alliance will matter, but Krieg could just stay, you know, behind. It is what it is. Okay, definitely retreating. He's aware that he's going to get attack here, counter attack by uh, both nations, Inca in the north and uh, Macedon. While we do have uh, biggest Benos getting the biggest push going against um, Elephant Guy. Looks like um, Cuirassiers are coming out to play with the Firganes right behind them. These units are much stronger than Elephant Guy has right now, but I do see there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Elephant Guy is four turns out from ballistics. He will have uh, the ability to match this, and uh, we do need to see if he did manage to recruit a general for them well this is a medieval renaissance one he's gonna need an industrial one for that for that then we don't see one yet <clears throat> we do have uh, canada making six macedon on four mapuche is one egypt is only on two points inca is six points four generals by the way only four generals okay still no movement here from japan well, Trinda just getting uh, culture and, uh, you know, I saw killings and more uh, wonders and spies and stuff like that. He's uh, getting bigger and getting that uh, tourism going. Trinda is on 140 tourism right now with 130 faith. And he, like I said, he's not that far away from actually getting his uh, Malon, uh, uh, Malon, his unique unit, the Mounty. Mounty is, um, where is he? Conservation. There we go. Four tens. Okay, well, uh, let's see the gold. This was a major investment, by the way, from um, from uh, COC. There is so much more gold on Gold by Library. There are 650, 60 points per turn, while Task for Fish is barely making 183. Uh, Inca is 28 and Trinda is 18. I guess it's, uh, well, it's going to be a matter of time until uh, this will show up over here we'll see we'll see how this will uh, develop oh i do also notice inca kind of gave up on attacking mapuche so mapuche is gonna have another chance he's gonna try to focus all of his efforts uh, against egypt and it looks like egypt is realizing he needs to put as many of these units into production queues uh, as quickly as he can and try to get that ballistics going four turns doesn't seem like it's gonna be that far off but it would have been so nice if somebody boosted this wink wink snd Well, uh, what is Japan? He's getting painting. Okay, he's going bottom. It's going to take a long time to get there. Okay, he's going bottom three. Not going um, immediately for laps. Okay. Yeah, looks like uh, the Egyptian unit still can hold a little bit more until they get their upgrades it should be fine three more turns uh, let's see ben's units will get to move and shoot and i'm pretty sure some of the knights will get um, da uh, dangerously close to dying here we're going to need to see elephant guys um, apm to move around these units and let them heal not to mention put new ones on the front line Uh, Shin TK, hello there, sir. Does Japan know he can battle Canada? Battleship Canada? Uh, yes and no. 
As in, I don't think he saw the city of Justin Trudeau, but he can um, deduce there's a city there. Yeah, you see, he didn't see this, but he knows there's a city there. So I'm pretty sure he's aware that he can uh, battleship. And maybe this is uh, the exact reason he's actually getting right now, um, going through the bottom tree. He wants to go for the battleships, refining. Uh, impress uh, 2 to 1. Hello there, sir, and welcome. Also, Linda, I think so. Japanese galley explored the Canadian coast. Yes. Yeah, can Inca teleport that? I did uh, answer that. No. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Now, yeah, more of this uh, <clears throat> industrial zone coming out from uh, Japan, and I do see he does manage to get the 320 science and 134 culture with uh, 220 gold at 10 as well, 313 production on uh, actually DGS and both DGS and SAD. We do have more than 300 production. That's pretty nice for him. And looks like uh, DGS is, uh, you know, slowly getting in there, slowly getting in there. 126 and 126 to, with uh, a lot of food and uh, production income. For example, if you compare him to Pakachudi's empire. Yes, I do know Pakachudi invested a lot in this military. But it doesn't look like he will have the result he's waiting for. Well, this level 2 field cannon course might actually have a different say in this. We do need to see if Elephant Guy is going to get to ballistics and upgrade his units well before his units are going to die to these... Um, field cannon course since uh, we are just a few turns away from the next era let's actually take a look what's going on hannibal 50 out of 53 going dark snd 7285 going dark dgs uh, will be in a golden age 96 out of 98 and he does need two more points it looks like elephant guy is gonna go also heroic 78 out of 70 right now while uh, test for fish is going dark alexis cream going dark we do have ben going dark trinda is uh, gonna need six more points to get his uh, golden age wow did drapanui just kill a unit into macedon and gave science free science to macedon he did he did well it is what it is uh any escape for mapuche no no he didn't get any i don't think he's planning on dying anytime soon or at least he's not gonna die from Macedon. that's that's for sure inca i'm pretty sure he had a chance to kill mapuche here if uh, he would have uh, done the attack against mapuche instead of against uh, egypt he definitely would have killed mapuche here now, Macedon alone doesn't seem like he's gonna have the strength uh, to kill Hannibal anytime soon or at least not yet we're going to need to see later We also need to see if uh, Canada is going to get some uh, mounties over there to flex, but I, usually the mounties are defensive units, not really of offensive units. You can use them, don't get me wrong, they're quite strong, but uh, yeah, much strong on the next to national parks. Oh, and I gotta say, if you want to keep up with um, uh, the game scores and uh, I should say all of the game scores and the tournament scores and so on, you can find on my YouTube um, playlist called the, the Score Show. You do have episodes every week over there uh, going through all of the tournaments um, one by one and seeing what has happened from one week to the other. Now, uh, let me actually put it up on the screen here. Maybe I should get like a message, like a pin message. What do you think, guys? Should I put a pin message at some point with this? Uh, let me get it from uh, YouTube here. It just takes me a bit of time. And uh, let's keep the vision here so we see how Egypt is uh, reacting to this. Is uh, two thirds away from getting ballistics. Yeah, there we go. We got the link. There we go. <clears throat> Brinkado Owen has joined the round table. Hello there, sir. Brinke. Good evening, sir, and welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Yep, there we go. Got it, got it. Uh, let me, I put the message. I can pin. I can pin. There we go. And of course, uh, I, I would hope actually the, the viewers from YouTube know about this. But if you don't know about this, uh, let's see. I'm, I'm going to put the link over here as well for the playlist. 
Uh, AJF, hello there, sir, and uh, welcome. I, uh, you say Culture Victory is coming, turn 90 to 100. Well, we turn 70 right now, and um, we do have uh, Inca starting to chew through the defenses of Egypt, but of course, uh, Balitis is coming up next, and we do have Macedon stopping right now. He's not actually pushing into Mapuche. Looks like uh, Japan is starting to get uh, Quad Dreams, so at least one has been built over there for the battleship. We're going to need to see if he's going to start pushing that a little bit harder. Did GS is getting his industrialization in two turns and the nationalism in two. I do notice uh, they are getting a higher in culture, but uh, we don't see any amazing numbers right now. Nor do we see amazing tourism numbers. Only 140 is not that big, but that is pre-national parks and pre a lot more bonuses from the cards later on. <clears throat> not to mention the rock band. So I don't know. It does seem like it's going to be a fast culture victory here, to be honest. Oh my god, I just saw a message over there. Wait, oh, I see. Okay. Uh, coal power plant sources are starting up from uh, SND and looking at uh, how Inca is approaching this war against the elephant guy. He's uh, definitely going to do quite a few, uh, qu quite a bit of damage against his opponent before he his opponent can react. Elephant guy is left uh, speechless watching his units die. He only needed one more turn to upgrade uh, these uh, knights into Queen Asiers and have a much stronger unit to fend off attacks here. But it looks like uh, this is not meant to be. We do have uh, field cannon cores getting in with the help of military engineers building the roads there so he can move a little bit faster while uh, it looks like the cuirassiers can actually punch through uh, the line of defense uh, made up of courses here much easier than uh it would have been with knights. We do have also a possible level 4 free cannon soon from Inca. He does have the three promotions here uh, Arostrom, Suppression and the Volley if he does manage to get his level 4 that's going to be a double attack of activated Okay, another unit goes down. Just inching forward, we got Inca getting into the borders of uh, Egypt. Uh, we got Swinet getting those ancient walls, Thebes getting the ancient walls, and he's trying desperately to get an encampment training project for the Cuirassier general. Uh, he doesn't have one. He does have four Renaissance, he does have four Medieval, doesn't have four Industrial Zone, uh, Industrial um, Era. Uh, culture victory 10 out of 46 by the way for trinda and uh, the game it says imminent woo, woo, woo. he just popped four of them that's amazing 14 out of uh, 46 right now and i do notice egypt is uh, gonna manage to push back uh, a little bit now well he does have to fend off attacks from the fear cannons and these are the ones that are gonna push into him level two fear cannon cords double shining the cuirassiers w bro well, let's see what's going on here. Just a line of scrambled units, uh, scrambled eggs. We got uh, Canada pushing out a little bit. He wants to uh, do something. I don't know. Uh, Mapuche is getting a safety settler. And we got uh, four high. Hello there, sir, and welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Michael is a mounty with his hat. Yeah. And I need also a horse, you know. Or do you want me to always comment with this move over here? Oh my god, the, the chair sound is gonna kill me. Not to mention, I'm gonna go uh, crazy. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, uh, Cree, 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 they managed to get the fleet out, multiple frigates uh, coming online, looks like he's going to defend against Persia and will also have the opportunity to push back against Persia. With only two cities on the coast, doesn't seem like Persia is going to have the production to keep up uh, the spam against uh, Cree. While uh, we were watching, he barely had any boats, it looks like right now DJS does benefit from multiple caravels with the uh, frigates uh, support right behind them. He should have more more than sufficient enough boats to take on the Persian fleet, especially since uh, Persia did split up quite a few of his forces, uh, trying to get uh, the visibility somewhere else and lost a number here. He's, uh, he was seven out with the caravels. One just went away, man. He went away. He was like, bro, I'm not part of this group. I'm another level here. I'm going to go on my own, you know, find myself a little island somewhere. Just, yeah, get to sit there, watch the sunshine. Well, it uh, looks like the Persian other caravels, the six, uh, the great six, are going against Kree here and they're gonna end up dying to the frigates. 
Well, ideally. Okay, more Kurasias coming around, but I gotta say, I think uh, uh, Egypt is dead. Level 2 field cannon cores, I think uh, just broke Elephant Guy. Yeah, they broke him, man. Such a young age. Yeah, they broke him. Oh well, it is what it is. Ten seventy one Caravel Rush, yes, exactly. Yeah, see, you know, it works. If it works, it works. Okay, we got a pillage here. Japan getting a frigate. Well, not gonna matter. He's just gonna get the defense. It's fine. And it looks like uh, that knight is gonna be taken out. Trinda immediately returning his units to his uh, front line. He's gonna get statue of Zeus in three anyway. Gonna get six units for free. Not to mention a battery in ram, which I mean. It is what it is. Uh, DGS did finish his industrialization and um, <clears throat> nationalism. While I do notice there's one more turn until the next uh, era, we do have Hannibal. 10 points out. He's going to go normal. DGS is uh, going to go heroic. We got Elephant Guy also getting his Golden Age. SND going to go dark. Task for Fish dark. Alice's Cream dark. Uh, ben dark. While we do have Trinda on um, a Golden Age. And I got to say, Ben going dark here is going to matter quite a bit. Oh, okay. He didn't actually break uh, Egypt. He's uh, retreating. Egypt is uh, right now getting a little bit more time to uh, select this, uh, do this. Well, we do have more, more cuirassiers coming around from the series of uh, both of their empires. And uh, yes, we do have Casa de Constratación getting built in Cusco. That's going to give him quite a few um, tiles there, quite a few uh, governor titles. Well, it is what it is, boys. Attack is over. They're not breaking elephant guys, uh, we were thinking. What I was thinking. There is a level 2 spy also here. Ooh. Ooh. Plus 3 intel. Plus 5 military lines. Combat. Yeah. Still no general on that cuirassier though. Zoo coming out in Quebec City. Gonna give those extra amenities around this. Uh, looking at his uh, merit count right now. He's on a plus 3. Doesn't have the plus 6. <clears throat> unfortunately. But still plus 3 is good. Yeah, he's gonna get industrialization next turn with civil engineering gonna have the ability to build the statue of liberty on the coast if he's ever gonna do that but he i don't think he's ever gonna put a harbor down uh and nor do i think he's actually going uh, diplo he's going full corn culture he's on 189 tourism a turn and i do see the computer tells us uh, he acquired 16 out of the 50 necessary tourists to get there that 50 number it's a never changing number according to uh, the culture rolled by uh, and the bonuses rolled by his uh, defenders Ooh, sorry um so on that good evening sir what settings do they play on they play on um, first of all online speed uh, second of all it's going to be a standard map for eight players we do have uh, Pangea as the map uh, standard resources strategic resources are set on uh, spawn guaranteed uh, with are not playing with the forest balancing option uh, world age is set to new standard regions of course as the map says and that's about it no barbarians also in the team games no barbarians they uh, tend to skew the game quite uh, horribly towards the uh, team uh oh the thank you Sean. thank you Sean. yeah new age new age is the secret there actually that's uh, one of the first thing we actually um managed to reveal when we started off the multiplayer community because new age gave you a lot more tempo than uh, the other ones a lot more heals gave you the production to build a lot more stuff which in turn gave you more uh, more stuff to use and so on so uh, we started playing uh exclusively on new world age nothing else just new old age well it uh, looks like uh, we do have them actually tying each other in terms of uh, players here by the looks of it we do have i guess snd <clears throat> leading the way with uh, the science and uh, also he does have a decent amount of culture tied with uh, dgs is 146 while i do notice also elephant guys on 167 science pool well that those are their science points even if hojo is in a dark age he's retaining his 320 science a turn that he was making before he did manage to finish uh, the majority of his universities everywhere and that keeps him up at night well we do have him also with a lot more we do have them actually all 
uh, SND and DGS with um, more production than their respective opponents. Uh, Trinda is only on 290 production, but uh, I guess uh, Culture Victory is not gonna care about production anymore. And uh, we don't actually see SND getting those uh, units that we were expecting to see to go against Canada, do we? Wait, did Canada go greedy and did not get Grandmaster Chapel? Where is his guy from Plaza? No, okay, he did get Grandmaster Chapel. I thought he he would go for like something for a ministry or something to get. Uh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. He can uh, buy out units uh, with faith, no problem. Uh, seven tells Forbidden City in Takamatsu. More markets, more of these electronics factories gonna finish. Uh, also, Mausoleum of Harikanasus in Sendai. I don't notice uh, Kree did manage to engage the Persian fleet and did destroy uh, at least two boats here. No, one boat. One boat died, one boat is on the run. Um, we might actually see them die right now, actually. Come on, DGS. Why are you not shooting? H hello? Where, where was i'm pretty sure this frigate said okay there we go oh oh i see he's a slow loader i see okay i see well that's uh that's the advantage that you have you see the turn is over but his turn is still alive okay we're gonna have a pause for uh, two minutes while they do their um congress Okay, two minutes and we're coming back. Level two disasters, yes, level two disasters. Okay, guys, I got a big poll, big poll, big poll, big poll. Am I right to make another coffee? Or is this game not going to require another coffee? Let's see, let's see. Let's see what everybody says over here. Mm -mm -mm. I definitely want to drink another coffee, just saying. Even though tomorrow we're going to have, um, during the, all of the day, we're going to have the hidden cup. Definitely going to need to uh, try to get some sleep earlier. Oh man, with so much coffee in my blood. It is what it is. Um, am I right to make a coffee? Let's see. Yes? No. That's it. That's it. Two answers. Yes or no? Three minutes. Let's see Twitch chat. Am I right to make another coffee or not? It looks like Persia is getting pushed back here. He lost um, three, of, two of his units. While uh, Kree doesn't look like he lost anything. He's getting killed. Kree is also getting killed by Kisivani. 
Uh, nobody is keeping Hatusa, by the way. This is a Pocket CS, and I didn't mention this, but I should mention this. This is a Pocket CS4 uh, Gold by Library. Nobody discovered that city state, but I do see Japan is going to manage to get um, his um, Amani in, and that they do want to benefit from the other bonuses. Still now, they only benefit from the one science in the capital and in every library building. They want to activate all of these others, and if the, he does that, he's going to jump up very quickly in the science. <clears throat> I'm not sure how many envoys uh, somebody else has, but I do notice that Althaya, for example, has 25 envoys, 24 envoys for Roma, uh, Trinda. Uh, and I guess uh, Bandar Burnay is also getting fought over. Also, Kapoor is getting fought over. Muscat is getting fought over. Th those are a lot of envoys invested already from uh, the, te the teams. A wave of universities coming out in Egypt's uh, territory. Inca did slow down and it looks like he still builds up a few units, but uh, this is not an attacking force anymore. He's, uh, he gave up on that attack against his opponent. Even though he could have uh, still kept trading units with Egypt or still do some damage, he doesn't want to actually get these uh, field cannons in danger. And there was a, a significant chance that Egypt might actually get uh, right in the face of them. Mapuche also bunkered down, he's getting his uh, ancient walls up, also getting a spy, while Macedon did manage to get to Cuirassiers. This is going to be that moment when uh, the units of Macedon are getting to be deadly against Mapuche. Mapuche losing also his uh, plus 5 against his opponent, not only that, but also the Dark Age card, right? He, he lost his Dark Age card. I do see Intel is uh, right now on uh, Macedon advantage. With only a spy, well, I guess that's going to be tied with another spy, it's fine. It's just a few turns of uh, plus three. Uh, Trinda did manage to get to 259 tourism and 150 faith at 10, 187 science, 262 culture. While I do notice uh, SND is on 355, he just managed to sus Hatusa, and uh, this will mean he's going to start dropping a lot of uh, envoys in there. Or he should start dropping. Yeah, there we go. 18 envoys just got placed uh, into Hatusa. 355 science for uh, SND, 150 culture, getting industrial zone logistic uh, projects. We do have him with the plus three for the workshops. This is going to be big if he does manage to get this. He already has a lot of industrial zones with the workshops and even the electronics factories built in them. He's also managing to get the uh, Forbidden City in Takamatsu. Wait a second, was there somebody else building Forbidden City somewhere? No? Wasn't? I'm pretty sure I saw it somewhere else. Was it? the only one huh okay he's the only one well that's uh, gonna open up another wildcard policy slot for him to use that is amazing that's another card that he can use which he will get uh, so many benefits of <clears throat> I'm uh, semi-new to the Civ games, a few games played in total. No problem, no problem, just keep asking questions. I'm more than happy to respond to any of the questions. Just uh, put them out there in the chat and as much as I can see over here in the chat, I'm going to respond. No problem, no problem. I'm actually quite happy to get uh, to respond to questions because sometimes I don't know what my viewers know and they don't know. Of course, it's very hard for me to uh, to know that, especially since I do repeat a lot of the times uh, the same thing over and over again. I don't know when I need to repeat it again. Uh, okay, looks like Trinda is only 17 out of 60. He slowed down a little bit with his uh, culture requirement, but this is still pre-national parks, right? We got only one single national park from Mounty. That's about it. He's going to need a lot of builders to start uh, unimproving his territory and starting to get uh, all of the forest in them so he can increase the appeal and get that um, get that extra tourism. I do see he's setting up uh, the north of Quebec for that uh, reason, especially. He's starting to put down the forest and unimprove his um, farms here. Well, good thing, in, good thing they actually did get destroyed, huh? It is what it is. Uh, gold per 10, that's low, like uh, it's still going a lot better for uh, gold by library. We do have only tasks for fish with more than 300 gold per 10, while uh, Ben is only on 64 and Trinda is on 69. They're also struggling to keep up with the science uh, that their opponents are making, especially Japan is uh, getting away with this when it comes to the science. Uh, the biggest question is uh, if he can actually use that science in a good enough time uh, to... Um, take out Canada's ability to get to a culture victory. 
that i think is the biggest question and they have a few chances like looking at the uh, possible bombing for example and trying to get the uh, domination uh, this would be quite easy to get this uh, city could be quite easy to get this city is not hard to get either with uh, japan's uh, japan being cl quite close to it because of the capagnans also Cusco can get um, taken and then you have Persia that's very close to the coast. So again, Japan could just nuke it and uh, try to get a city there. There is a possibility they can uh, get domination later on. We'll see. But it all depends on how fast this culture victory is. If uh, Canada doesn't get it quickly, this is going to go late game. And that's where uh, Hojo is going to have the advantage. Like these, these manorators are good until a point. And then they fall off a cliff. Like when they start to encounter tank armies, for example, they just fall off a cliff. Tank armies and uh, artilleries. Uh, imagine a disaster right now where the big armies are. <laughs> yes, break it do. Good evening, sir. I think I have a few clips on uh, YouTube. I'm pretty sure I have a few clips with on YouTube with that. Yeah. Uh, Forbidden City should kill negative accumulators when you hit tank tech. Uh, why? okay i love challenging games like that yes yes sir yes sir i mean if you love challenging games like that you're definitely gonna love the multiplayer community every game is gonna be a challenge every game is gonna be a challenge it's like the randomizing factor of uh, civilization 6 map generator with uh, all of the bonuses that we make from the mods and so on you not to mention uh, a lot of players that do know how to min max and uh, they will challenge you Uh, culture victory progress? Yes, sir. It's 19 out of 62. Okay, flight coming out in uh, four turns from DGS. I do see SND is going for replaceable parts, and I'm pretty sure Research Labs is going to come out soon from him. He's uh, finishing up his coal power plants, and I do want to see if he's uh, managing to get this one. He's uh, not that far away, one single project away from getting it, and he's going to finish it in the city of Sendai. That is going to give him a plus three culture on all of his workshops. Oh no, that's actually plus six on each workshop because he does have Mausoleum. He can activate that two times. They didn't take this out, right? I think. Uh, at some point it was an unintended bug like they discovered it and it was an unintended bug but then it everybody kind of liked it and everybody kept it, it right they didn't take the ability of um, the great engineer to get two charges especially especially you know, leonardo da vinci uh, i just need to learn a bit more before i play with others understanding units better than one not yeah yeah definitely makes sense sir. makes sense Okay, Forbidden City has finished. We do have uh, Filippo Brunelleschi still available with one charge. And uh, I do notice uh, he did pick up uh, Leonardo da Vinci. That's going to be a big science, in a big culture income from uh, SND, allowing him to uh, get the culture defense much better. Uh, he's right now on 62 defenders, while DJS is only on 59. Uh, he is uh, going to start acquiring that, science, uh, that culture quite quickly. And of course, with the science from the labs, he's going to hit uh, 500 and uh, 300 very, very quickly here. 500 science and 300 uh, culture that is going to slow down the culture victory quite a bit and trinda with his uh, 312 tourism will need to get to the later on cards to push through it and i'm pretty sure uh, environmentalism and computers are going to be quite a requirement here for him to get the victory chat was saying culture victory waiting room 1090 to 100 we're going to, need to see if that's actually going to be exactly the time that he's going to hit uh, starting to acquire the musicians is also going to give him a big boost in his tourism and i'm pretty sure a setting more more of these national parks is going to help him out a lot he can settle another one here he can settle another one here he can put another one here now or here depending on where he wants to put it by the looks of it it's here uh, by the looks of it, the position of this mountain oh well he does need a few two more tiles to take out there so i would say uh, maybe the mountain is actually going to cross uh, to the west and get it because uh, this is not going to work oh well it is what it is we don't see military units from japan even though he does have a um, frigate here next to the city of Vilnius. that's more for protection against a unit from uh, canada than an attacking force against uh, his opponent uh, we do see iran piramapu is trying to get the ancient walls and yes level two field cannons from macedon are eating uh, up, tearing apart the macedonian units uh, we do have uh, inca also slowly moving towards the south uh, getting his uh, military engineers to build the pathways the roads so his units are going to be much quicker to move uh, from the north to the south 
it does seem like uh, Egypt also did manage to secure his borders here quite nicely and uh, next turn chemistry from SD nationalism uh, but uh, doesn't seem like he's gonna help Mapuche that much yeah oh well at least walls are gonna go up in the city of Inapiremapu uh, what happened in the Congress did we talk about it uh, Hojo Tokimian getting two diplo great artists uh, double the points for artists this is big for uh, Wilfred this is very big for Wilfred. Double the points for artists. How many points is he making right now? Hmm. Uh, Canada is on 50 great artist points. I'm pretty sure that's also with the project. I don't think he's making 50 points. Well, is he? I guess if he would have had 24, he would, right? And he does have Oracle. So, okay, that's not that far off. That could be true. And we got some archaeologists here, more forest, and I'm pretty sure this uh, mount is going to cross the river. It looks like Inia Piramapu finished its walls, and yes, we do have Mapuche getting his ballistics. And now he will have uh, the ability to shoot back against his opponent. He does need a lot of gold to upgrade all of these field cannons. And I'm pretty sure next turn is going to be the turn that he's uh, going to get to attack. He cannot uh, upgrade and attack at the same time. That city, though, looks like it's going to die. The cuirassiers uh, will manage to punch through the walls or should be able to punch through the walls oh i see they're getting the promotion so okay next turn yeah but still he's not gonna live for long he does have this city nagmapu here in between the cities of uh, japan that he's uh well keeping as a safety settle i do have to point out japan doesn't really have units here so i'm not sure if he's gonna be able to defend him we're gonna need to see when he's gonna start building units it's still going to be quite a few more turns until Mapuche is going to get uh, to die here, though. This we'll see. A more strength on in Apiremapu from the upgrade of Quirasier, even if he does have a field cannon inside, it is uh, 55 right now. And we do have uh, Macedon push, uh, getting pushed from the north by uh, Mapuche. And now with uh, multiple field cannons able to counterattack, I'm pretty sure quite a few units will die. I do have to say, if he does keep the, man, uh, the field cannons in his uh, city's borders, uh, they uh, or I should say in the city center or in the encampment, they're going to be taken out entirely when the city is going to go down. Okay, 500 production on SND. 500 production on DGS. Uh, while uh, we do have Task for Fish uh, getting 350, looks like also Ben is 318. Uh, <clears throat> wow, this is uh, quite a bit of a pre built uh, navy. And we do have uh, Kree getting his um, frigate fleets to start uh, going against Persia here. He doesn't have new boats coming around, and it does look like it's going to take him quite a bit of time to get to Persian. Uh, Persian coast while Persia is getting his ballistics in one that wouldn't put him that far away from getting his uh, refining he just needs uh, rifling well I guess if he does have the bottom three I don't know if he has uh, calves can we check wait a line infantry he should have no we don't see check anyway oh he did manage to get uh, Isun Sin whoa he did I think so. I don't think he had enough uh, science to get to steam power. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't get enough science. Where is this one Maybe I'm missing it. Mm -mm -mm. No, he didn't get it. Am I just missing him? Yeah, I'm missing him. Or I didn't see him. Did he actually get to steam power? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, this doesn't have a promotion. Isunsin, if it was uh, Isunsin, it would have had a promotion, no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he did get there. He did get there. Okay, so in Apiramapu is going to be taken down. You do see that uh, Hannibal did mo move back his field cannons. And uh, we do need to see how he's going to use them uh, against his opponent here. There are quite a few of them uh, left to the north so that could shoot down. For example, this field cannon uh, shouldn't be allowed to live here in the level 2. This is a must to kill. While uh, there are units coming from the northwest, Incan units are much stronger than uh, Macedon is. And he's starting to pillage the tiles of his opponents. Pillaging, pillaging is uh, one of the ways that um, they can actually do this. They can actually get the gold. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that field cannon needed to die. And this city needs to be raised. Unless... 
he raises it there's a significant chance that Mapuche is gonna get it back oh well we'll see we'll see the moves 80 crews coming up from Japan looks like uh, they will have uh, enough strength to defend Macedon here for quite some time you know we do have research labs finishing up everywhere in Japanese territory and uh, yes I do see more 80 crews getting built in the southwest city of Fukuoka so he can help out his ally there while uh, the navy of uh, Cree will need to start sailing away through the ocean tiles i will we will need to see if he if that is actually going to be his plan or he's going to want to try to take a bull first uh looking at inca still not enough forces to go on the offense to the northeast getting his production capabilities up still not hitting 500 but he is on 318 got a bit more science on 239 with 62 culture and while uh, dgs is uh, triple the amount of uh, culture he does have uh, also more science so i'm pretty sure fascism is going to come out faster on both japan and uh Kree here you know, we do have uh, 26 out of 68 domestic um, of these tourists acquired by Trinda. He does need to get uh, all of those 68 if he wants the win. And he's on a 334 culture a turn here. You now we do have Mapuche getting another setter. I think that's uh, what they invested the gold for. So he can start moving away from here. Getting a safety setter between his uh, two biggest allies is going to help him stay alive. And uh, keep that military alliance between them a possibility. Wait, is that going to be Canada's free city state? Is he actually going to take Rapa Nui? Whoa. Okay. Well, he did manage to get these cities also in the southwest, just putting cities for national parks here, trying to get that extra culture in there. But I gotta say, you do need a lot of appeal on them if they want to be good, right? They do have like a base, but they do need the appeal. They do need the um, improvements from all of these forests. They're not as good appeal. Ew. only four breathtaking ew he needs to do better let's go let's see quebec national park this is better no still plus four this is worse actually lol oh well it is what it is he tried to make it make it better 406 tourism is not not too shabby not too shabby i do notice uh, he did manage to get this style between rapanui with uh, the culture he has and that's going to be another national park in kind of a weird position uh, looks like uh, Mapuche is having troubles over here uh, defending against uh, both Inca and uh, Macedon at the same time. Quite a few uh, units have died initially and Macedon did have the first moves over his opponent. Hannibal just couldn't do anything. Now uh, getting a few more field cannons to defend himself while I'm pretty sure he needs to sail away so he can save himself. Uh, looking at the west here we do have uh, Persia starting to upgrade his frigates and going north I guess he's trying to uh, split up his forces to defend both cities uh, but I do notice as uh, Kree has his sights set on the city of Kabul. Uh, that's scary for culture victory. No parts yet and already. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. That's why chat was saying culture victory will happen uh, turn uh, 90 to 100. But I gotta say Japan did manage to put up uh, and is managing to put up quite a defense here. He's on uh, 219 culture with 430 science and he still has <coughs> a lot of stuff to build. A lot of stuff to build. Not to mention more great people to acquire. Oh, Canada. Yeah, it's science or the culture win faster at the moment. Uh, culture win is usually faster than uh, science. Actually, it has been faster for quite some time. Yeah, uh, you just need to learn. Oh, yeah, I did delete that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. No. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm, give me a second okay there we go wow wait there was a poll earlier what did you guys say uh, on the poll wait i don't see it what wait manage what is manage polls manage polls okay view results what did you guys say yes okay yes okay okay i'm getting another uh, i'm getting that coffee I'm getting the coffee right about now Let's uh, take a look at the moves over here because this is where the action is. Alexis Krempo will go against AT Crew.
boy drama. Oh my god, oh my, I actually ran out of uh, water in the espresso machine, I had to uh, go fill it up again, I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, Japan setting more ATC cruise, and of course Mapuche getting uh, towards the northeast, uh, we do have Inca getting that level 2 spy to work on Egypt and uh, pushing it through Piku Mapu. Looks like uh, these cities are going to fall quite quickly here, and Mapuche doesn't have that chance I was imagining he's going to have. If only he would have had the field cannons one or two turns earlier. Well, we do have also Canada managing to take out uh, Rapa Nui, and uh, by the looks of it, in the score screen here, no, 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 in the culture screen, right? He's on 29 out of 76, and he is uh, putting down quite a few more of these national parks uh, all over the place, buying out mountains, getting the national parks, sending mountains on the offense, buying out mountains, uh, getting national parks. Uh, it's a circle. And we do need to take a look at Persia on the west side, what's going on, while uh, Task for Fish is getting more production capabilities, industrial zones coming up from Charlie 2. Doesn't look like he's building more boats. And since he did open up iron class, these are going to be harder to build than the um, other ones. And I don't think he has a lot of production. 27 production city. Golf is 24 production city. Yeah, they're not that big. Okay, looks like uh, Kabul is going to be taken soon. And DJS is going to manage to push through that defense quite quickly. And uh, Alexis Kremp is going to run out of that uh, extra bonus from Kabul. We do have uh, finally the research labs finishing up on uh, SND. He's still on 437. What's going on here? Nationalism, uh, rationalism with natural history. Okay, retainers for the extra. Republican legacy also. Force modernization. Oh, I see. He's using force modernization right now. Mm hmm. Okay. Why is he? Oh, I guess he did upgrade one unit. He's, he's gonna move back soon. Uh, DGS did also crawl back out of uh, that uh, IRL position he was in, missing his uh, second golden age. Now he's uh, 258 signs with 217 culture. Getting quite big. The power of Kree. And I guess I, I gotta say uh, that um, decision of his to just keep on centric cities did allow him to do this 520 production also much better production than uh, his opponent it doesn't like ben finally did manage to get more science out uh, 249 points with 60 culture while he's getting a stronger economy he still needs to put those uh, points to work here he's uh, managing to push through his opponent and not only forced uh, egypt to make a big army and spend a lot of gold of uh, his opponents but also is pushing through mapuche's territory with uh, cuirassier corps and uh, some uh, bombards helping out macedon uh, clean up Mapuche here. Well, I gotta say, clean up Mapuche will also mean attacking to Japan. And I gotta say, these cuirassiers, look at the cuirassiers attacking into AKT Cruz. They die. They just straight up die. And the uh, Philly Cannon course, they barely scratch the AT Cruz. Then, yeah, not good. Wait, that's a Philly Cannon 2. What is the Philly Cannon core? This level 3 Philly Cannon core. Still barely scratches. This 92 against 92. And this uh, Japanese AT crew is not even a uh, core or an army yet. I'm pretty sure he does have the ability soon. Okay, SND is going to get defining next turn. Scorch 13-3. We do need to see what his plan is now that he discovered research labs and has a lot of science. What's this? Oxford University. Okay. Yeah, okay. Reaching that 500 science number. So I think this is probably going to be nukes nukes on canada i don't think they even need do they need do they need to kill any anybody else with nukes no they just need to kill canada with nukes right so japan just needs to get uh, to nuke build the nukes and uh, resist macedon and inca which is not going to be that big of an issue especially with at Cruz and his uh his uh cities here right Wait, can he actually liberate? No. No, he can't liberate. 
Oh, he's pillaging. Check this out. He's going for the campus. He's pillaging the. He's gonna pillage uh, the campus and then beat him up. Kick. Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, server. Away. Let me fix my stuff. Fix my things. Yep. One, one, two. Oh, one put you getting a builder. Oh. Well, he doesn't want to improve something. There we go. Fixing screens. Okay. Uh, Kabul has been taken down. They just did manage to finish off that uh, city state. Uh, not pushing forward yet against Persia. And we do need to see if he will. It looks like uh, Persia is sending a few, a few uh, damage dealers over here. Uh, griefers towards uh, DGS. And uh, we're probably going to see steel at some point from Power Maker. I'm not sure if it's going to be uh, before these uh, cuirassiers get there or not. Steel is not going to stop the units actually pillaging the tiles and we're gonna need to see if Kree is gonna manage to get a few units to defend himself because this is a problem for him or will be a, a problem for, for him uh, Oxford University is getting built in the city of Echo in three turns where there is no builder to chop it and we do need to see if uh, Filippo is gonna be happy to bring it back to uh, the lands of Japan here by the looks of it since he's going for industrial zone logistics pro projects he's not gonna get that anytime soon and wait why is he getting industrial zone logistics projects when it's a very bad engineer oh. hello okay interesting it is what it is <laughs> snd one versus nine <clears throat> I mean, to be honest, there is a significant chance that SND is going to pull this off. If he, if he manages to get the nukes against Canada, and if Canada cannot actually defend his land properly, <clears throat> the nukes might, and I say might, come out before the culture victory. I don't know how many turns, though. There's so much time that you need to dedicate in Manhattan Project, though. It's like at least, like, what, five turns for him? No, at least six turns. It's 100 production, so it's like six turns. And then he needs to buy, you know, build the nukes, which is going to take another few turns. And he needs to get to uh, actually something to deploy that device. That's going to require, um, what was it? Uh, da -da -da -da, telecommunications, right? Telecommunications. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, telecommunications. There we go. Uh, Ferris wheel, industrial zone logistics projects, and coal power plants all coming out for SND. Steel also next turn, mobilization in four. Let me get my coffee. Coffee fit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I gotta say, it's not only DGS, it's also Cree over here getting quite big. Big and dangerous. With uh, 224 uh, culture, 271 uh, science, and 536 production, and a lot more coming up uh, soon. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be quite dangerous. Planes, aerodromes coming out from Akbar Saha Hikan. That's exactly where Persia's units are going. Actually, they look like they're going towards the north. They might actually want to kill off uh, city state there. Although, I'm pretty sure Kumasi is stronger. Uh, we do have uh, also a bit of a change up uh, and more of these um, governors getting into his into Greece cities, while uh, Japan keeps on getting his new. Uh, New universities and uh, new labs in his uh, newly settled cities. Uh, he uh, looks like uh, Inapira Mapu did actually um, liberate itself to free cities. <clears throat> While um, Maestro is going to need to get it back, Japan still managed to feast on uh, the campus over there and got probably quite a bit out of it. Combustion coming up next time. Mobilization or did he finish combustion? Did he finish combustion? I can't see. I, I don't see a single unit that could actually turn into a tank. Kick. 
it is what it is anyway no one uh, canada styles we do have him of course getting all of the builders that he can get aerodromes also coming out for the space for the planes uh, for the air superiority and yes we do have him uh, chopping everything and improving everything with um, uh, forest so he can get that extra appeal going on you can see how he is changing the appeal of the game so he's getting the most the most tourism possible from each of these uh, tiles that are worked for the national uh, for the national museums or parks national parks uh looking at uh, trinda we do have him on 569 tourism at the moment and i'm pretty sure this is well before he's getting computers technology for the 50 percent tourism in the, in the empire and even um, the other one which i totally forgot what it's called but let me take a look over here uh environmentalism environmentalism for another 50 percent uh, if uh, coc win it's uh, still this map favors uh, gold by library a lot uh yes and no mostly because of this mostly because of canada being free sim they cannot get to canada Th this is why i think uh, they were favored but yes in other aspects for example economy definitely favors gbl uh, military position to defend definitely fa um, favors gbl but uh, you can see over here they are they did kind of lose mapuche's position while uh, they didn't really lose macedon but uh, macedon is starting to run out of steam here He's uh for well, I mean, it's not unheard of that he keeps on being relevant, but he's still a uh, 40 science, 1500 science acquired in the game. He barely got to this, right? He barely got to ballistics. And yes, uh, Inca might actually have a say in this. He's getting a stronger economy. We do have him getting spies out, more spies out. And uh, he kind of gave up on attacking Egypt in the north. While I do notice pushing through Mapuche does give him the opportunity to get close up and personal with Japan. He doesn't really have the strength to go against Japan with any units here. We're going to need to see what's going to change. Or if something is going to change. Uh, not a lot of science on Ben. 244 does give him a few options. And we do see him uh, discovering steel. Going for the tanks uh, slash helicopters uh, slash uh, nukes over here. We do need to see what is he going to choose. With SND also finishing up combustion next turn. We do have a bit of a question mark. Is he going combustion into combined arms into nuclear fission? Because that's kind of what it seems, right? It looks like Macedon took out that city. Totally ignored the builder. Rebuilder, man. Rebuilder. Okay. I see uh, also SMD just flexed with uh, one of his AT crews. Steel walls also on Inca cities. Those are not going to be easy to uh, take back. And of course, we do have SMD sending more units to defend Nagmapu. One <clears throat> AT crew on each tile uh, that he can uh, get attacked into that city center. I do see James Watt here. Filippo, wait. <clears throat> wasn't oxford built oh it's getting built next turn okay I, I do notice he's not actually using that maybe he knows that his opponent is going to build it faster and he's just not using it or maybe it was a you know a mistake this is what it is uh, but that's Macedon are playing Mapuche in Canada wasn't full free sim plus Japan can still do aircraft uh, carriers and planes you're right but can he do them quickly enough that's the question here can he do them quickly enough and I gotta say this is um, quite a challenge for the players to get uh, on every map this uh, is always happening you have a race of hitting the correct timings so you can punch through the, your opponents and usually the team that does manage to correctly predict those uh, timings wins if they don't hit canada soon culture victory is secured yeah full whip is uh, i think you're right there 42 out of 87 he's with just the passive tourism he's getting over the halfway point this is very dangerous because he's not that far away from discovering rock pants if he didn't discover them already Wait, well, didn't he have rope guns? Like, where he, I know he was getting, oh, democracy. Okay, so he's still on democracy. I was uh, thinking I watched this a little bit uh, earlier, but no, no, he's still uh, getting democracy next time. Actually, I've seen quite a few players that uh, totally ignore getting, uh, getting this. So, uh, sorry, um, let's put it on the correct one. So they go ideology into Cold War to get the rock bands before they actually discover uh, democracy or fascism. 
But anyway, we got the uh, broadcast centers coming out from everywhere. This will give him a lot more musician points. With the musician point, with the musicians, he's gonna get uh, to get a lot more tourism and multiply the numbers he has right now. It wouldn't be unheard of of him hitting um, 2,000 tourism quite soon, like 1095 between 95 and no 105 probably 2,000, 100 105. He's getting computers in four turns, but I think the other one, the culture tree, is actually going to be slower. Lol. He's uh, Cold War, Rapid Deployment, and uh, Environmentalism. And he's right now delaying this with democracy, so yeah. Well, delaying that thing in particular, not saying he's uh, slowing down or something. Just saying he's delaying that. Okay, AT Crew Core. Pushing back the Macedonian cuirassiers. Those don't wanna uh, don't wanna fight that, and they're gonna go back uh, towards Egypt this time around. But Egypt is uh, prepared for this. SND is gonna also want ten combined arms and uh, getting mobilization next turn. So yeah, this is a uh, race. 42, 44. I do also notice that he's putting more pressure on the culture, by the way. SD does manage to get the 232 culture points, while DGS is 253. Did he manage to pick up the flag for Defender? No, it's still SD with 99. Yeah, he doesn't have a ton of faith production. That is true. That is true. Your share of but to be honest, you don't need a lot of them. You just need to get lucky, basically, with the rock bands. You just need like one that gets to level three and keeps on uh, singing for you. It's not. I don't think it takes too much to uh, push Canada to get the culture victory, or like push it over the edge to get the culture victory with the rock bands. It's just so much passive tourism. So much passive tourism. Now, I guess it's a, an open question if it, and I think it's debatable if it's better to go democracy or a third tier government versus uh, going uh, for uh, rock bands first. Kind of really, it kind of depends. He's in the monumentality, so I'm pretty sure his face pattern is more dedicated in to getting builders and improving his territory all around with um, all of the national parks than um, actually going for everything else. It's still tourism, but differently uh, achieved. Acquired, acquired. Obtained. Is it uh, obtained, acquired, or achieved? Kick. Hmm. Alhambra importance from Yokohama. That's gonna be nice. Uh, an extra military policy slot to use for. Um, for Japan, I do also notice Egypt is starting to get calves uh, in the borders of Japan. They will try to uh, get those cities of uh, Canada. We'll go and need to see if they're going to manage to defend the culture victory before they can get to those cities. We do have uh, also aquariums for Japan and looking at his amenities, he's keeping uh, his uh, cities quite happy. Plus three, but Canada is on plus six. We do have Canada with uh, 217 science and 423 culture, while SND did get uh, 590 and 232. The fact that Canada did go so far into the top three for computers does also mean uh, he's not uh, even going to have cuirassier technology ballistics to get this going um, for steel much faster to defend himself to get some anti-air guns and so on and so forth. And that will take quite a few turns for him to get to. And that also means, of course, SND will actually need to get his uh, Manhattan project started somewhere and actually finish it quickly while the city of tokyo did grow up a little bit and it is 133 points right now it's still not strong enough those projects are very 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 production demanding uh, i do see dgs did retreat his fleet back he just wanted to see what Persia has and then uh, got back to his own territory is not gonna poke around too much and uh, we do need to see what is he gonna do next he did manage to recruit a few musicians but to be honest it's, there are still so many more musicians for canada to feast on and i'm pretty sure with all of the broadcast centers uh, coming out he's gonna be that he's gonna have them um looks like also with the third tier government he's uh, putting uh, royal uh, sorry the national history museum so he gets more slots in his capital that is where moksha is 
And of course, he's getting a lot of uh, tourism from that governor. You do have on uh, Moksha. And the last one, the curator promotion is the 100% tourism from great works, art of music and writing in the city. And usually you do want to have it in the biggest uh, tourism making city with uh, the one that has the most slots. Since he did manage to get, uh, didn't he get Apadana? Yes, he did manage to get Apadana. Those are two more slots that he can use for musicians, which right now he's not using for those are books oh my god that's a waste of slots man that's a big well i guess he didn't have that many um you know musics anyway but that kind of feels like a waste of slots for books into apadana ew anyway it is what it is icky very icky uh can we count the parks sure yeah we can count the parks uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, wait, 17, actually these are three parts, 17. That's it, 17, 18, 18 parks, 18 parks. Well, let's see. 1087. We're coming back on that mark, and he's still uh, getting to the halfway point. 50 out of 103 here with uh, only passive tourism. Uh, there are still quite a few things to discover. Computers, uh, he's going to get an extend, and that's going to probably push him to 900. He's already on 674, if not even over a, a thousand. We do need to see how much uh, tourism he's going to roll next end and how will, much will be added over here from all of these national parks. I'm pretty sure with uh, all of the improvements he's uh, going, these numbers change from 10 to 10. Not a lot but they do change quite a bit let's see okay privateers coming along there we go pre-builds for uh, nukes uh, for uh, the nuclear submarines <coughs> Okay, uh, when getting Hermitage, and I do see he's getting some um, broadcast center, so I'm pretty sure DGS is the one that's gonna want to get the defense. Yeah, he's the one that needs to get the defense. Uh, DGS is only 94 right now with SND still on 110. Yeah. It is what it is. SND over here does have uh, one pre-built privateer. Two of them uh, soon. That's gonna be. Uh, yeah, he does need to attack his opponent also with a. Uh, uh, usually with armadas to guarantee the attack nuclear fission in two tens from hojo takimin he's gonna get the ability to start uh, getting that manhattan project while uh, taking a look at this uh, he is pushing the this number quite uh, strong right now the defending culture he's on 111 domestics right now and trinda did also did only manage to get a few of them well we do have a thousand twenty five tourism on uh, trinda at the moment and he still needs to get his uh, other his environmentalism uh, the 50 percent tourism from the culture tree we're going to need to see if um, that's going to be exactly what he needs there to push the victory through and i do notice he's going to get cold war next turn which will allow him to actually use that faith pattern he has to buy a few rock pants here and there he needs to be as quick as possible about it though uh, that seemed like also task for fish managed to get uh, finally to 300 science and 124 culture it has 3000 wait 20 uh, oh oh i see they're getting big ben in the city of bravo and they gave him all of the gold so he can uh, make more gold from big ben very nice very nice okay the biggest uh, gold uh tank cores tank cores tank cores against tank cores amina rani okay and uh, John Dark here. Wait, did Inca not get a general of this era? Oh. Uh, wow. Okay. I guess it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. He did not get a general of this era. Inca Montenegro Projects next turn. Let's see. Canada can pick one. Napoleon. He might actually want to uh, pass this. To Inca. Inca is very close, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna get one. Yeah, he's gonna get um, Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay, I'm very curious how quick. Wait, that was production in Kyoto without. No, he lost it. Ah, he got uh, spied on. He lost his 20 production workshop. 
in uh, his capital. That is quite a problem, especially since he did have already coal power plants in there. That's like three turns you need to spend to get the production back. Oof, back on track. Anyway, we do have aerodromes coming up from Sendai. Man, that's about like 10 years. Can you imagine how much it takes to actually bring this back? Wow. Even more at this time of, of the era. Kick. Okay. Anyway, five more turns until the next era. We do need to uh, check every turn uh, what happens here in the um, culture victory screen. With um, SND getting his team power, going top three here. Ideology coming up in four turns. Looks like he's looking for to get some uh, bombers in the air alongside everything. Wait, did he actually not go for Manhattan Project? Did he move away from Manhattan Project? Okay. Interesting. Oh no, he did. Okay, never mind. He did. He did get that. Never mind. Or turning Manhattan Project. Okay, okay. I mean, he's gonna get these uh, faster, but I think that's actually just in just enough time to New Canada. That might be just in just enough time to New Canada. That's that's gonna mean he's gonna get uh, nuclear devices like seven to four uh, to eight tens from now. That should be more than enough time uh, before Canada gets the culture victory. Oh, oh, I say that the computer says 11 turns. Well, he did roll a few of these and sees he's on 60 out of 114. We do need to see uh, SND, SND's defense with 700 production. He's uh, definitely getting that number up, but not the culture. We do have DGS uh, 315 and he's uh, starting to put more pressure on this. Still didn't go over 100 though. And where are the <clears throat> Griefers? Griefers are actually going to Kumasi. Oh, wait. Kick. Okay. They're going into the northern cities. Well, I guess it is what it is. Uh, Kahokia might be liberated here, but, uh, you know, we'll see uh, if he is going to manage to get his um, steel walls. I doubt it. He's going sanitation for the extra amenities and from uh, those sewers and getting ideology in three. No units are getting built. He's feeling very free sim here. Yeah, we do have also Venetian Arsenal getting built in uh, this city. Wait, he did get built in that city. And I'm pretty sure gold is also not going to be a problem from now on. Task for Fish did manage to finish uh, the biggest Benus. And uh, he did manage to get a lot of gold for his teammates. Pakachuti did get uh, all of the funds he needs to upgrade his units and go against his opponent. Egypt, uh, well, on the other hand, he still was already ready for this. So it's fine. It's fine. We got a general here. Yeah, there we go. Napoleon Bonaparte uh, appeared just magically appeared out of nowhere it's a plane it's a bird no it's a general Whee. anyway wait who also watched three screens, three night elephant and non spot TV? Oh, oh, really? Okay. Uh, no, wait, Napoleon, he's short, shorter than me, and I'm short. I mean, I'm also short. I don't know how short you are, but I'm also short. Well, short. I'm 173, 175, 170. I guess I'm not that short. I'm not 160. Okay, I do see battleships are getting upgraded here from Task for Fish. He's gonna have battleship fleets uh, to go against his opponent with another round of uh, game time here. Ironclads are going uh, to appear next to Kree's borders, but we do have some ironclad fleets and also the Heave's uh, ability to get those battleships. It shouldn't be that hard for him to get there. Now we do have DJs getting chemistry though in the meantime and the ideology in two turns. Fascism is definitely gonna be on the table. Now we do have also rapid deployment finishing up from Trinda in two turns. While I do notice uh, he did did manage to get to 1087 looks like uh, his multipliers uh, did slow down for a bit you do have uh, him getting to that um <clears throat> How to say uh, to the total number of uh, national parks that he could get but never mind he actually settled more cities on the west to get more place for that uh for those national parks yeah, we do need to see also his rock plants. I see one. One has been bought and I'm pretty sure he's going to be sent to his uh, ally here. We do need to see where is he going to want to play first. Definitely Persia has good wonders to use for him. Oxford University, those um, um, 
those also campuses are gonna be good we do have great bath biggest pen yep 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 it's it's there it's there wow he can actually play on ben and on the biggest ben whoa Uh, how's culture victory looking things it's happening well 67 out of 120 looks like uh, we do have quite a bit of a defense here from uh, SNE pushing this uh, forward and i'm pretty sure again dgs is gonna start to climb up uh, quicker 99 right now he definitely needs a lot more culture and he would need the boost for the culture i think that was uh, where the problem is that is where the problem is he actually um hard cultured quite a few of these open up uh, op not getting the boost for them What's this? Hermitage? Hermitage. Yeah, Great Lighthouse is gonna be amazing for his units. One extra movement is always good. I fear for the city of Cahokia though. And not only will get plundered and pillaged, but uh, yeah. These Cuirassiers are gonna have their way against that city center, man. They're gonna make it their own. Yeah, rooting for Japan. I mean, it's going to come very close. I got to say, it's, it's probably going to be very close, especially if the rock bands uh, are getting out here. This is uh, where the danger starts to happen. Canada will have that opportunity to hire all tourism every time. It might just push him over the edge exactly where he needs, over the culture victory edge. Doesn't have a lot of like. Mm, I guess again debatable if uh, it was better like this or uh, like the other one. He does need so many builders, so many builders. Yep. Anyway, uh, Macedon doesn't really do anything more. Canada did try to attack into a calf core, and I do see his uh, mounty armies again die against the AT crews. The, the, those AT crews are way too strong. You now the majority of the Macedonian army is actually deployed towards the north, towards Egypt, and they're not doing anything while the tanks are looking against tanks. Everybody's waiting for uh, the conclusion of the war, or I should say, uh, Trinda getting that culture victory. Uh, 72 out of 120, 75 out of 122, and it does look like SND even with. Um, I had the project coming up in two tens. He might be too late on this. And check this out. It's not because he's not gonna uh, he's not gonna have nukes, but because he doesn't have the time, even with the science, to get to uh, nuclear submarines. Kick. That is a problem. That is a problem. Wait, does he have? No, he doesn't. He's gonna need at least so right now he's going synthetic materials that's that is helicopters yes well he needs to go electricity he already has steam power i think and uh i don't know if he has radio but i think so with uh, i don't think he has advanced flight so he needs electricity he needs a uh, radio if he doesn't have it already and he needs computers with telecommunications one two three four four ticks that's four tens that's four tens you can't get it faster than four tens it might be five one of them might actually be two uh, but uh you can't make them faster than one ten so uh that actually delays the game quite a bit for him to get the ability to use the nukes against his opponent well, SND is going to flip into a golden age here. We do have two more turns until the era is going to flip. And uh, looking at the culture victory screen, Trinda just rolled quite a few of these um, tourists. 75 out of 122 puts him very dangerously close to getting the victory. And uh, well, we do see him uh, getting these uh, rock bands into his uh, ally territory soon. These are level one rock bands. What is this? What is this? Uh, religious rock. Ugh. 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 I don't know about that, man. Yeah, it is what it is. It looks like Vilnius is in range uh, with just a uh, bomber. Uh, Vilnius? Oh, you mean this one? Uh, a jet bomber? Yeah, sure. A bomber only hits Victoria. Uh, he needs to take out the capital. He needs to uh, cut off the capital. That's the majority of uh, the tourism of Canada. Or I think so. I think it is the majority. I'm not sure because, to be honest, it's uh, it's hard to know. But I'm pretty sure he has a lot of great works all around. And uh, the, 
he's using the double and so on like he has his national history museum with his uh, uh look at this look at this all of the great works in his theater square apadana yeah that's probably the majority he's also probably using the triple card right no 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 he's not he's not he's using uh, symphonies and frescoes wait he didn't get the double card the triple card i mean the 200 percent uh, more mu from musicians no okay this is what it is didn't focus on it well i don't think he has that many musics did he yeah korea and japan are picking all of those uh tearing those apart picking all of those and national parks is the way that uh, canada did get this all of this uh, tourism a lot of these tournaments now not all of it oh 1180 that's significantly more tourism than we've seen earlier and what does the computer say this time 78 out of 123 okay i had the project finishing up in two turns we got the military engineer starting to get out from fukuoka uh did he get to finish yeah he does have some aerodromes here and there and uh, looking at the gold per turn, they do have a decent amount of gold, especially Pound Maker making 631 is going to help them out quite a bit. It's not like they have uh, in what to invest in. Uh, looks like also Kahokia is about to be bullied here. We got uh, four or five units uh, starting to first of all discover Kumasi and second of all get to the north of Kahokia, which is a 78 defense strength city. And I do want to see DGS getting. Oh my god, he's barely castles. That's going to take such a long time. Right, lo lo look at this. It's like castles. You got printing. I think he has printing. So, like castles, siege tactics, military science, rifling, steel, refining, combustion. It's definitely not going to want 10 all of those. Definitely. Uh, is he going to go <clears throat> fascism in three turns? And I do notice he's getting a few biplanes out, uh, sending them towards the southwest. E Egypt is going to oblige with a lot of helicopters. And uh, I'm pretty sure Japan, uh, I'm pretty sure um, they're doing everything they can to get into uh, Canada's borders. Now, I guess uh, Macedon, since he stopped um, kind of making a lot of units and also killing a lot of units, he doesn't have a lot of uh, science right now. And uh, it will be a problem for him to even get combustion. We do need to see if. Um, He's going to manage to slow down his opponent enough. But I got to say, Canada could have just blocked the chokes with planes. He has planes, no? He has uh, airports here and there. Well, it's an all-out focus to get that culture victory through before any kind of war starts against him. And he's not far off. He's not far off. I mean, this is very close, you know? Like, what, 45 points to get there? And it's very close uh do -do -do -do. it's a nuke sub in two wait hmm. did he get uh, telecommunications his computers oh you think he's gonna want them telecommunications uh he needs ntr and let's see if they work now that is also true uh trinda is not moving his rock pants <gasps> no Oh, come on, he did, he did, he did, come on. Look, it's the middle echidna and the new peacock and the one that must not be named. Uh-oh, he has a one that must not be named. Okay, 85 out of 126. This is getting dangerously close here. 41 points of difference between them. That is a problem. And of course, SND will get telecommunications next turn. Totalitarianism also, fascism coming up in two. He's going to get his Manhattan project. Okay, nukes are going to start flying in uh, three, four turns. Three to five turns. You see? So he is... Uh... Oh, check this out. He's not even going to flip up his um, privateers, is he? He's just... Oh my God, he doesn't have enough of them. Oh, please get privateers here. Like another few. He has only this uh, privateer fleet. And with this privateer, I guess uh, he's going to throw one nu nuke at a time. I was thinking he should actually level his opponent uh, much quicker with uh, more ones. Uh, he doesn't know that there is no anti-air. He can afford to just shoot the nukes with the uh, nuclear subs because there is no anti-air. But he doesn't know that, no? He could have just watched the walls, though. Like, that's not steel. If he doesn't have steel, he doesn't have defense. There's no way to get the anti-air guns if you don't have steel. 
Uh, there is no reason to flee. No, exactly, exactly. Oh, oh my God, Marriage BW, what is this? Yes, exactly. I was just thinking exactly that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and with his uh, production capabilities of 831, he might just clean up here. We're, we're gonna need to see. This is so close. This is so close. Uh, looks like uh, Kumas is uh, being uh, bullied over here. Definitely Persia, or I should say uh, COC, want to stop their opponents from uh, benefiting from so much culture. SD is on 300 culture return right now. DGS is 500. And looks like uh, DGS is, uh, yeah, still shadowing SD over here. We do have my other project finishing up next turn. And uh, I we do need to see. Oh my god. Anyway, he's just gonna have two of them. It is what it is. Two uh, two a turn, it is what it is. Two nukes again. Uh, it's still two nukes is good against Canada. Don't get me wrong. If they do manage to uh, coordinate properly and take the series over, two series a turn is gonna definitely be uh, be enough to stop to stop Canada. Okay, so we're gonna have a world congress here they're gonna get to uh, put their options and we're gonna see what uh, happens actually let's go for a recall and we're gonna have a, minute, a two minute pause okay two minutes and we're coming back and good thing i actually got coffee uh, Mamaleto, good evening, sir, and welcome. Can he nuke with from uh, Vilnius without subs? Uh, he could nuke, but only two cities, Rapanui and Victoria. I don't think he can nuke uh, Quebec City on Justin Trudeau. Um, even if uh, with jet bombers, yes. Without jet bombers, no. Oh man, this pause was right on time. I had a pressure, guys. I had a pressure. Had to leak. It is what it is. Psst, get that steam out. Anyway, we do have Verden Sans Walls coming off from uh, Trinda. Uh, yeah, he, well, he's trying to do the best he can here, but that's not gonna stop the nukes. It looks like also Inca is gonna try to get uh, this attack going in two turns. He think material is coming out in, and it looks like he does have quite a bit of uh, gold built up. And we do need to see uh, biplanes here if they're gonna be up to the challenge while. Um, Wait, they don't know how the world... Oh, well, he does have military engineers, so he, he will... No, he can't keep on tunneling. He cannot keep on tunneling. I'm pretty sure Nagmapu is just going to buy this tile and that be done with it, right? Let's see. Culture victory, 94 out of 142. That's actually more than 40, um, 45 points we had earlier on... Um, 
uh, the difference between them. It looks like uh, the fact that SND did manage to finish uh, Manhattan Project did allow him to get... Oh, no, he's not actually getting the nukes right now. He's getting War Department. I guess it makes sense. And uh, quite a few tanks. He's uh, going to need to upgrade his uh, units here. Did he discover telecommunications? Uh, he, uh, yeah, he did. Nuclear submarine. He just needs to click on the upgrade button and bring back uh, the other one. There should be more than enough movement, no? Wait. Oh, it was Creed that finished um, this one. And Creed did finish Venetian, but he's not building anything. Oh, my. Creed might be taken out. Creed might just die here. Okay, two turning an ironclad with Phoenician arsenal. That's not that's not uh, quick enough. Like these um, these battleship fleets are gonna do quite a bit of damage even against the ironclad fleets. And uh, we don't we don't have uh, Kree with uh, battleships yet. Do we have him uh, getting there? He's getting ballistics. Yeah, he's getting there. He's just he's a few turns away from getting there. He doesn't have steel walls either. Well, of course, um, Persia on the other side did get them. We got some helicopters from Elephant Guy also coming around. That's also going to be a technology that he's matching uh, Inca a little bit faster than Inca, actually. You know, we do need to see how fast these cities of uh, Canada are going to fall. If they're going to fall, if the nukes are going to fall quickly. If it's six turns to build a nuke, that sounds like an eternity, especially at this point in the game. Multiple spies are coming out from Japan. He's going to want to put a lot of them in all of his opponents, not to mention probably focus on uh, Canada first. Elephant, yeah, he does. Yeah, in the water. In the ether? You want it in the ether? How does that work? In the mouth? Is that the ether? Or is the hand the ether? So he can D-Day the camp? Yeah, yeah. Blame Canada? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. He's getting all of those uh, nukes. It is what it is, you know? We, we were thinking Canada is a peaceful nation, but uh, I don't know, man. He's just uh, he's just attracting all of the nukes. It is what it is. Uh, who's the who's the dangerous one here? Is the one attacking with the nukes or is the one ch choosing to be nuked? Begging to be nuked because he cannot be stopped otherwise. Yeah, the truth is in the eye of the beholder, I guess. War departments coming up from Kyoto. I gotta say, all of this, uh, all of these players had a lot of colors get, getting all of the um, uh, moves and counter moves uh, going correctly and sacrificing their units when they needed to. Oh, rock pants, rock pants, rock pants. The new peacocks did get their first 40 album sales. Wow. If you think about it, 40 album sales is like nothing. Anyway. Uh, did Canada make pies? It's like 18 at the last count. Yeah. And Ben's pre-builds? Yeah, bro. He got so many of them. He has so many of them. And he's going to start upgrading next turn. Wait. Yeah, he's going to start upgrading next turn. I was thinking, does he have the gold? Mm, it's gonna be quite expensive to upgrade so many of them and are they gonna do anything i think that's another question are they gonna do anything they kind of see what's going on say so they kind of know it's gonna be next to impossible to get into the cities of uh, japan with the helis maybe they do want to uh, get into egyptian territory where uh, well we do have some tank wars getting deployed over there to try to plug the chokes Okay, Hell is starting to move towards uh, Canada. We do have uh, the nuclear submarines getting upgraded, not getting um, ar mm, armored up yet. Uh, first nuke, we don't know yet. I think first nuke is like four turns from now. It should be from Kyoto, it should be built in three turns. Wait, he lost Magnus. I think he got spied on and he lost Magnus. Oh, this is so big. Uh, he dropped down to 144. I'm pretty sure he had Magnus in Kyoto and he was using um, vertical integration, right? This is so big. Like, you, you get this. This, this city receives production from all nearby industrial zone buildings with regional bonus, not just the first. And that's all of the factories around him giving him the bonus to that capital. That's a lot of, that's a lot of bonus. A lot of extra production. But anyway, he's still 144 without Magnus. That's still good, don't get me wrong. And we do need to see uh, when is he going to get him back. I'm not sure when the spy pushed it out. 
Oh, Inca is actually sabotag sabotaging the production of Kyoto. Again, with a level 3 spy. The mountain towns will do a lot. Well, you say you can't build mountain tunnels in the tiles of your opponents. You can only build them in uh, your tiles or in um, neutral tiles. So these mountains cannot actually be breached with uh, mountain tunnels. Only this one. This is the only, only one that can be used. Uh, let's see 112 out of 146 time is ticking down quite quickly it looks like the spy has failed uh, we do have uh, japan putting one of his spies in there and uh, looks like the industrial zone is still up and running four turns for the first uh, nuclear device i was actually one turn off he will have uh, three nuclear devices coming up in the next four turns and that is so that, uh, so close to the victory uh, trinda is five turns off the victory while uh, i do see rock pants are uh, playing every turn this might be exactly what he needs to push it over the edge let's see he has two rock pants with still enough movement to start playing and we do need to see what are they gonna get 2400 tourism he's right now on two thousand oh there we go 2000 tourism, tourism 1096 okay and he just got 26 other hundred so he just got like you know to say five five thousand plus tourism from just one single turn That should be a lot of uh, that should be a lot of tourists. I mean, next turn he should be on 125 of tourists. Okay, looks like Egyptian uh, helicopters are being met on the front line by uh, mounty armies and some. Uh, lonely mounties as well as uh, knights and cuirassiers. Every one of the units are. Are trying to get um, to build a wall, a meat shield. Well, we do have uh, Inca also upgrading his helicopters. He's gonna try to push through uh, Egyptian territory. You do see how Egypt is correctly putting these uh, tanks so he can defend himself against his opponent. And uh, we do have some planes here from Japan also. He doesn't, I don't think he has advanced flight, so he's not gonna have the ability to upgrade these biplanes into fighters, which is gonna give him a good enough uh, unit to attack into his opponent. Well, four tens for three nukes. And in the meantime, nothing's really happening here other than Trinda getting that culture victory. And I gotta say, this sounds... Uh, this definitely sounds quite overpowered here. Canada does sound quite overpowered. Such a quick culture victory. Now, I'm pretty sure they could have focused a lot more on uh, the culture or defense, but at the same time, if they would have done that, I'm pretty sure they would have had problems hitting the nuclear um, timing. And even, even like this, they have time to hit the nuclear timing. Barsake, bonsoir, monsieur. Bienvenue, bienvenue. Japan is defending because of the inspiration with higher techs. Yes, uh, DGS missed the golden age, the second one. Yes, he did. That's also quite a problem. Um, Olfon DGS is most known for the tech post with uh, airstrips. Oh, what is, what is happening here? Does it even matter what's happening here? I guess it's not mattering, right? That's for fish. He's going to push a little bit. DGS, DGS is going to feel uncomfortable. He's going to clump up. And uh, we do have him with Natural History Museum. He's still the one trying to... Uh, trying to defend but the snd is the one defending they tried to switch a few turns ago but it's still snd getting the majority of these so to be honest it kind of feels like he has um put a lot of effort into this without a big return out of his uh, defense now probably would have been much better to uh, get a navy out try to focus on that uh, try to get a harbor from pikto kahana p win and uh, use the variation also to overwhelm persia on the other side and maybe even come out with uh, nukes from this side get the gold in the meantime Oh well, I guess uh, it is what it is. I, I don't think it impacts uh, the result if uh, Canada gets the culture victory. But if there was a chance for Canada to not... Oh my god, 127 out of 153. Okay, this is uh, this is getting dangerously close. But the last rock band... No, it, it survived. The Petit Genius did actually survive 120 album sales. And there's there are also the modest uh, wonders here that are going to get to play next turn.
I'm not sure how much uh, tourism he made, but 120 does seem quite a bit. Okay, we got the fighters also in the air. One single fighter defending um, quite far away from the borders of uh, the city center. We do have uh, Inga moving his um, helicopters towards the southeast, not actually going through the mountains towards Apu, uh, trying to uh, make Japan uncomfortable and uh, defend his cities. But I gotta say, the machine gun cores of Japan are making uh, quite a bit of damage against these helicopter cores. Uh, there is was a, a military resolution. Light caps getting uh, to lose five uh, combat strength. That also includes the. Um, helicopter cores here or helicopters in general yeah so i think yeah looks like wait where whoa 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 i think actually persia lost a few units here there were uh, i think there were more battleship armadas or more battleships than this right more units i'm not sure if they armada up or uh, something else but i'm pretty sure there were like six or seven of them anyway okay one turning ironclads it's good we do still we do have him uh, trying to save a theater square okay uh, um okay i guess it is what it is uh what is he getting refining that's i think uh, the biggest question when is he getting refining steel wall in one turn totalitarianism in next turn okay he's gonna get fascism the extra plus five against persia persia is in merchant republic okay he then but he does have quite a bit of time until he hits his own uh, fascism <clears throat> It looks like DGS uh, using those uh, last moves against Dance for Fish being um, successful in dealing the damage against an Ironclad fleet. That's one of two units that are uh, mainly from uh, from Persia. Okay, culture victory. This is important. How many he's going to roll now and how many defenders SND is going to have. Uh, getting suffrage next turn. He already has fascism. Heroic Age also started up for uh, SND. But only 262 culture. And the uh, DGS... DGS is 130. He's still 22 tourists away from uh, SND. 22 domestics from uh, SND. Come on, the nukes. Let's see. Three turns, three turns, three turns. Four nukes in three in turns. Yeah, four nukes in three turns. Actually, the first nuke is coming out next turn from Nagoya. That's actually a faster city here. Interesting. Okay. Uh, can, does he have? Huh? Looks like he might have a few new turns. Let's see the first uh, nuke. It's very important when he's where he's gonna throw the first nuke. And now we do see some anti air guns uh, starting to appear here in Canada's territory in the bill queues. Well, they're not out there yet, but he does have uh, the ability to get them. A rock band died. Another rock band played, and it died also. So both died. Uh, I'm not sure how much. Uh, tourism he got from those but it looks like uh, it's still 137 out of 151 for the moment we need to give it a few more a few minutes to update okay inca still trying to find a way there we do have a uh, tank course able to defend no problem against the helicopter course and uh, i do notice some more tanks are being sent towards the south and especially with uh, the railroad starting to uh, appear between them they're getting um, to move much much faster uh, did anybody manage to get Einstein? Oh, Japan did get Einstein. Okay. Okay. Uh, this city, this city, this city, this city. And DGS did manage to get the steel walls. Prioritize getting the steel walls all over refining. That is actually a bit of a surprise for me. Uh, I was thinking he would want to get refining, so he upgrades his uh, battleships as quickly as possible to counter the damage of these battleships, uh, on the other hand. Uh, but at the same time, I do have to say, Persia lost both of his ironclads. Whoa. Actually, both of them. And didn't... Uh... Interesting. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why. I was thinking at least one of these ironclads would die, but it didn't. Hmm. Oh, I see. One, two frigates died. One frigate uh, fleet and one f normal frigate died. I see. I'm pretty sure these ironclads are going to win the game. Will win the fight against the battleship armadas. Uh, tourism Trinda is on 2036. And next turn, first nuke coming out from Nagoya. The turn thereafter, we're going to have uh, three more nukes coming out. He only has two units that he can deploy the nukes with. Only these two units. Uh, Krieg getting golden and defending culture here would have uh, made such a difference. Yes, yes, yes. Krieg, yeah. 
he's on a 644 culture but it looks like he's just not getting there and with um only 12 points needed to get the victory here tinda is very close to getting this very close if only like if you would have gotten lucky with a level 3 rock band or level 2 rock band this would have been over like right now or earlier but i think even so he's still gonna get it i think he's still gonna get it to be honest even like even if he's losing his capital he's still gonna get it okay that's a unit dead from a fighter okay let's see the first nuke he needs to nuke the capital no that that is gonna be what the nuke is for yeah there we go the one nuke but we got only six of these tourists needed for trinda to get the win while his capital is gonna be taken down they just took down justin trudeau well yeah it is what it is man i don't know what they had against him but yeah it is what it is just throw a nuke in there I return next week. Yeah. Oh, welcome back, Ferno. Yeah, yeah. Where have you been, sir? Okay. Is this going to be it? Is is it going to be so much? Okay. He dropped down like 200 tourism. It's not that big. It's not that big of a problem. The, the, the capital hasn't been taken over yet. So he still probably is working quite a bit of tourism from those... Um, books do you keep the tourism when it's pillaged when it's contaminated like this i think you do right it still works just another day in the office uh, form <laughs> mr tuto yeah <laughs> okay a lot of a lot of helicopter course uh, and army is getting upgraded here by uh, elephant guy He's being met by all of these Incan troops. Everything is happening here in between them. And uh, we do have also uh, DGS matching to win the day against uh, Task for Fish in a direct matchup. Uh, starting to get uh, quite a few more of these Ironclads out. And uh, he does have the advantage as use of using a Venetian Arsenal. Is that going to matter though? We, we only need one more turn. Six more points. Is this going to be enough culture from uh, SND and DGS to push this back or no? To get this back? Is it? Because they, they, they're at the precipice right now. One wrong step. One wrong step. And this is going to go sideways really quickly. Next turn, he has three nukes. He can nuke all of these cities. Like Victoria, all of these units and so on. And get his units in. He does have a helicopter coming through the water. And which, of course, will get the opportunity to get the capital city in two turns. He's still going to need those two turns. And we might see the victory activated next turn for Trinda. He has a slot order on uh, Canada. Oh, okay. Uh, still, uh, theater districts give uh, tourism. Still give tourism. Yeah, that's what I. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I was thinking. He would have needed to take over the city entirely, not just nuke it. Okay, is it happening? Yeah, there we go. There we go. From the dust to Change the of circumstance, managing to get the first game to out of this best of three series. Coming down to the wire over there, the big war between SND and Canada, and started to new Canada, but it was too late. The Canadian people have managed to change a lot of minds and brought them to their own country. And now it looks like we do have uh, Trinda managing to get this win. Fourth change of circumstance, of course, with the amazing help of his allies over there, massive and holding strong. We did have. Ben pushing into his opponents, and we did also have Tans for Fish uh, doing the damage against DGS. Mm -mm -mm. We do need to see what they're gonna say in the post game chat. I'm gonna start uh, moving uh, soon here. Let me get this going. Let me see where we are. Uh, there we go. It, I, it made me think that you were gonna do some like early shenanigans and like GG will play. We both that early, right? No, you went for Warlord's Throne relatively quickly. Like, when I'm deciding what governor, like, building I should go, I see you're over there making a Warlord's Throne, going oh, camp go well after project well. in general. And I'm like, hmm. Man, like, he I threw your office you off his scent. He threw your off his scent, man. 
I did. I went Warlords oh, Battle. I don't see you did. Did. I assume <laughs> that if you're going at camp. You know, figure you're gonna come fight me early. Do you know why I went fucking encampment? Because, like, all my campus tiles were fucking flat jungles, so I had to go bronze. Oh, anyway. so you went. Because I was like, there's no way he's projecting a general because he's afraid of Mapuche through a one tile choke. That doesn't make any sense, right? No, I just had to get go bronze anyways, and then I could, like, just discount an encampment, so I just did it. Yeah, okay. That makes a little bit. You were gonna like come fight me, and then it's like I should definitely be going audience chamber there, otherwise, my sim is like really weak. Like, I'm only like, comp Ancestral didn't and make sense because I already had five cities and like was only ever gonna do one or two more, and audience didn't also really make sense because I had all the growth I needed, anyways. Yeah, I, maybe that's actually like a maybe that's actually better on Inca because a lot of people go audience and they're like, My amenities are so bad, my cities are 15 popped or whatever, right. Yeah, all the well, you don't really have... need 15 pop. You really only need like seven pop to get your districts. Unless you have like very specific spawn, I think audience on ink it does not make that much sense usually. Yeah, but so, so know, basically your the... your warlord sound really made me like play defensively, and it was like <laughs> really bad for my ability to be large. Dude, it was also so good plus we had actually vision on your city where you're trading with stealing stuff. Oh, what you know <laughs> what you want to know what I actually the there? Yeah. You want to know what actually ruined me there, Ben? I forgot to build the consulate in my Diplo Quarter city. Oh. I went like straight into helicopters or something, or like I finished the Diplo Quarter, and yeah, it was like that the was the real hell. In that city, I think it would have been. No, I had uh, I had encampment in that city. Like I had encampment in that city from seven pop on, and it got seven pop as soon as Vieselbeck was a hit, right? I think so I, I got... easily could have stopped like ninety percent of the siphoning Whoa, if I, I just finished my consulate. Or Kuti. Like, I, I mean, just I... didn't finish my consulate, so the I... encampment didn't, like, reduce the spy chances. I built my spy with uh, Victor and then immediately finished Terracotta, so I just started with level 2 spy immediately, so that also helped a lot, I think. Yeah, that was really annoying. I was very annoyed that you went for, like, a uh, Terracotta. But you know what also else ruined the game? I don't know if you guys saw, you probably didn't notice this, like, why would you notice this? But the Yukon River ran from the very bottom of the Pangea to the very top. And so I thought we probably have Canada above us in the middle uh, wait, because we wait, saw wait, the Yukon River up by uh, Japan. Wait, and that was what I was crazy. Yeah, you can get so baited by that, I guess. Because I'm looking around, like I'm looking around on like turn three, trying to figure out like where civs are. And I see the Yukon River on Japan. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> Canada might be above us. Oh, and yeah, so dude, yeah. We sent our early, we sent like me and two other teammates sent our early scouts like north to try to see if there's a Canada up there. Uh... And there's absolutely nothing, and it means that I don't see any of the good settles. And my first expand has to go to just, like, some terrible, like, kind of, like, My first expand is cause... also terrible because of your fucking warrior. It's just, it's <laughs> so annoying. But your, your first expand is better than mine, because you can actually fix that land. My land is just, like, some second rank tutus. Yeah, but... And I have, just... like, uh... I had, like, three, two bananas and, like, marsh tiles and, like, good quality land south of me. But I didn't scout it early because we thought that there was a Canada above us until we saw the Yukon River also ran down to Mapuche on like turn 15. <laughs> and it was like, oh yeah. shit. Like, oh, there's actually a Yukon River down there too? Fuck. <laughs> Why settle in the tundra with your second city though? Because I, I, I can't run it into Ben because I don't have information. And I shouldn't run it into Japan because he needs space because he's probably, presumably, pre -sim. We know there's coast above, below him and coast above him. So yeah. I want to settle in a way that gives my teammates space without throwing my first settler. I could buy an <laughs> escort and settle uh, the better city first, or I could not spend that money because Mapuche is actively saying, guys, there's three warriors on me. Like, yeah. I need to buy slingers and stuff. Like, I, I could just not spend that money and settle a slightly less optimal city. Uh, and that city is also a pretty good oh, hedge okay. for, what's it called? It's a pretty the good hedge for Golden Age and amenities. So yeah. it's on a luxury. It has some two twos that are going to cost 25 gold in the future, but it has one that it can work immediately. Yeah. And it's a Tundra settle, so it gives me free air score. Because I don't know how many huts I'm going to get because my teammates are kind of zapping them up, you know? So it, it was kind of calculated, but I would definitely not have settled that city if I sent my scouts south. And I would almost always send my scouts like south and inward, as opposed to toward the Canada that doesn't exist. If we had not seen the Yukon River, like north of Japan, <laughs> man, so like, so actually, many of your like, decisions sure hints from that. I'm I gotta pretty see. sure the Yukon River, being north of Japan, put me behind like 50 science on turn 75. 
Like, unironically, I think that, like, <laughs> ruined my game. <laughs> because it means that my settle pattern is worse, right? I'm settling weaker land first because of that. And it's uh, unfortunate. <laughs> what happened with uh, the Kree Golden Age in the second one? Uh, uh, was... That was a mistake. Like, I wanted Colosseum. Okay. But then uh, we saw Trinder build it and there was not really a good bonder left. I needed like exactly four points, but I didn't have anything to do there. Yeah, I mean, he built all of the wonders. Like literally yeah, yeah. all of the it's wonders. Awesome. Like I, I wanted great buffs too, but uh, when, <laughs> then it was gone too. Yeah. Everything was gone, like uh, missing four points, uh, sucks kinda. Yeah. Hello. Rip. I know this is easy to say, but why not settle the Krakatoa? No, it was way too far, like Sage Settlers was already walking ah, yes, so long, like, it was like it's super far away for my mm. big expanse. And even that sending the trader like early game, like the trader to to the city state, that actually allowed me at least to expand in that direction, but that was already really bad, like it, it's like super bad for Kree to send first set, uh, first trader external. Yeah, I, I understand. And why, why is your seat if you remap? Uh, on the first map, I, I guess you were very lucky to have that tech uh, because uh, Macedonia we would have used was remap, so... Uh, we would have used remap without taking corner. Yeah, but why did you remap on second map? Uh, I don't remember the second map. Ah, yes. The second uh, map was because Mapuche. Canada was directly adjacent to Canada, yeah. to Mapuche. Yeah, we had Mapuche Canada, directly right? adjacent to Canada, and even if I we could 2v1 him, it wasn't like something where he was it. To do. Yeah, and my spawn and the Persia spawn were like kind of bad. <laughs> and Macedon, Macedon on the line. Macedon, <laughs> Macedon. No, that was the first map. Oh, that was the technical one, yeah. But like on the map that we remet, Macedon was also like. Kinda of far away from the Canada ma uh, Mapuche front, like further away than we would have liked. So we didn't really see like super great reason to keep the map. I feel like it's like high chance it gets better for us. Yes, GG will play. You're looking for, for yeah. the second and the third? When is actually the next <laughs> well, game? It's not scheduled yet. Yeah, it's not scheduled yet. Oh, okay. I'll get my manager on it. <laughs> <laughs> my, my secretary will be in touch. Yeah. <laughs> well, have a good evening, guys. GG, well played, and thank you for the stream. Bye bye. GG, good night, guys. And there we have it, boys. Change of circumstance. Uh, put one point on the board over here in the series uh, against the Gold Buy Library. Best of three series, so we do have at least one more game to watch. We're going to need to see when it's going to be scheduled. Tomorrow at 1200 GMT, we're going to start off with uh, the semifinals of the Hidden Cup 11th edition. We're going to have um, 10 players or 8 players, I'm not sure yet, uh, going uh, head to head against each other in one game and in another game, in the other semifinals. Another 8 to 10 players are going to fight, and the top ones, the top dogs, are going to go into the finals at uh, later on in the zero. evening 1900 gmt or 1800 team. around there yeah uh, thank you so much for uh, the follow studio good evening sir and welcome i do also want to say uh, thank you so much for also the subscribe uh, so the subscribers and um, sorry the subscribes the follows the bits the uh, donations everything um, uh, that you are supporting the channel thank you it actually makes a lot of difference it puts bread on my table i do want to also uh, wish you a great weekend if you don't see each other tomorrow and I, but i do hope uh, we're gonna see each other you can take a look at my schedule on discord you say exclamation mark um, discord on um uh, twitch chat or take a look at the description of the video down below on youtube while well, you are gonna have the vote also on youtube uh, opening up in just a few hours when youtube finishes to uh, process it uh, just to be, uh, be a patient over there and it's gonna be up and running with all of the details of the game the chapters and everything thank you so much for everything don't forget to follow and subscribe and see you next time bye bye, -bye.
We, 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 we.